Megan Fox. Yeah, Megan Fox has the story. Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Megan Fox writes at PJ Media. Eat Tucker. Damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I cried for two days. <laughs> Megan, thank you very much for that. So, um, I can, I can explain the bed thing. <laughs> if you don't show up and vote, up your ass. I don't care if you're in the hospital. Crawl to the state. Crawl there. Like Jesus going to the temple, he's like, I gotta whip this. <laughs> Get out! Get, Get out! out! The lovely and wonderful Megan Fox. Not that hey. one. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not the weird one that drinks blood in his toe thumb. Megan Fox. Megan. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. She's the devil. Megan. Megan Fox. Megan. Megan. Megan Fox. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me, but I wouldn't do that. You've never met a like me. You want to tangle? You want to go? Holy sh- Holy sh- too much cussing on this. I guess we didn't believe it, so we got to turn it off. But I just, it's just, it's. It... You pissed off the wrong woman. Oh my God! I have been assaulted when Megan Fox runs wild on you, brother. She's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Not for publication. <laughs> the story. I'm Megan. 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 Megan Fox. Thanks to Cheers. you. Cheers. Mm. <laughs>
Can you hear me now? How about now? Can you hear me now? Hello? Can you hear me now? Okay, so I have to put this camera up so you can hear me. Okay, fine. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. So Lego Cam, Brad, we figured it out. I, I don't know why that is, though. Brad, you do? Brad, this should not be happening. I have the old camera hooked up because I put the new camera on the Legos mm -hmm. for Lego Cam. But you can't hear me unless the Lego Cam is up. But does that mean it's using that microphone? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. And I'm looking at my, hold on, microphone, HD, webcam. Oh, it's set on webcam. What the hell? What is it supposed to be on? Voice mod? Yeah, it should be on voice mod. It got reset somehow. All right, now it's on voice mod. What about the speaker? What's that supposed to be? Uh, That would be the microphone monitor. Microphone. Fee fine, the fee fine microphone? Yeah. Fee fine? Okay. All right. All right, how's that? Sound Sounds good? Fine. Okay. Are you sticking around today or you have to work? I, I've got one lobe tied behind my head, so I'll just watch pleasantly okay. from the background. Well, thank you for popping in here for moral support while I figure it all out on <laughs> my own. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. So I set up Lego Camp. What I was saying, let me start the show all over again. Now I should be able to. I broke it again. Yep. Brad, this doesn't make sense. Go into the settings for StreamYard and change the microphone in there because it's. I did. That's where I was. It was set wrong in StreamYard and I just reset it and it's still not working if I take out the other camera. That's really weird. That's really weird. Yeah, it is really weird. That's super weird. All right. Anyway, we'll just continue and I just won't take out the Lego cam. That's all. Well, I guess. Why don't you start your team viewer and I can play with things in the background while you're. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Brad. Uh... By the way, hello, Mr. Larry. I want to play Larry. with things in the background. <laughs> How's it going? Sorry. We're having tech problems because I have a, le a new Lego cam and it's messing with my audio and I, I hate it when that happens. Don't you hate that? That's a, so annoying. Oh, but you have Legos? Well, you have kids. Yeah, I'm building it. I'm building a tanning salon. So I'm building a tanning salon for the um, uh, that's going to connect to the courthouse. You're and horrible, Megan. You are horrible. I, that is hilarious. That is the funniest you, thing I've ever heard. Did you see? Does, does your audience house? know why you're yeah, building a tanning they, salon? Did you see my courthouse? So I built this courthouse. Uh, Oh, I heard about days. it. I haven't seen it yet. That is so cool. Uh huh. I built this courthouse, and oh so I decided I'm going to attach a salon, a tanning salon to it. Um, <laughs> Are you going to insert gonna... a a perf prosecutor with a, uh -huh. with a camera above it? Yeah, with a selfie stick and everything. Uh huh. Thank you, darling. My my baby just brought me food. Hi, Chandler. I sent her the link. Also, if that's okay, she wants oh, to join us. Oh, of course. Us. Of course she can join us. I'm so Megan glad that says you she guys can join are us. around. Of course she can. I've I've been wanting to have her on in a while. Um, so all right, Brad, I just sent you uh the codes Got it. and stuff. So oh wait, are you gonna take my mouse then? Yeah. Am I gonna be mouseless? You're gonna be mouseless for a second. All right. Well, well, I'll talk to Larry while you're messing around with the settings. Okay. So Here's the deal. Yes. Let me catch the chat up in case some of you have missed why I am building a tanning salon. Let's just go over that real quick. Okay. So the Sorry. what I discovered yesterday uh, was, now I had gotten this tip in my inbox about Judge DeThomasis having a connection to a um, disgraced prosecutor named William we call him William Wretched Ezel. His middle name is Richard, but I keep saying Wretched for some reason. It just slips off the tongue very naturally. William Ezel is a prosecutor in Gainesville who in 2014 got busted sneaking over the top of a tanning salon uh, wall and recording a woman getting undressed 
in the salon. Now he pled no contest, but he admitted it. It wasn't one of those pled no contest, but didn't admit it. He took full responsibility. He went to counseling. He even had an explanation, Larry, as to why he did this. Mm -hmm. You want to hear what that was? Because you're going to die. According to his therapist, it was a reaction to his anxiety, his extreme anxiety, because his wife was very anti, uh, anti tanning salon because she was a dermatologist. What? Okay. Uh -huh. Honestly, I would, I would like the guy a whole lot more if he was like, listen, I have a problem. I like naked women and my wife does not satisfy me enough and I need help. I would respect <laughs> him so much more if he just came out and said, I just need to look at some pussy. You know, that's all I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to see some naked women and mm -hmm. I'm an idiot and I need, I need help. Please help me. I would respect him so much more. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, I also would respect him more if he had just said that, but he didn't. Nope. He said it was a basically a panic attack, like a, like a panic attack I've never heard of before that causes you to climb up onto a wall and put your cell phone over the top of it to film somebody getting undressed. Oh, then I know it, so you, it may, I know. So then the worst part of the reason why I'm attaching this tanning salon to the courthouse is because five count them five one two three four five judges in the eighth circuit and da's prosecutors and uh defense attorneys who i give a pass to because they'll defend anybody and like let we'll we'll, we'll give them hey uh, well it's true. it's true it's true though that's your one, job two, three, if you're four. a defense attorney. Two, three, four, five. They all came out in support of this man, including 32 letters for his character, um, which I don't know who wrote the letters, but I think we can find out. I'm going to try and FOIA mm -hmm. those, see if I can get them from the court mm -hmm. at his bar hearing to see if they should take his license. Now, here's a guy who dedicated his entire life to prosecuting criminals and being a victim's advocate. And he goes and victimizes a woman. And instead of the bar saying, sir, you can't be a lawyer anymore. You, we're taking your license. Instead of that, he had five judges in that creepy, weird Levy County come to his defense and say that it was his private time. He's got a really good reputation as a lawyer. This has nothing to do with lawyering. This has everything to do. It's just his personal time. This is what he does in his private time. They literally use the phrase private time, Larry. I've sent you the document. I don't know if you read it, the the bar. I, I read the, the the relevant portion. I was just scrolling through because it was like super late last night. And I, I found the the Judge the Thomas's portion. Here's my favorite part. You ready for this? Here, mm -hmm. let me pull it up. Or if you want to pull it up for your audience so that they know where we're at. I'm on page. Brad uh, has my mouse. So you pull it up. Oh, okay. I'll pull it up. If I got you, you. Yes, I can. It's right here. Um present share screen boom okay but you're gonna all have right. to add it yeah i can i can add it there we go okay all right so uh full screen mode oh wait hold on let me let me let me try this again sorry i have to do it backwards it, the new adobe just does not integrate well with um here we go stream yard that's what's up here we go look at this So this is where they mentioned the Thomases. Can you add that back on the screen? Oh yeah. What? Where did it? Go? Sorry, I, I I removed it. Oh, it was my there we go. Fault. It was okay. my fault. Okay. So there it is. This is what both Chandler and I, when we read this, we're like, "What the actual fuck?" On cross I know. on cross examination, it was made clear that attorney the Thomases has previously served on the grievance committee for at least two terms and is a certified CLE continued legal education. We have to have 12 credits here in Kentucky and other lawyers, other states have, you know, uh, continued legal education lecture on ethics and professionalism. Oh. This motherfucker has been teaching ethics and professionalism. Are you kidding me? And also, then he, look what he said about sorry. him. Go ahead. Look what he, he look, keep reading. Go ahead. Yeah. Also on cross, the Thomas has made it clear that just because he entered a plea does not mean his innocence can be excluded. He just did it because he wanted to move on with his life. Are no, you kidding me? Later in the document, he admits it. So how in the hell does he get away with saying that? And why would he do it when the guy is admitting doing it and going to therapy for it? Yes. What? 
But they're protecting look what else he each said. other. It's slime look protecting said, slime. Mr. De Thomas has further stated, I don't think this is necessarily a black eye on the legal profession. Oh, it's not? That one of your bar members was creeping on a woman in a tanning salon? Look, here, I made a little a, a little thing for you here. So here's the prosecutor in here. He climbs up on it. He's in this little tanning salon. Oh. Climbs up on a chair. Puts his camera over the top here and is filming this poor woman who's screaming for help as she is literally undressed. This is what the prosecutor is doing. For fuck's sake, you guys. <laughs> so gross. I'm giving so you the audience a visual. Oh, oh my God. It's fucking disgusting. It's, it's disgusting. Fucking... And that they got five judges, Larry five judges and all these DAs and two people who worked in the crimes against women unit, the crimes against women unit two, the head uh, prosecutor there. And one of his underlings who was a female actually went to bat for this guy. Now I understand wanting to help your friend and everything, but maybe you should help him to not be a lawyer anymore. Someone who has such disrespect and disregard for the law should not hold a bar license. Absolutely not. I'm just Agreed. horrified by the whole thing. I think I it's disgusting. The the 90 day suspension was not enough, uh, in my opinion. That it should have been longer, maybe like a year minimum. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll go so far as disbarment because again, a Look, I represent a lot of people who have a lot of mental health issues and alcoholism and drug addiction, and sometimes people have you know, fantasies and they're not in the right mind. I mean, do you really want to deprive someone of their livelihood just because they have a, a, a like a yes. sex disease? Yes, yes. Uh, he should not be working anywhere near victims forever because okay, you don't fair, know what his fair. Maybe as a prosecutor, maybe as a pro. But you're talking disbarment, which no, but, means like taking away his license so he can never yeah. represent people ever yeah. again. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yes, okay, that's fair. what I mean. You know fair. why? You know why? why? Because tell me that law degree doubles as a business degree. He can go get a job in the private sector doing anything he wants. He'll be fine. Fair enough. He I does, guess he can be, I, I, go sell insurance. He can open a mortgage company. He can get. He don't pretend like just because somebody's bar right. license is taken away that he has no other uh, options. He has a college degree and an advanced degree. That means that he can get a job doing all number of things. He should never again hold a license that says I am a court. I am an. A, yes. I'm okay. A I see your point. I, see, I missed that point. I guess because you're still you still have a duty of candor before the the tribunal. You still have. I see. I see it. Okay. I was giving him a little too much credit there. I see no, what you're saying now. The, the guy is an offender. He should be on a yes, list. Yes. hundred percent. Yeah. He is, should... is, is he on a list? Is he a sex a, no, a sex offender? No. No, Are you serious? No, they don't have a list for that. No they, way. They say, no fucking way. Yeah. Tug looked it up. No. Last night. Yeah, Tug looked it up last night. Oh There's my no... god, he got a he got away with it. He got away with it. And okay, I don't, no, I... never mind. I take I take everything. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. I did not know that. That I did not know. I take all my words back. I agree. No, he's with not Megan on 100%. a list. He's not on a list, and he still coaches his uh, little Jesus kid's baseball team. Fucking Christ! No, not okay. Nope. 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 It's not okay. He could go sell anything. He could get a real estate license. I bet he he could sell real estate all day long, and I wouldn't care. Although that would be terrifying too. God. <laughs> Don't bring the nanny cams into the open oh houses, God. okay, dude? I was like, just thinking that too. Oh my God, this is not oh. a guy. Now, look, it doesn't mean that I don't think that he can be rehabilitated, rehabilitated or whatever, but that should not be done at the expense of people who count on you to be an above board person when you are an officer of the court. If you're an yes. officer of the court, I expect you to not have a criminal record, period. Yes. Unless, and I, there are very few exceptions. And I was saying this last night. I could see if he had like a tax problem or some kind of financial problem where he was like, you know, the IRS went after him and he had to pay a fine. I'm fine. Okay, suspend his license for 30 days or 90 days and whatever. We'll be done with it. That I understand. But when you were talking about a crime with a victim, nuh-uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, like a DUI, uh right. A DUI, if you like, get a DUI, a juvenile record, you know, if he did something when he was record, 16, when sure. he was stupid, like, sure, sure I can, I can forgive sure. that. You know, I'm sure there's, sure. there's a lot of that going around, but We're like, talking about once you're a city. licensed attorney, yeah, all yeah. bets are off. All bets are off. Absolutely. All bets are off. All right. I think, I don't know what, uh, happened with, uh, I don't know if my, hold on. I'm going to test something. I'm going to remove my Lego cam and Larry, tell me if you can still hear. 
No, I cannot hear you. All right. So we're just going to leave it up, which is fine, which is what I was going to do anyway. I'm just going to leave the camera up, but it's good to know. Oh, the dog is visiting. Hello, Archie Ruckus. How I also, I did something. I didn't know StreamYard has this option. I linked it to my channel. So I'm also, I'm also parallel streaming this on my channel right now. So hello, folks. Um, I've you never can do done, that? I've never done that before. I just saw a button. And Chandler's about to join us. Uh, I Are just you saw... siphoning off my audience, Larry? I'm actually giving you an audience, Megan. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm giving to the community. I've never tried that either. I've seen it before, but I didn't know what it does. What Does it just so play this you see, stream on your channel? It, yes. If you turn on, like, if you go to live, right, on your yeah. comments, you have, you have private chat comments on your screen, right? If you mm -hmm. click on live... Uh, you will see that certain comments have like a little the YouTube button and then some of them have like a YouTube button and a little like chain link like looks like this with like a line through it mm -hmm. on top. Those are the people who oh, are yeah. linked from mine. Oh, look at that. And so they can be in the chat, too. Oh, yep. that's fun. I didn't know that that how that worked. It's that like dual so streaming cool. there. MG Law said you are dual streaming now. That's so cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll get this hearing started. So let's get over to the old YouTubes. Uh, now, and pull it up. We're going to look at hearing number two today. Mm -hmm. uh, we watched hearing number one yesterday, and it was a total shit show. I'm not expecting anything uh, less than that for hearing number two. And it looks like, yeah, we'll probably only get through part one of hearing number two today because it's an hour and 14 minutes as it is. So I'll probably plan on doing part two tomorrow um, because I can't be here all day, but this should be fun. So wait, let's you're doing part two of what? Sorry. We're doing part one of hearing number two today, mm -hmm. but there's a part two as well. I doubt Got we'll you. get to it today is what Got I you. mean. Mm -hmm. All you. right. So let's share this. I'll try and move my camera so it's not sharing the screen so you guys aren't distracted by two hearings. All right, here we go. Let's pull this up. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Justin Yeah, I'll be in and out some because we got an we got an audit at the office. So Preston and Hales 38 2023 DR416. If I can just have uh as Preston as the petitioner, if you could just announce your presence. Appearances for the record, please. I'm Lynette Preston. Okay, I'm thank here. you. You may be seated. Council. Good afternoon, Judge. Randy Shockett, Shockett Law Group, Trenton, Florida, on behalf of the, the uh, respondent. Sir, announce your presence. My computer better not die. What, what happens? I don't know. It keeps spinning. Just it's going to be like Martha mine, is it, night? And are you no, well, Brad can run it, it for me, maybe, if he needs okay. to. Although, I can't control it from his end, though. That's the problem. And, and, what and he's working. Purpose in being here? Your Honor, she's, All right, let me try something down here. In addition here. to being a witness, she's also one of the per, per, uh, persons protected by the order in Ohio that we ask you to take the judicial So what would be the relevance of her being protected She can, if she's feels like she's placing herself too close to the petitioner in this case and is at risk she should sit in the back of the courtroom if she's a witness she should not be sitting at council table okay no then you can that's fine sit just sit right back here is that doreen sitting next to jeremy so we no are, that is george i think uh, the first thing i want yeah it was george here. i couldn't see her she was so small So we're here pursuant to several matters of process. Um, on November 29, an evidentiary hearing and adjudicatory hearing was scheduled on the petitioner's affidavit. Um, or excuse me, supplemental affidavit in support of petition for injunction for protection against stalking filed October 30th. 
along with the initial petition for injunction for protection against stalking filed September 7. The case proceeded to hearing on November 29, at which time it became apparent to this court at or about 4.45 p.m. that the petitioner was not yet concluded in her presentation of her case in chief. The case involved and included uh, video footage, documentary evidence, um, and lengthy testimony of a pro se litigant that was not completed um, and certainly in consideration of allowing the petitioner to conclude presentation of her case and likewise providing the respondent and his counsel at that time opportunity to be heard in opposition, um, including but not limited to cross-examination of the petitioner and presentation of evidence, either in the form of testimony and or other physical evidence, which could include videos, photographs, and according to counsel for the respondent at the time, at least two witnesses that were identified as being present in the courtroom. Bottom line is it became apparent to this court that there was no way the case was going to conclude by the close of business and the court expressed and that record will reflect concerns for court uh, officials and not wanting to cut the matter short. Um, as a result of that, the court made inquiry and announced that the court would in fact clear the court's calendar for the following morning, November 30 at 9 a.m. to conclude these proceedings balancing the need to adjudicate the case on its merits, the concerns and issues um, of the petitioner, the fact that there was no temporary injunction in place at the time, the need for the respondent to get a resolution, which at times, which was inexplicable. What? Um, what was inexplicable? Counsel at the time of judge, this will just take a few minutes when oh, here we go. At the same time, talking out of the other side of his mouth, he had two witnesses at least. He had uh, a desire to cross examine. That he said he may or may not need to call. He. Mark Feather. Issues of judges that make, does it matter to you? I think it was like a rhetorical question, or I don't know that he wanted it to be adjudicated, but nonetheless, the court did not. Um, judges, it make any difference that the petition was not even sworn to? which I said, yeah, it, they, all legal issues, all factual ad, m matters are important to the court if they need to be adjudicated. So I don't know what that meant. Except when it comes to motions to disqualify, those are not important to the court. Which is that issue <laughs> was sworn to before a deputy clerk of court. The supplemental petition filed October 30th, 2023 was sworn to before a deputy clerk of court. The petitioner herself on November 29 at 3.09, 32 seconds, was sworn by the court. He's going to recite the entire uh, history so of the case before we get down going. To the, uh, down to the second. What he was talking it's about. Disgusting. Literally. Does it mean that it's not relevant or remains moot? But it's in that context that, Mr. Shockett, you weren't here, but... Um, Counsel for Mr. Hales at the time represented, he, we could resolve this in minutes. Hmm. Um, and in the history of jurisprudence, I don't know of anyone that's ever cross examined a petitioner who pre pre presented two hours of testimony, confronted video evidence, document. Rep. Dang it. All right, Brad, I can't. If I touch anything, this is what happens. So we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it the way it is. It's fine. You don't have to. I guess I can't. Oh, the reason why Team Viewer won't work is probably because it's too much, too much going on at once. It's all right. I I shouldn't have touched anything. That was oh, a mistake. You hit buttons. Mistake. Got a party going on in here. Yeah. Mistake. <laughs> mistake. Uh, Huge mistake. Okay, hold on. I'm going to close down some windows and see what happens. Let's give it a stay away from the, the window. Let's give it the old refresh. Defenestrate Judge the Thomases. That means throwing out a window for those who don't know. Defenestrate. What a good word. But seriously, the guy recites the entire history of the case before he can get going. And this is just going to go on and on and on. And this is denial of due this process, is, is what this is. Here, but, um... 
counsel for Mr. Hales at the time represented, he, we could resolve this in minutes. Um, and in the history of jurisprudence, I don't know of anyone that's ever cross-examined. Oh, my God. In the history of jurisprudence. I have been around for a long time. I am old and riggedy, and I've never seen that. <laughs> possibly presenting his own client. The court expressed under 9615 an intent to possibly ask the respondent several questions and present two other witnesses, all of which would be subject to cross-examination in a matter of minutes. minutes. Um, Thousands of minutes, maybe. <laughs> and so, yeah, and so the, the, the relevance oh, of the court setting this record um, is what we now need to address here um, this afternoon. On November 29, at the close of business, uh, that Wednesday, the court offered that we will reconvene the following morning at 9 a.m., And they wouldn't take me up on it. I've got so many documents. I don't know that I have that. The uh, I'll deal with this first. So um, at that time, the court mentioned we'll reconvene at 9 a.m. The petitioner mentioned to the court um, that despite having a medical appointment for the following morning, she would change that or reschedule that appointment for the purposes She's a saint, of proceeding that one. with the matters to be adjudicated that following morning. And so not being insensitive to the fact that she would have to reschedule, the court accepted her representation. She could be here, was willing to be here. She would reschedule. When turning to the respondent and his counsel, what was represented to the court was one that the respondent himself, and the language was to the effect of. Not to the effect, give us the exact had, quote, Judge. Yeah, I forgot the dates. Can you remind me, Judge, please? <laughs> He had to be present in Ohio the following morning. Oh, here he goes. To yeah. address matters relevant to he those lied to the court by, <laughs> by this court that he had a flight out and needed oh, to be guy. in Ohio tomorrow morning, having to address matters in Ohio related to this situation. Um, and so that representation was made and considered by the court. In addition, counsel at that time for the respondent stated, and another thing in effect, judge, I've got um, a calendar conflict for tomorrow morning. Again, this court is obligated to consider the potential impact upon continuance to the petitioner without having a temporary injunction in place. Nonetheless, the court at that time stated we would reconvene today's date, December 6, 2023, at 1 p.m. Counsel for Mr. Hales was present, did not object to scheduling it for today. Because his back was turned? Agreed to schedule yeah, it for today. Because he literally did not hear you. His assistant, who I'm familiar with, was present with him. And again, I didn't ask them this, but it would not be too presumptuous to think that the lawyer should know what his calendar is when I, suge oh, when I suggested the wow. next day at nine in the, in the morning. He is he so insufferable. Mm. Did I inquire? But he said he had one. When I said, okay, Wednesday, next Wednesday, one o'clock, yep. no objection, actual he agreement didn't ask. for scheduling it. Nope. His assistant, again, I don't know that she would have done this, but it wouldn't be a far stretch to think to... Again, and you're making saying, assumptions hey, from the bench, bro. Stop it. Take a peek at your and or, nobody, hey, take a moment. the litigants don't care about it. any of this. This is not relevant. Didn't. He clearly is, did not watch everyone was in agreement the, the video from the prior prior day hearing. At one o'clock, we hear this matter. Subsequent to that, <sighs> at subsequent to that, let me tell you all about how pissed off I am at you. Mr. Feather, then counsel for Mr. Hale, Hales, excuse me, files a motion to continue.
Okay, and? The close of business on a Friday effectively becomes Monday as a practical matter. Oh effectively God. becomes 48 oh hours God, or so stops. before the start of this hearing. And the motion to continue, and at great length, this court entered an order denying the motion to continue. But by, by the way, Megan, sorry, can, can you pause this for just one second? Yeah. Um, I, I want to say something that, that kind of was brought to light, I think, after that thing that you sent yesterday that you went over with Tug on his channel, by the way, you all mm -hmm. go check it out if you haven't seen that video yet after we're done here. Um, so it's 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 a very, I mean, we already knew it's a good old boy system. That's no surprise. Mm -hmm. We already knew that this is a small town. Uh, everybody protects everybody. But now we have proof. And I think I, I have a better understanding now that we're watching this uh, hearing, you know, uh, from December 6th and, and yesterday's hearing why he is the way that he is he knows that he is protected he yep. knows he's got a posse he knows yep. that they will bend over backwards to make sure that he's fine no matter what he does even if he spies on a chick in a tanning salon they're going to cover up for him they're going to cover up they're going to protect him somebody else and they're not going to do anything about uh you know removing him or anything even close to that to the contrary they'll bend over backwards to make sure he stays on the bench so one of the reasons why i think he's got this ego is because it's not just his own ego it is a it um it, it, it what I, there's a psychological term for it and it's not coming to me right now maybe chat can help me out it's basically when you feel empowered and now the community Kind of like what the, I mean, what the hells are, are having from the community right now, only in the positive sense, only this is in the negative sense. The judge feels empowered and the way that he behaves, it's a psychological response mm -hmm. to, to the fact that he's untouchable and he believes he's 100% convinced he is completely untouchable and he can just drone on, he can do whatever he wants, he can listen to the sound of his own voice and not litigate <laughs> cases and and just it's 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 like a it's like a symphony a performance in his own head of one one man show yeah. of look at me and, yeah, and like I, look at me that's literally how i feel narcissist no, well I there's there's another way, ter psychological term maybe the the psychologist in the in, in the chat can say it's a phenomena there's another phenomena it's like it's like the confirmation bias of your narcissism i forget what it's called it, there's a i learned it many years ago but anyway but you know what's scary though is that he might be right larry like he might be right he might actually be untouchable i don't know how when mm. i saw that five judges who are still sitting judges i think four of them are still on the bench that were involved in that in that going to bat for the the pervy weirdo Mm -hmm. um, five of them, four of them, at least four are still on the bench in this district. If Jeremy gets a new lawyer, uh, a new judge, it's going to be one of them. And they are clearly all in the same club. Yeah. And if, if they've decided that they don't want Jeremy Hales, uh, in this community, they're going to rule against him no matter what that, that is, this is the thing that is so weird about this case now that I, I think it's way deeper and way more complicated than we thought. It's not just one judge. It's an entire nest of vipers here that are, they want their little town and their little county to be run exactly how they want it run. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, when I did some research on all the people who testified in defense of uh, Ezel, the tanning salon perv, and one of them was the clerk of court who just retired. Uh, his last name is Irby. And I, I got confused looking him up because there's another Irby with a nickname, but a different nickname. His nickname was Buddy Irby. And the other guy that kept coming up was Jess Irby, with a, which was a nickname. I finally figured it out. He retires as the clerk of court. And guess who gets installed? His son. So Buddy is the retired dad, clerk of court, 25 years in Levy County. Mm -hmm. His son gets sworn in right after him as he retires. His son, his son, Jess Irby, is now the clerk of court. And guess who he went to school? Guess who Jess Irby grew up next to? Ezel. Judge. Oh, it's Ezel. Oh, Ezel. Oh, yeah. Wow. They were wow. neighborhood pals. Yeah. Well, it's a town of, of 200 people, so I'm not surprised right. that they all know each other. Right. And I don't, it's not like no one can get forgiveness and you can never be forgiven. It's just that people with immense amounts of power, judges, DAs, 
the, these people should not be should not be covering up for people who victimize others when that is their entire job is to advocate for victims. They should not be doing that. That that's just not in their purview. They can, can remain friends with a man but also say you really need to do something else with your life because this yes. is not for you. You don't belong here. That that belong. I agree with now. I thought, sorry, Megan, again, I, I have to reiterate that my earlier comment, I thought, and then, but then like, I guess my brain didn't fully wrap the concept because it's like, well, if you're, I get it. If, if you're a convicted, you know, sex offender, which this was a sex offense in my opinion. And I think in the opinion of everyone, yes, uh, voyeurism, it, yes, he was videotaping a woman changing half naked on his cell phone that is a sex offense period the end and yeah, so it's a felony on top of it it's a felony on top of it so you should be not only a, well okay maybe maybe he got diversion or whatever so it's not like a, he's not a convicted felon fine but you should go on the registry and once you're on the registry I've, i don't know do you lose your license automatically like i actually don't know the I, procedure because i've never doubt it i doubt I've it never, but but in this case he wasn't he didn't even go on the registry yeah no no no, this it didn't even so go on weird. the registry. So, so and, and uh, Tug found Tug found that there was some writing on it that said something like, "Well, the embarrassment and shame is enough for voyeuristic well, offenders, so they don't have to go on a registry." Which I think is really <laughs> shitty. And I wonder how his vi how his victim feels. I wonder if she can go into a dressing room anymore or a tanning salon and feel comfortable. You know, I wonder if, how much therapy she's needed to get over this. Yeah, somebody gets drunk and. You know, takes a leak on the sidewalk of a the side of a building outside the bar. They're going to get have to register. Are you serious? Well, yeah, that happens a lot. Somebody gets caught urinating in public. Wow. And then all they have been are they're on a registry. But you can film a woman in a tanning bed, and you don't get on a registry. That is gross. That's just gross. This is a peeping tom pervert. And he's not on a registry. Nope, nope. He's a he's a valued, vaunted member of the uh, of the the bar in Gainesville, and and the Eighth Circuit just loves him. Everybody there loves him, and and that's fine. They can love him all they want, but they shouldn't have gone to bat for him uh, to keep his law license. It's just my, my girlfriend who's been listening to all this. She's getting ready to jump on. Like I said, Chandler actually made a good point. The reason why even my initial instinct was to kind of give him the benefit of the doubt is because I'm a criminal defense attorney and my brain automatically goes defaults to how would I defend this person? How would I help them? How would I protect their rights? You know? And so that's why my sure. default is like, well, what can we do to, to keep his job or to, to whatever? So that's a really good point that she's making myself as a criminal defense attorney. My, my brain is always like, what is the best strategy to win this case? Even though I have no, no, no positive feelings towards this man. I mean, there are a lot of clients that I have no positive feelings towards, but I represent them to the best of my ability because everybody deserves a zealous advocate. That's the end of the line. Yeah. And, and I agree that that's true. And he does deserve a, a zealous advocate in court, but you know, another thing I couldn't find that he got any criminal sentence for it. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm having people, I have some people looking at, looking it up for me, but I haven't found any news reports of a criminal sentence or, I mean, he must, he pled no contest, but did he get sentenced is the, is the question. Like he, he pled. Yeah, not so able to look up the court records. Um, well, I haven't, I haven't tried that yet and I will. Yeah, um, I would go to I the county clerk, the county court clerk's records and search his name in whatever yes. county it's in. And if it's not in that one, maybe in the surrounding county. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this whole thing is just it's upsetting to me and that it, so Jeremy, so getting back to the the point, which is even if he gets a new judge, if they don't want him here, it's already a done deal. It's just a done deal. And that's unfortunate. And we've uncovered something in this county that is a real problem. Uh, and, and luckily, it is not like this everywhere. You know, I was talking to Tug and he's like, our, if this happened in our community, in our small town, there's no way that they would circle the wagons like that. So it, it just depends. It depends on where you are and what the, what the culture is like there. And unfortunately, this Levy County has some really bad culture, I think. I think that's the problem. So let's, uh, we'll continue here. This was insufficient to grant the relief being requested. Number two, made no representation or no affirmance or no 
position stated with regards to what the petitioner's position might be or that contact was made to see if she objects or or not um did not suggest when it might be continued to if the court did continue it uh, and generally failed to establish any good cause for the requested continuance additionally on the 29th at the close of the proceedings when the court directed and suggested and got agreement from counsel that we'd be here at one o'clock on 12 6 to hear this matter Lie. um the court also yeah agreement what agreement to everybody to all parties and the court the court said to respondents counsel in the presence of his assistant to his client to the petitioner the hearing will take place on 12 6 at 1 p.m if any calendar conflict arises you'll have a week to take care of it by rescheduling whatever matter comes up that would otherwise potentially be in conflict i made it really clear this takes priority these types of cases take priority this particular case takes priority this is a case we already started this is a case that could have been concluded the following morning this is a case that the respondent and his counsel wanted the continuance they were granted that continuance they don't object to the continuance, no, they they didn't want the continuance. continuance. and then they're asking for another continuance inexplicable say continuance one more time judge i dare you i double dog dare you <laughs> in addition to that the court, the court and Mr. Hales, it, you didn't, I mean, you might've said one or two things. I don't know. You weren't. No, he said nothing. Your lawyer nothing. represented to this court certain things on your behalf. Um, and I have to accept them. I'm dying of old age here, judge. Question those, but you may be thinking, <laughs> well, now he's questioning because in the order denying the motion to continue, I further directed the respondent to present proof of travel and his appearance in court in Ohio. Because quite frankly, that became the basis of the continuance. And in part, and we're going to get to in a moment, we're now dealing with a second successive motion to continue filed by present counsel, Mr. Shockett, who's here on different grounds. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute. But in part, because we're we now have that it becomes even that much more important that the compliance issue is addressed. And the court asked for three things in that order. And the court has not yet received compliance. By the way, every time he says the court, the court he one, says me. Written documentary me. proof of the travel itinerary corroborating <sighs> that he did travel by plane to Ohio to be present in time for a hearing on the morning of 11 30 23 and never said he had a hearing, hearing whatever no he said he had matters to, to deal with in court confirming and corroborating that he did in or fact with the have court a required court appearance in ohio scheduled for the morning of 11 30 23 and three that he attended such proceeding by the way megan sorry did you One know that facebook and instagram are down and facebook messenger Oh, no, I didn't know that because I never use Facebook anymore. It's totally yeah, useless. In I fact, I stopped, stopped, I stopped streaming there, too, because it's just an absolute, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, no one's watching. It's I have over, I have almost 10,000 followers on Facebook, and my live streams get very little uh, viewer, viewership. And I swear, they have been, ever since they put PJ Media on the bad algorithm mm -hmm. on Facebook, where they... They slashed my salary by half, more than half that year. Oh, uh, it was 2020. My salary just tanked, and it was because Facebook put a block on us. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, I am hidden on Facebook. I'm sure of it. I'm actually considering just just deleting it because there's no point in it anymore. So I, I when they're down, I with friends, you know, like <laughs> friends and family. Yeah, I mean, well, I have like I have one for that, but I never check it. I never check mm -hmm. it. Yeah, That's I have weird. to keep in touch with friends and family. They know how to get in touch with me if they need to. Well, I'm also part so. of like this private group where, where there's like 600 lawyers and we all like ask for legal advice and share like our thoughts and opinions and stuff. So I, at least that I find that's like the only thing I use it for anymore. 
Yeah, I used to have a group there that was the Conservative Libertarian Fiction Alliance. It was a bunch of writers, uh, conservatives and libertarians, and it was great. But then infighting broke it up and half of them moved to MeWe and half of them stayed there. And I just backed out of all of it. I was like, oh, yeah. forget it. I get it. Uh, <laughs> so that was the last group that I was involved in on Facebook. So now I just don't have any and uh, I'm I don't miss it. I Twitter replaced everything for me. Um, I really like Twitter. I, I don't want to get too backed up on the super chat, so we'll get to some of those right now. John Stuber, Mark Feather, thanks for Arr. the super chat. Appreciate that. Um, wait, where did the first one go? Whoops, I missed it. Okay, Jackie, thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate you. PDW, thanks for the super sticker. Sarah Adams, just wondering if Larry is from the Ville. What's I am. The Ville is Louisville, Kentucky. The Ville, Louisville. We call it the Ville. Oh. Yep. I think I think Sarah's in Kentucky too. Uh Demille Vincatre. Demille Vincatre. Demille Vincatre. Is that French? Yes. Hello, Larry and Megan. Hello. Thank you for the super chat. Carrie McPhee, thanks for the super chat. Watching the saga from Melbourne, Australia, all the way from down under. Oh, well, welcome. Well, K Matt Red Queen became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. That is the sound that a fox makes. If you have never heard it, it's pretty terrifying. And Bessie Knox gifted one DUI guy membership. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, Siggy H says Judge Grudge loves pervs and strippers. Oh, gross. Um, all right. Let's see. Kilobyte became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. Yeah, because he did represent a stripper. Did he? Ago. Is that what that's about? Yeah, the judge did. Yes, the judge represented. Well, he was I a defense was a attorney. Yes, yeah, as a defense and, and attorney. Yes. Can I? Can I? I, I have to say this. Uh, I I have examined that case ad nauseum, and someone has sent me a, even a two minute clip. I hate to say it, but at least in 1999, the judge's hands are mostly clean. Like he was, okay. he was a defense attorney. He did his yeah. job. I mean, he didn't want the video. I will say this. He didn't want the video to leak to the public, but it was in his client's best interest because the video yeah. would have basically shown that she is 100 percent like at fault. And he was trying to protect the information from the public mm -hmm. because if the public had seen it, they would be up in arms and she would be convicted yeah. of perjury. And he was representing her, trying to defend her on the perjury charge. So he yeah. actually did well, the right thing. I, I have to give him but, credit. As now that I dug more into it, I think his hands are one hundred percent clean. He actually just, did a, a, a right. deserves a good defense. In ninety nine, yeah. in nineteen ninety nine, but that was twenty five years ago. So things have changed. Yeah, when since. was uh, when was Lynette a stripper? Oh, uh, God. I don't even. Well, you've got a thing for him. I don't know. I don't even want to think about that. K Matt Red Queen, welcome <laughs> to the welcome to the Fox Den. Good to have you here, Matt Bond. Thanks for the super chat. Hello, my spiffy legal mumbo jumble talky mate. Hello. All right. Uh, Fluff Nutta became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. Chickens get eaten. And Fluff Nutta, thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate you. And boy, a lot of new members today. This is great. KT carries watermelon. Thanks for becoming a YouTube member. I'm going to have to get on my members only uh, uh, content. Suzanne Parrish, thanks for the super chat. Looking like Judge lies as much as Lynette. It's strange. He does tell a lot of lies from the bench, and he really shouldn't. Yes, Internet, Internet killed the TV. Became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. Internet radio killed, killed the, the radio star reference. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Matt Bond, thanks for the super chat. I wish I had a rent as cheap as Feather has in the judge's head. He's up there <laughs> rent free. He will be older than Dumbledore by the time he's finished. I know he's aging in front of us. His hair is growing wilder by the hour that passes kimberly mogan thanks for the super chat he recites this every time to extend the time i know that's how it feels i feel like he does not control his courtroom and that all of these delays are truly the judge's fault because he wastes so much time internet killed the tv thanks for the super chat you're awesome talk tomorrow oh if you have to leave i'm sorry you have to leave please come back for the replay and if you're here on the replay don't forget to hit that like button while you are watching and shout out to the replay folks the replay crew we love you linda evers thanks for the super chat there's a gofundme for jeremy's legal fees jeremy's legal fees my poor guy uh lily red 37 thanks for the super chat at dui guy plus i hope you enjoyed the mark feather t-shirt design i sent yes. you yes i did thank you awesome don't we have talented chat members it's amazing what they can come up with Debbie Childers, thanks for the super chat, says, why did he send George to the back of the court? He said she couldn't sit. If she was a witness, she had to sit behind yeah. the table. Which um, is not a party to the case. So. Right. 
So she can't sit at council table. Yeah. That's just a rule. Uh, Reba 54. Thanks. Welcome to the uh, Fox Den. Welcome. Do your squats. All right. Paul Broadworth. Thanks for the super chat. If Jeremy would have been in court, so would have Lunette. He is, he, he's an, he's not smart. Jeremy would have been in court. So would Lynette. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I got that or not, but that's okay. Thanks for the super chat. Candace Bingham. Thanks for the super chat says Larry sending your, you, you're an important email, sending you an important email. Margaret Tear, thanks for the super chat. Word you're looking for, word you're looking for is cocksure. That is a good word. That's a mm. very good word. Con confident, arrogant. It's like a, it's like an arrogant confidence, I think. Right. Teresa Finn, thanks for the super chat. Says after what we watched last night, we all agree that what the hails probably won't get justice here. What can we do now? Oh, I, I mean, you got to keep going and go through the system and see what happens. I mean, that's all we can do. And with media attention on this story, perhaps, perhaps they will decide that it's better for them to get rid of this and to stop. You know, who knows? I don't know. Hey, I don't Megan, know. People were asking for the to see the T-shirt design. Can you share the oh. screen? This is it. Oh, this is somebody good. sent that to me. That's so good. <laughs> that's good. I love it. Marcus King, remember Larry never ask a question. You don't know the answer. The judge already says go to first DCA if you don't like it. And then they're already there, right? Thanks, Marcus King, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Lori DeJesus, thank, uh, thanks for becoming a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. And don't forget to do your squats. Duncan Idaho, thanks for the super chat. Says, turns out just anyone can be a judge, even low tier social worker advocates who look like they smell like onions. <laughs> this is the land of opportunity. That's hilarious. That's a good one. Casey Cat, thanks for the super chat, says this whole thing smells of Murdoch, Murdoch County. Yeah, it does. Mm. Yes, it kind of does. Karen Bamberg, thanks for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Miss Jackson, North Carolina, thanks for the super chat. I think they all just need Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Rogue Mama member for three months. Thanks for being here. Three months since the demonic pizza with toppings from hell took me into her den. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, Chris W. Thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate that. Karen Karsten. Thanks for the super chat. Says, I experienced similar corruption in Ada, Oklahoma. There's some pretty famous documentary documentaries and a book made about it. Small towns and small counties. Big corruption. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> true sarah adams thanks for the super chat says i know i'm your second favorite but i live in oregon oh why did i think you were lived in kentucky i don't know kathy hall thanks for the super chat the man behind lynette is russ the sus wait hold on in the video that guy oh she is son so he's the guy he's like a, a board member or something He's the no 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 he's the the uh oh my god chat help me out isn't he's he the, the county supervisor or something something like that he works for the system I forget yeah, what he, he does he works at the I don't know what his well the chat will correct us in a minute yeah, I'm almost yeah, the, through these reform Congress thanks for the super chat could the judge be brought up yes mayor ex mayor sorry ex mayor. mayor yeah could the judge be brought up on federal deprivation of rights charges no probably not if the FBI the FBI doesn't care and they don't have any jurisdiction over well, they do have jurisdiction do. over judges if judges are doing things like um, Accepting uh, case, bribes. case fixing, bribes. There was a big, huge case in Chicago. Operation Greylord took down 19 uh, corrupt judges and lawyers. They were taking bribes to for cases, for case outcomes. Wow. Uh, and that was caught on wiretaps. That was a huge operation. But the FBI appears to be way less interested in judicial corruption and more interested on who traveled to Washington, D.C. on January 6, 2020 and uh, locking up grannies uh, in, you know, who took a tour through the Capitol. So don't count on them to get involved in any kind of judicial uh, investigations these days. They're, they're very, very busy uh, looking for people who did tourism in the in the Capitol in 2020. Very busy. They were invited in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Fox Den. Uh, whoever got that gifted sub from Rogue Mama. Thank you for that. Rogue Mama. <laughs> that was really good, Larry. Oh, God. That was really good. 
<laughs> to Melvin Quatra. I can't, I can't say, I can't speak French. What did Thomas says is doing is the biggest joke ever since Therese Johansson Rojo's killer and his accomplice got only 20 months in jail in Sweden. By the way, yes, my username is French. It means 2024. Oh, thank you. I, I, I should have known that, but I can't even count in French. Teresa Finn, thanks for Super Chat, says, Megan, I'm too sick to do squats today. Maybe I'll do leg lifters while I'm trying to nap. Here's some great news. My neck is feeling much better today. Look, look at me turn my head without wincing. Good. So guess what I did? This is so crazy. So I don't know. I was up really late two nights ago. I couldn't sleep. And the Oculus was sitting there, and I haven't played the Oculus in a while. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to play a little Beat Saber. I'm going to do Beat Saber. Next thing you know, I have been playing Beat Saber for an hour. It was like two in the morning. It was ridiculous. I was up till two in the morning playing Beat Saber. Nice. And, and it was it's so much fun. I do love Beat Saber. It's a good game, you know? And so I go, I go to bed. I wake up in the morning, and I was feeling a little better. My neck was feeling a little better. And I realized halfway through the day, I'm like, I wonder if it was the Beat Saber. So last night, I played again. I played again. Now I have an excuse why mommy needs the Oculus for an hour because uh, I need to do my That's neck right. rehab. And honestly, my, I'm moving my neck better today than I have in, I don't know, two awesome. months. Awesome. Movement Good, sometimes therapy. heals a lot of like muscle pain. But so like if you start like moving, running, walking, doing things like it loosens up the muscles. And then when you sleep, they don't get as tense, you know? Well, so that's what I was supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing all oh, the walking. Last time I had this, I was doing much more walking and I got rid of it. So I went back to the gym for the last three months. I've been walking like crazy, been doing weights and stuff, but it was actually getting worse. So I don't know if it was because I'm not using weights and it's just my arms and there's a lot of rotator cuff motion. Who knows? I don't know, but it's working. So I'm going with the Beat Saber therapy from now on. I, I'm just saying. I, the walking, though, is also good and the weather is breaking. So thank God. K Matt Red Queen, thanks for the super chat, says, watch Levy Co. comments meeting this AM and two Meeks family members on the board. One is Russ the Sus' son the ex-mayor. You know, I, I still haven't gotten into this, like what's going on on the county level. I have no idea. Lori DeJesus, thanks for the super chat, says, what are the chances that Lynette found that Thomas's best friend is his attorney? Well, I, for one, I thought that was pretty sus suspect myself. But then again, considering the size of the town and how many attorneys there are, maybe there's really only like two law offices in town. I don't know. We should well, maybe find apparently Jeremy had spoken to quite a few of the attorneys locally as well, so they may have been conflicted out. <gasps> oh, that's interesting. Lori continues to say, I really think that JG had Silverman contact her. What do you think? I, I think it's a possibility, but I think it's also, that would be really bad. That would be yeah. really bad. That and would be open corruption. But like, if we, he we is have... an ethics professor, yeah. my, my instincts tell me that he wouldn't do that. I don't think he did. I really, I mean, I'm biased, but if he did that, it would, now I'm thinking like, let's say he did do that. Let's, let's assume for a second, let's assume the worst, Megan. Let's say he, as a judge was like, Hey, listen, buddy, um, there's this woman in my courtroom. She's unrepresented. I feel bad for her. Uh, this I'm giving him too much credit, but like, you know, you can make money on this case. How about you reach out, see if she's got any money and maybe you can make some money on it. Like, I, is that against the rules? I don't think I, it is. That's the I thing. I think like, he could do that. I think the, he what's could. What's the problem with it? I mean, <clears throat> it's his friend. He wants his friend to make some money. I mean, they're and in bed together. And he could be concerned. And he as, could be concerned that a litigant yeah. is going to get run over in his court. As, as long as there's he, not like, you know, um, what's it called? As long as they're not like ex parte communication, you know, uh, when they're drinking whiskey on the weekend, playing golf, being like, hey, so what do you think about that case, judge? Now, that would be a violation. But they have to get there first. Yeah, right. I think he could tell somebody, hey, I think this person could use representation, but that's as far as it could go. He can't pay for that representation, which I doubt he did. Somebody, though, did give her $7,000, and and that's that's weird, and we don't know who. Mama Hype, thanks for the super chat, says, DUI, been with you since live from the line. I'm Aww. a reseller. Cha-ching. It's making me think I've got sales. <laughs> 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 the cha-ching sound. Duncan, Idaho. Thanks for the super chat. I'm getting some major Fannie Willis vibes from this judge. He refers to himself by his title nearly as much as she does. Very in love with his power. He loves talking about the court in the third person. Uh, that's loves what judges it. do, though. That's normal, unfortunately. It, but it, yeah, he, over, he over he overuses it. He does. I have 
I've never heard a judge do things like this. I've never heard them say things like he does when he goes, the court said, and I quote, on Monday that at 559, the court warned you and the court told you. I mean, he just goes over. He, 559 he, it's, it's, and 37 seconds. Thank you. And 37 seconds. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Debbie Childers, thanks for the super chat. Says, sorry, I have to take hubby to the doctor's appointment. Love you guys. Well, we love you too. Come back later. Megan, are you mad at me for messaging you on X about this case? I know it's been a lot. No, I'm never mad at anybody for mes messaging me uh, on on Twitter or on X, please find me there anytime at Megan Fox writer. I'm happy to talk to you if I can. Um, right now we are swamped with messages. So if yeah, you so if I don't get back like three days, right, I bet right. I literally caught up on, on Saturday's messages this morning. So right. please, please yeah. be patient. Thank you for saying that, Larry, because that's, that's the truth. I'm getting so many. I may have missed your, your comment. I may have, you know, and I'm not doing it intentionally. It's just been a lot. That's Heather's a house, thank you. I don't have. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Heather Strauss, thanks to the super chat, says, look at the court link I put in chat with different judge name on stalking cases. Oh, if you put a link in the chat, it has disappeared, Heather. Um, unless you're doing it. I don't know if you're on Larry's. I'm not sure. But if you want to send me a link, you should probably do that on Twitter uh, or locals. MeganFox.locals.com. Teddy O'Hearn, thanks to the super chat, says, Meek's son plus nephew are Levy County Commissioners. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, Rob Guy, thank you for joining the Fox Den. Welcome. We do squats here. And if you're a one of, if you're a male, welcome to the 20%, by the way. Welcome to the 20%. And Candace Bingham, last super chat for now. Lynette and Russ were texting during the hearing. Really? Now, <clears throat> that's interesting. This judge doesn't really keep too tight a court, uh, like tighter reins on her, though. I mean, enough. Okay, here we go styled as quote notice of compliance with court's order dated december 4 2023 is inadequate insufficient and does not respond fully to the order directing proof of compliance what has been provided appears to be a copy of a boarding pass showing a november 30th 10 a.m flight from tampa to cleveland and a return boarding pass from cleveland to tampa there she is december 3rd Hi, Hi, Chandler. And so hey, Chandler. the first thing for having me to resolve You're here welcome. is whether or not for being Ms. Harrell's has provided oh, absolutely. compliance pursuant to that order. Uh, my intent is to ask several questions um, to get that resolved so we can proceed with the other matters. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hal, if you could raise your right hand. Your Honor, Rick would maybe heard on that just to give you an introduction before we do this, because I, I just got some information from his Ohio lawyer I think okay. is relevant. Okay, may I be heard? Sure. Okay. So thank you. And I appreciate you giving me up, getting me up to speed about what happened. Um, this, I haven't talked to Mr. Feather, but what I understand from him, it was a misunderstanding that came about a hearing in court that morning. Uh, he went to his lawyer and I, this is what I want to, which I just got by email from his lawyer. Uh, him had his draft and sign affidavits, which had to be notarized in Ohio. And I've got them here, which were signed in Ohio on it, it, it related to the injunction hearing in Ohio. Uh, they were signed on December 1st, uh, 2023. Yeah, sure. Okay. So there's one for John Cook. Yeah. And there's one for Lynette. Cook. And I just got these by email. Can I can I object to this? Since it's it's not truthful. Okay, in a second, I'll get to you in just a second. Let me see what it is. That's not a valid objection in court, by the way. No, but the judge will buy it. Of course. Else, if you can raise your right hand, solemnly swear or affirm the testimony about the given this cause. <clears throat> cause will be the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. You are Jeremy Hales, the respondent in this action. Yes. You were present in court on November 29 when your counsel represented that you had to be in court the following morning oh, in Ohio. Oh, here we go. I was in court. I apologize. 
I was in court. My uh, lawyer did not say verbatim I had to be in a trial in Ohio. He said that I, I say, had. I didn't say the word trial either. If, if that's or in heard, court. Or if I my, wait, wait, wait. Why is he it's arguing not, with him? Trial. Has he one time, has he one time, even one time argued with Lynette nope. about anything? No. Nope. Did he interrupt her at nope. all? Not once. He is, he is already just pissed off at him because he has made up his mind that Jeremy Hales is a liar, that he lied to him about, and he misrepresented to the court where he had to be. It's so much garbage. I, yeah, it does, I think it makes the judge, me mad. He, he misunderstood the phrase. He had matters to handle in, in Ohio in, in Ohio and in court. He did say in court. Yeah, but that doesn't did. necessarily mean you're in the court. I mean, sometimes being in court, you're at the courthouse. Hey, 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 babe, what's the the new nickname that you came up with for yeah. Judge the Thomases? Judge the Tortoises. I am. Um, I went to. <laughs> I went. I I did a hot yoga class last night, and we we're in that pose where you're like you're on your back and you're holding your feet, and I, I started rocking. All of a sudden, I realized that I couldn't get up, and I and I felt like a tortoise <laughs> in the sun. And I realized that it would be so funny if your local chat did something with that, Megan. Their, their memes, you know how they're going to do. If you put Judge Thomas's face on a tortoise. I mean, go wild with it. Go we've, crazy. We've, I, they've already put, um, so they've, they've made um, Lynette as a tortoise, which is also funny. But yes, I will have to ask the chat. I do have the locals chat open on my phone. I'm too scared to open it on the computer in case things, I don't want to touch any more buttons. So I have it open on my phone. I will be, I will be looking at locals chat every once in a while. Also rumbles hopping today, you guys. Hey, rumble. It? I see you over there. Yeah. Rumble chat is going, which I love. Rumble is like, rumble's just they're on fire today. So glad you're here, Rumble. And I do have you open today so I can see you. I'm not ignoring you. All right. Let's and then, and then away. just real quick, just to add to it, um, the one thing that uh, I wanted to add, and I said it to her, she just cracked up last night when she told me this because it was brilliant. It was the most brilliant thing. Judge the tortoises. And think, <laughs> imagine a, a tortoise on its back, Judge the Thomas's head, and he's in the pen of Lynette with all the <laughs> other tortoises. <laughs> <laughs> in the swampy, gross water that she got in trouble oh, yeah. for. In the oh, I fell out of my chair. I have to see that. that. Too small. I, I, what is this tortoise position? Were you on your tummy with the legs behind or on your back with the legs? No, I was on, I think it's, is it called, is it like, it's not like child, but it's like happy baby. Oh, it's baby called happy baby. Stupid. It's happy yeah. baby. I love like that pose. You're like holding feet and you're, yes. and, and, it was, and I started to fall over. And rolling and I, around. Yeah. And I just had that feeling of a, like a turtle or a tortoise. And I was just like, <laughs> wouldn't it be great if Judge Thomas was in this position? And he was just on his back and he couldn't roll over and he couldn't get up. You know, we'll, we'll have him retracting into his shell he'll be so terrified um i don't know Think, yeah i feel like this is the perfect job for locals locals will come up with the best memes they, they they'll will it. i'm looking forward to it i just they want will. to put that out there my <laughs> locals for... my locals meme farmers are uh, excellent at what they do they're very very good at it so they will come up with something they've been really going to town with the ai recently and it has just made me scream laughing i love it so much all right here we go my legal counsel did not state I needed to be in court. He stated that I needed to be in Ohio to take care of things with the court. Having to address matters in Ohio related to this situation. Correct. correct. So did you or did you not have a court appearance? I did not have a court appearance, nor was it stated that I had a court appearance. Okay. And so what was it? You, you had to go there to sign some documents? That's what's been presented to the court. Yes, sir. Okay, so the court is familiar with, because the court does this on a daily basis, sometimes dozens of times, sometimes hundreds of times a day, which is signing documents. Oh, this is so anywhere. unnecessary. Can I just say, can I just say, if I am this judge and this case is already dragged on, I am going to let it go and move on with the freaking case. None of this has anything to do with his case. This is all about Judge DeThomasis stroking his own ego and exercising his own authority and power over these people in his courtroom because he enjoys it for no other reason that he enjoys it. He's like a parent 
who is a disciplinarian and they get off on just doing disciplining all the time and they will not shut up and stop after they've already told you they didn't like the thing that you did. It's enough already. Move the fuck on. But no, he's going to do this for the rest of it. We're at, just look, we're at 19 minutes. Let's see how much longer he goes on about this particular topic. They're on the planet. Why did you have to go to Ohio to sign your name to a document? Filing for contempt of court on the civil protection orders in Ohio, my legal counsel asked if I would fly and come and notarize and file in the court system. That's not responsive to my question. My question is why oh. would you have to physically be there in Ohio to sign a document that could be signed in many, many other ways without you physically? I being thought it was responsive. My legal counsel in Ohio said I needed to be in person to sign the documents. It was much more responsive then. Tell me how this started with you and, and Jeremy Hales. Well, it was his relationship with the Grangers. The Grangers. Who the fuck are the Grangers? What What are you talking about, woman? We still don't My know. God, we still, yeah. Did you leave the council? Eli Heller. Eli, last name? Heller. H-E-L-L-E-R. Yes. What's he going to do? Office? Call Eli Heller and Falls, confirm? Ohio. And by the way, can, can I Probably. can I say this? I, I know this is family court and like, you know, the rules of evidence and the rules of whatever are all relaxed, the, the rules of procedure, etc. But to cross-examine a litigant over why the like the continuance was granted and now I'm upset that I granted the continuance and I feel like I wasn't told the absolute truth, like – you can get it from the lawyer. You don't need to talk to fucking Jeremy about this. Yep. It's ridiculous. Yep. It's intimidation it's, tactic. Pure intimidation tactic. Mm. And how is it? Now, wouldn't you say, Larry, wouldn't mm. you say, and MG, wouldn't, and Chandler, wouldn't you say at this point, this is where Jeremy can start to feel in fear that he will not get a fair trial oh, from yeah. this judge. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's happening right now. He's being interrogated by Judge uh, Judge de Tortoises here. I like that, Chandler. I'm gonna. I, we're gonna. We should keep that, Judge de Tortoises. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> uh, he he's being interrogated right now, and if I were in his shoes, I would be like, "What the actual hell? Th this is no, so bad." So you're saying you're you're. You're a lawyer, gave you advice. By the way, anything you're talking about in terms of advice of your counsel, if you're choosing to talk about this, I'm not I'm not asking you to waive any attorney-client privilege, but you're raising as a defense to your non-compliance with this court's order that your lawyer told you. you as a to defense? Do you're not is he's not being yes. charged with non-compliance, Your Honor. You tell me. Oh no. If you Don't have do a that. basis. Why, from your perspective or from what you know about maybe, your need to be there? Maybe he's considering holding him in contempt, Larry. Mm -hmm. That's what it's starting to smell like. That is what it sounds like. What was your need to be there as opposed to all other forms of the ability to sign a document from literally anywhere on the planet these days? From my understanding, notarization. Not again. Oh, no. no. Let me check. Let me check the... Uh, Make sure it got it didn't get reset. You have the there computer we go. problems like I do. It's okay. Uh, you know, it's you know what it is. <laughs> the juice is brand new. So. In person, it's not the with computer. It's the Wi-Fi. And then filing in the Ohio courts. It's the, yeah. the yeah. bandwidth. But yeah. Use a notary here in Florida with your lawyer here in Florida. The the stupid. So I have Spectrum, and it's the only one we can have oh, in out yeah, here in, the, in the country. I did not ask that question. And they slow on. you down so on you're, purpose. You're unaware whether you could have done it that way. I am unaware. All right. Why is it not signed until December 1st? Oh, for God's sake. Why Seriously, is it not Judge? signed until? Why because is it not signed? Flew up there on the My third flight year. was booked prearranged <laughs> for the date that you've been provided. And then the meetings were already set per date as well. The meetings were December 1st? Great yes, sir. So you did not have to be in oh. Ohio on November 30th. At oh, here he goes. So I had to be at the Tampa airport for my flight at 9 a.m. <clears throat> so no, I did not judge. need to be in Ohio at 9 a.m. I needed to be at yes, the Tampa scary. airport at 9 a.m. And he's not willing so to accept this as an answer. That you need to be in Ohio tomorrow morning. 
That oh was my god! At or about 4:45 to 5 p.m. <sighs> on 11:29. This is so exhausting. Tomorrow morning would be the a.m. of 11:30. That's what he's. He doesn't know how flights work. He doesn't know how flights work. No, no, no Megan. He there. knows. You know, I, I'm know, starting to morning, understand yeah. him a little bit better. Maybe I don't know. Chad, agree or disagree? He is purely doing this to try and intimidate, harass, yep. aggravate the situation, make Jeremy feel helpless, and make him feel as low and minuscule as, as he possibly can in order yeah. to get under his skin so that – I don't even know what the end goal is, but but that's that's. I don't know what it is either. What else is it? He knows how yeah. flights work. He's been flying you know, back and forth. I'll tell you what it is. I know what it is. dinosaurs. I know what it is. He's putting him in his place. Yeah. He, mm. he, how dare he come in here, this huge YouTube he star. He has researched him. He has researched him since since that first hearing. He knows who he is. He doesn't like him at all. And he's going to put him in his place. Mm. Because Jeremy Hales thinks he's above this judge. He thinks he's a free citizen. How dare he? I'm going to show him that he's under my thumb. He's under my boot. And that's it. That This yep. is what he's doing. He has no, he doesn't hold him in contempt. He doesn't actually do anything. This is just to harass him, period. Exactly. I mean, unless he's never left this county. I mean, I tutored an eight-year-old who had been to Hawaii eight times because they went every year for vacation. She knew how flights work. She knew about cancellations. She knew about delays. She knew about departures. If an eight-year-old knows, Judge DeTortisus knows. Most definitely. <laughs> he, he most definitely knows. Oh, no, I, just, I like to call him Judge the Dumbass. The but... Dumbass. There are a lot of good nicknames. I, I encourage people to come up with as many nicknames as possible. Your Honor, I had tickets pre-purchased. Pre so to make my flight for for my appearances in Ohio, uh, there would not have, I don't believe there would have been another opportunity to actually fly into Ohio to be able to make my appearances on time. never used those words and said, well, Judge, just to be accurate and just to be truthful uh, and just to articulate the basis. Let's play semantics. We're asking for a continuance of a case that involves a petition for protection against stalking for which there's no temporary injunction so that you have all the facts and circumstances. Let me tell you, my client doesn't have to be there tomorrow morning, but for the fact that he's already paid for a ticket that will allow him to get there the day before he has to be there to uh, sign a document. And maybe the court at that time could have inquired of counsel. So, so let me get this straight, Judge. Just, you wanted his lawyer to give you his detailed itinerary. Uh, well, Your Honor, my client has to get up at 8 a.m. tomorrow and he has to brush his teeth and get dressed. It's going to take him 30 uh, minutes before he can get out of the house. Then he has to drive in two hour, an hour of traffic to make it to the airport two hours before his flight. And then he gets on the plane and they're going to sit on the runway for a while and though they might get snacks they might not get snacks i'm not sure but then that flight is going to take off at some point and land in ohio probably around 3 30 p.m at which point my client has to then go to his his home he has to get some sleep and wake up early in the morning to meet his lawyer at the courthouse to sign some papers did i cover everything judge like honestly that's what he wants what I don't, that's what he wanted, really? He wanted Apparently. Mark Feather to give him his detailed minute by minute itinerary for the next day. Oh, yeah. He wanted all this documentation and just wait till Lynette has the issue and he can't be there and see what he asked her for as documentation and see if it's anywhere on the same level. Not in this it. hearing, but it I does can't. happen. Hypothetically. Why would somebody have to physically be in Ohio to sign a document? Oh, I can think of a lot of reasons. Kill me. Right? That never took Kill place. Me. And I know that because I've, I've reviewed the hearing half a dozen times, and I was the one who was presiding over you the hearing. You watched the hearing What was represented to times? this court by your lawyer is that you had to be in Ohio tomorrow morning, which would have been November 30th a.m. Having he was to there. address, having, when lawyers use that word, has to, must, shall, requirement, be in Ohio related to the situation. And what I'm now hearing is you really didn't have to be there till the next day. Oh, it God. may be that you really didn't have to be there at all because all what you did was sign a document, not see a judge who required you to make a court appearance. Judge, may I ask some questions? Wait a moment, okay. you can. Huh? Is that accurate? Mr. <laughs> Check is. Is that the more accurate representation? I think the accurate representation is there is a scheduling conflict. 
and, and and on my part, a very important schedule. Boom to roasted. To be able to catch my flight, to be able to go yeah, like to that's the sheriff's all you station to, know. to pick up my certified civil protection orders against Lynette Preston and John Cook because they cannot be served to anybody else. I had to be in Ohio in, per in person at Summit County Sheriff to receive those, then to go to see my lawyer. Why, why did you have to get served with something? Because that's the way the system works. I'm yeah. served as well. He He's served, he served, I'm served. The issue is of November 30th in the morning, oh. you did not need to be there to be served. You did not, now we know, need to be there to sign any documents. Because it doesn't even well, take place till the December 1st date. No, sir. The issue is I had a scheduled flight to be there and do not believe I could have gotten another flight to be there on time. Did you ever set your lawyer straight when he was standing in front of this court saying that you had to address matters in Ohio tomorrow morning related to this situation? Yeah, I have discussed this office. with my representation. Yes. He stood in court. You were standing right next to him or sitting right next to him where he, he said nothing about it's because his flight's tomorrow and it might cost they him did. inconvenience. And I would have considered he did say that. He had a flight. There's no doubt that I would. He did. He did say it. He did. Problem. He did. He I would have also inquired like I am now. I've watched Something it a half a dozen times too, Judge, and he said it. requires you to physically be present in another state when you can sign it here. We have plenty of notaries. You could swear before me. You could have sworn a document in court the following morning. What an ass. And sent it to your lawyer up there. And I could check with your lawyer in Ohio. Not if he had to have a protection order from the sheriff first. Available to you to accommodate He's you actually going to take time out of his Ohio day and back to, to call the Ohio attorney to find out if he could have done it another way. This guy who says he's so busy that he can't, you know, hear the respondent's case ever. I can't get over this man. By the way, the they chat is have... saying, pay attention to Lynette. She's texting in court. Yes, oh. <laughs> And do you think but he's, he's going to have like ex parte communications with somebody with his attorneys in Ohio? Yeah. Just on his own? Yeah, he's going to check with the attorney in Ohio to find out if he, if if Jeremy's telling the truth. That's what he just said. Then issue an order to show cause. No. Which he did not do. No, so is he allowed to call the the his attorney no. his well, so but he could issue he an order to show about? cause, and then Jeremy would have to find a way to get his attorneys to submit an affidavit, some sort of statement that this is what needed. He had to do these things. Oh, this is unbelievable. But in denying the continuance that they filed the day before because she alleged Mark Feathers bribed her, that's the only reason Shockett's there. He had finally an attorney within less than 24 hours. The so Shockett's like, I can't be prepared. I need a continuance. And so the judge is just being pissy about what happened the first year. All right. Well, let's watch Lynette and see if she is texting. Uh oh. Stop spinning. Just play. Crying out loud. All right. While that's spinning, I'll read a couple of super chats. How about that? All right. Jeannie Hampton Dukes, thanks for the super chat. Says hair fluff, gruff stuff, ego puff, talk enough to Thomas. Stop. <laughs> Margaret Tear, thanks for the super chat. Russ gets up and leaves 40 minutes oh, later in the bo bomb scare. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe he called it in himself. Oh. Rob Guy, thanks for the super chat. Yes, must run wild with that. Lori De Jesus, thanks for the super chat. Says, shouldn't an Ohio court order override this Florida circus? And somebody. In my comments was like, uh, we should today. all show up to the and court in kangaroo to... costumes next time. The court is <laughs> I'm sure this is a kangaroo court. <laughs> Margaret Tier, thanks to the Super Chat, says the Granger's owner's campsite and Therese was mayor up the, the other week. Is really? We're now here today with another Stop lawyer YouTube. asking for another continuance. All right, hold on. I'll refresh this. Maybe that's what it needs. Maybe it needs a refresh, like to Thomas's hairstyle. This hair is getting, uh, it's like getting wilder by the second. You don't like the Gallagher cut? Uh, I'm not a big fan. No, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the Gallagher so cut. He doesn't need a little gavel. He needs a giant mallet. To, 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 to. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's so funny. All right, Kelly, 
Birdaw, thank you for the super chat. It says, yet LP just had to give a gas receipt for missing depot and her mom allegedly dying. And now she says that she's not dead. <laughs> Judy Flackney, thanks for the super chat, says, did you see that Feathers was deemed guilty of contempt for giving JH the video? Uh, yes. JH needs a chance to present his side. Uh, shut up, judge. Um, he was held in contempt, but they didn't make him pay the fine. So how contemptible really was it? Kimberly Mogan, thanks for the super chat, says, Hi, uh, something's to a person. He has a row on. No, I can't read that. I'm sorry. I don't, I think it was a typo. Karen Karsten, thanks for the super chat, says Judge D Semantics. Um, let me try shutting down YouTube Studio. Maybe that'll help. Let's see. And Dennis Copper, welcome to the Fox Den. Thanks for being a new member. Ty Powers, uh, thanks for the super chat, says I believe he never checked. And yeah, no, he never like called the lawyer. No, he was just threatening to do it because he was harassing Jeremy. Clerics, thanks for the super chat. Judge Liar Beaties. Liar Beaties. He also has Deniabetes, I heard. That's funny. Tracy Fagan, thanks for the super chat. Says, I plead the fifth. My Adventures in Home Brewing, thanks for the super chat. Says, WTF, grudge, dr Judge Grudge strikes again. This guy is uh, he's off the hook. Cherry Adamski, thanks for the super chat. Says, dang it, MG. Now I want watermelon. Were we talking about watermelon? I don't remember. What what is what is Gallagher, happening? Gallagher. Oh, right. Yeah. Gallagher. Is my my YouTube just gonna just gonna not work anymore? Like, what is the deal, YouTube? Stop. It's like it won't even stop spinning when I say it's stop. Is Brad able to, because what I've had to do with my, because my computer, like for some reason, StreamYard and like Edge just soaks up all my resources, is I'll have one of my co-hosts stream the video and I just put yeah, it I could screen. Yeah, I could see it. If Larry's around, if Larry can do Larry it, I'll, I'll send it to it. him. I'm putting the uh, the link in the chat. We're at minute 2549. But the, yeah, but they'll have to pause when you need it paused. Yeah, which, you know, is fine. Uh, all right. It looks like it might work now. Florida. There we go. My concern is your lawyer was misrepresenting something to the court. Oh, for God's sake. And got away with it, with a continuance to today. And what's relevant about that, aside from the issues with the lawyer, is that we're now here today with another lawyer asking for another continuance. Yeah, but that has nothing Which to do with the first continuance. I've got to be concerned about your ability to present your case because I've got to decide this case. For, for the interests of both of you. And the lawyering. And you haven't even started way, doing that. To some extent of that. Now I haven't gotten to the next motion to continue. We're going to get to it in a second. This guy is a dumbass and I can't handle it. The court makes a finding that there is non-compliance with this court's order dated December 4. What was the non compliant What order? December 4 he order? Had filed, they December filed a motion included the language to continue that they were requiring. And the judge wanted documentation. The travel itinerary. Oh, he did unbelievable. Travel and they didn't give him everything that he needed. Plain to Ohio. Unbelievable. Time for hearing on the morning of 12 1 to corroborate that he did appear and that he was required to be there when we now know that's not. Exactly what it was, nor would it have been if properly truth. But he allowed the continuance. So why doesn't he hold himself in contempt? Represented to the court. And I'm not saying, Mr. Hales, it's all on you, but you're sitting there while your lawyer is representing to this court and misleading the court, and nothing was done to prevent it. And nonetheless, what's relevant for today is that got you, that bought you a continuance. And now you're asking for another one. For God's sake. Yeah, he's asking for another one because she about alleged bribery. Continuance. So as of now, there's non-compliance with the, the court's prior order based largely in part on the misrepresentations. Misrepresentation. Wow. What a word. Yeah. You're misrepresentation. Lying to me. Candid, uh, representations made to this tribunal on November 29 by counsel at the time, Mr. So the chat's telling me that YouTube is having outages today. 
Is it yeah, I think everything is having outages. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook, with respect to the There's motion, nothing sus the suspect court. about that at all. And uh, yeah. you guys, um, we have an appointment at noon uh, right here at the post office, so we're going to dip out. But um, okay. really appreciate you having us, Megan. Yeah, no problem. I love that you you came, and it's good to see both of you. And, uh, you know, this story just keeps on getting nuttier and nuttier. Can't wait to see what you're going to do next, Larry. What is coming up for you next? So next, we're going to finish up the uh, the third portion of the petition. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. Uh, so there's like two parts left. There's a, about 238 pages, but we're going to fly through those because they're all like Facebook posts and stuff like that. Chandler has been very busy redacting them and going over, make sure that all the redactions are, are accurate. And so um, we have, uh, she has pretty much completed that. So we're going to finish that tomorrow. Then what we have coming up is, let me, let me see what, uh, there we go. So, uh, no, this is not the one. Sorry. One second. Here we go. Uh, so the, the new stuff that I have going, coming on is, uh, well, I want to do, there's a, there's a video that I have already up talking about uh, a case that I have. I represent Craig Hendry and possibly Travis Hines. He has not yet hired me. And again, I, the only reason I can penetrate the attorney-client privilege because he did it first, and therefore he, there is no attorney-client confidentiality. Um, I want to talk about the video uh, that you and Tug did yesterday, and I want to do a video of my own about the whole Judge yeah. Thomas was being a character witness. That's also coming up. Um, and then we have, uh, a very interesting, very interesting, um, somebody reached out to me by the name of, I'm just going to say his first name, Bruce. I don't know if he wants his last name revealed, but Bruce has been dealing with, uh, he's an attorney. He's been a, a lawyer for like 20 years and he's been dealing with his own corruption with the Connecticut disciplinary authority. So that's going to be next week, next Thursday. And then I have a bunch more stuff. I just don't want to tease too much because then people will be like, Larry, you said you're going to do this. And it will be like two, three weeks from now. And I don't want to keep people, um, uh, you know, busy or whatever. So wondering what, where am I going to do it? So those are the, the two, three things coming up over the next four things coming up over the next two weeks. Well, awesome. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to it, especially I'm looking forward to hearing your stream on the uh, stuff we found on the witness testimony, because mm -hmm. I find that to be incredibly terrible. I'm also going to write an article about it. So there will be more info for you. You can share that by Ooh. that time. Looking forward, uh, I'm looking forward to that very much. Yeah. And then Chandler have... has got stuff coming up, too. Yeah. What's going I do. on? I do. Um, I'm going to do a Wicked Women episode coming up soon. Um, I have Courtney Clenny, who I'm going to cover. I'm going to do some updates in the Courtney Clenny case, the fatal stabbing in Miami. A uh, girl stabbed her boyfriend. Um, that's going to be really interesting. And I'm also going to be uh, potentially talking, I'm not sure if I'm going to have him on, but um, uh, Turtle Boy, Aiden Kearney, has had um, some new Me Too developments in his case, uh, some collusion with the cops. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, we covered it the other night. Uh, please check that out on DUI Guy Plus. Um, and I will let you know about the schedule. I also have something uh, on the stove that I need to go turn off. So bye everybody. Right, well, everybody go me. subscribe, go subscribe to Chandler Remington on YouTube and Larry DUI guy plus Larry Foreman subscribe to him as well. Make sure that you uh, hit like on all their stuff and follow. Uh, all Megan, right. Yeah. Megan, uh, the, the chat is up in arms. Something about what the, the sheriff. Okay. 1155 scroll up on your comments. What the hells are in the chat? Uh, okay. The sheriff okay. just put an email in our hands at the county meeting that there is a hit placed on us. Oh what? Uh, Jeremy, do you want to? If you want to come on, I'll send yeah. you a. I'll send you a, an invite. So yeah, hold on, you guys maybe. take care of that and keep me posted, Megan. Text oh, me right. if, uh, if anything goes south. I'm I'm on it. We just have okay. to go do this thing in like two minutes, and it's right down the street. All right. All right. All right. We'll do. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Uh, Jeremy, let me send this email real quick. Uh, let me get him a link in case Jeremy and George want to come on here. That sounds pretty serious. That wow. sounds bad. Well, and I did see that she filed in the case uh, a notice of request for production or something like that. 
yesterday, filing petitioner's request to produce. So I'm not sure what they're wanting to produce, but she has filed something, even though the case is, well, it's not, te I mean, it's stayed, but technically uh, it is, he does retain jurisdiction pending the appeal. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Judge, I can't pull up the actual document. Are you talking about Judge Thomas's? Yeah, he does retain jurisdiction over pending matters during this time. But she has, you know, Silverman has filed a notice of filing petitioner's request to produce. I see the docket entry. I don't have access to the actual documents. See, it was, was filed yesterday. I don't know. Wait, what was filed yesterday? The notice of petitioner's request to produce. So I don't know what she's wanting to be produced. Oh, okay. But hmm. something to do with documentation. You know, I, I mean, okay, before everybody panics, a lot of times, though, people will say things or post things online that they don't necessarily mean um, or, you know, have no way of planning, of actually pulling it off. Um Oh, he's on the way to, his, the attorney way to his attorney right now? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, too. I would be too. Well, this is, I mean, you have to take it seriously, but let's hope that it's just internet shenanigans uh, and not real. Um, hmm. Okay, for those of you who are watching on Larry's channel, I guess I need to go and drop a link to this in his chat because a bunch of you are like if he leaves we're gonna we're gonna, we don't know where to go well megan fox <laughs> investigates is uh where i am let me i'll get over to larry's chat and see if i i'm a mod over there i can post a link so i will do that uh but i have to first get a link and then i will try to drop one in there for you guys to come on over um that's it's crazy yeah i mean look this okay who was i talking to oh steve gosney so steve gosney after looking at this case he said what bothered him is that this case is going to end up in in criminal court that that's, that's what's going to happen yeah. it's going to happen there's no doubt about it in his Either mind yeah. that this was going to end up in criminal court because he said these cases do not resolve like this they no. resolve when someone breaks the law and commits a crime against someone else and that's really unfortunate. All right, here you guys go. Here's my link for you guys. I've dropped it in Larry's chat. If you guys want to pop over here, I don't know if his chat will continue to just go if he leaves it up. I'm not sure, but if if not, you can come and uh, and just pop on over to mine. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So Steve was saying that he's he thinks that this is going to end up in oh, criminal definitely. court. I mean, once, once you violate the protective order, then you're held, you'd be held in criminal contempt. And so the, the, I know the Ohio courts are looking into it, but they could be thrown in jail for violating that order. Uh, showing up to the town hall meeting that George was at, and she has a protective order against Lynette and John, and, and Lynette showed up. When? What? When was that? Um, I'm not sure. It, it happened after the order was the protect the Ohio order was entered, and I don't know when it was. But Jeremy wasn't at the meeting, but George was. She mentions it. Lynette mentions it in the hearing. In the mm. I think in the first hearing. So this was a while ago. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, the Ohio courts got to investigate it, and, and they have to bring the motion for contempt. So, and look who's joining us. Uh, it's Tug. Hey there, Tug. Hey, Tug. Uh, we had some. We have some uh, breaking breaking news going on here. Apparently, Jeremy and George Hales have been a, in. They've been informed by the sheriff uh, that a hit has been put out on them, and he's on his way to his attorney right now, or he would be here. Um. Dang. Apparently there was a town hall meeting a couple of weeks ago that she showed up to as well. Last week. Yeah, last week she showed up to one. What does that ahead. even mean? I, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess the sheriff got a, a, a like a, you know, a viable threat against them. Why else would he tell him that? Yeah, I mean, if the, yeah. you know, law enforcement themselves are making contact, that's, ooh, <laughs> that's something. Yeah, well, it's good to have at least law enforcement 
somewhat looking out for you. Yeah. Uh, Tug, I'm building a tanning salon. Let's see. <laughs> uh, that's perfect. So this is going to be the perv room, and this is going to be where the victim is, and I have to work on the um, outer area where the secretary is and where she's talking to police. That will be out here. So I'm, today's project is we're working on a tanning salon to, that will, uh, it'll hook up to the courtroom. It'll hook up to the courthouse. So the courthouse is over here. We'll hook up the tanning salon to the courthouse because apparently the judges in this town are very, they're so connected to everybody and, and everything. That if you're connected to their little cabal in Levy County, you can harass women and film them naked in a tanning salon and keep your law license. It's amazing. Yeah. I must Amazing. be doing this wrong. <laughs> I know. We're, we're, <laughs> I mean, we, look at all the perks just, that I could have. It's we just don't just know the right people. We just don't, know the, right we just oh, don't know the right people. Yeah, you could have got you a tan punch card, everything. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the ladder. Well, I already put a <laughs> so I put a step stool. Do you see the step stool? I'm and it even has a little peg on it for the oh, guy perfect. to stand oh, on. Perfect. I'm just looking for this piece right here. I'm looking for the finishing piece up there. And then, and did you see the little tanning, the little tanning thing? Look at, it's got <laughs> lights on it and everything. It's got, I, the lighting is not great. There's even a hook for your clothes for a towel. See that? Or your see selfie that? stick on the other one. Yeah. Selfie. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So we're working on that. Um, well, I hope that this turns out to be a hoax. Let's hope that this is not a serious. Well, um, didn't she threaten them before that she was going to have like ex-cons or something come after them in Ohio? See, I don't know a lot about the threats that he said he was getting from her. I don't know a lot about it because we don't have. We don't have like the the thing from Ohio, all the paperwork from Ohio. And maybe that's the next thing I need to ask for is the paperwork from Ohio. Um, I wonder if there's Ohio court footage. I don't know. I'm going to ask. They may not. They may not. You know, with if it's uh, you know whether being domestic or you know sort of family court type stuff, maybe they don't broadcast that stuff. They don't come. They don't. No, 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 no. no. Would it, you think that would be family court in Ohio as well for a protective order? I, could, I don't know. I mean, it's you know they, they don't. We don't broadcast anything. We don't have any sort of video trials at all in, in Oklahoma. All right. I want to go check Jeremy's community page on what the hails. So if we see if he put something up, how are how did everybody hear about this? Was this he something was in chat. that? Oh, he was in the chat. He I missed him. Chat. Said, yeah, oh, I missed I him in the chat. Uh, it says three hours ago. So three hours ago, he put up this uh, that said, Judge Grudge denied our petitions for injunctions against Lynette and John Crook and then sealed all the information from the public. That must have been when he first initially went after went after them, right? That wouldn't it has be. To be yeah. That wouldn't be like right now. So that was the last thing that he posted. Um, all right. The chat's telling me there's no Ohio video. Yeah. He, he would have it if there was. Okay. That's too bad. Well, I wonder if there's Ohio files, though, filings and whatnot that we could read. Um, there might be transcripts, although transcripts, if they haven't ordered yeah. them, there are a lot of transcripts are a lot of money. All right, I'm going to go through the super chats. Brian Watkins, thanks for the super chat. Judge Grudge had a YouTube had YouTube shut you down, Megan. <laughs> uh, Claire Kershaw, thanks for the super chat. LP texting Russ, um, that is what it looked like. La uh, Jive sixty four Taylor, uh, thanks for the super chat. Says Judge Fudge. Green Monster, thanks for the super chat. Says I'll bet she's texting the ex mayor behind her for advice. It is weird how he doesn't stop her from texting in the courtroom. <laughs> Attorney Silverman says, my uncle daddy only had Lynette give him a fuel receipt when her mom didn't die. Not actually silver scam. <laughs> Attorney <laughs> Silverman. <laughs> yes, thank you, Attorney Silverman. We, we appreciate that. Lisa Jewett, thanks for the super chat. Says February 20th. What's February 20th? What happens on February? What happened? On, oh, wait. Maybe that was a town hall that she showed up to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lisa Somebody Wilson. Somebody said there was one last week, too. At the last town meeting. Okay. Uh, thanks for the super chat. 
Proud Auntie of 2NL, thanks to the Super Chat, says they breached the PO last week. They stayed over an uh, one and a half hour. Sheriffs were called and told them to leave when they were already leaving. And John blocked Jin? Or jo- do you mean George? Yeah, okay. I think George, George is the one that went to the meeting. Well, why haven't they arrested them yet? Why do they keep letting them go if they're breaking a protective order? I, that I don't understand. Because cops hate dealing with protective orders. Yes, they, they do. Came that red queen. Thanks for the super chat. Says no use in Ohio courts. Um, and Sandra Kelly says odd that Megan uncovered corruption with all judicial in the eighth district, and Jeremy gets a notice of a hit on him. Oh, I told you last night, Tug. I was like, this is going to get a lot worse before it gets any oh, yeah. better. Oh, yeah. If it gets yeah. any better at all. Mad Shammy. Thanks for the super chat. Says there is no Ohio video. Okay. Sarah Adams says in AI world, you are frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Janice Wingfield thanks to the super chat says yes Lynette and Crook did make threats to Jeremy and George for things to happen to them in Ohio and where were those threats were they posted on the internet like were they verbal were they how how were they communicated <clears throat> came at Red Queen thanks for the super chat says no video in Ohio courts only sound oh well if there's audio I would love to listen to that she gave out the yeah, zoom link to audio, people that's... And judge got angry and threatened contempt. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. But yeah, if it's if it was audio, that should be. Uh, we should be, be able to hear that. It. There should be a copy of that. Yeah. Unless All the right. judge has ordered it sealed. All right, uh, MG. Have, do do we know how to get that CD? I want to get for the. Uh, um, who do I ask for the uh, CD? The the court the court clerk clerk yeah the Kirk clerk the court, court clerk court yeah clerk? It would probably have to be the court clerk. And you know who that is? The son of one of the guys on that tape. <laughs> well, it would be no. It, this was a bar proceeding. The one that you discussed, y'all discussed last night for the bar yes. proceeding. Yeah, may and the to, court may clerk have to get it from the from the wasn't it? It was in front of was it a it opened oh, it was, was the, it wait, bar association. Wait, it was the Supreme Court of Florida. Yes, you should be able to get it. I should Whoever be able to handle that. He is not, yeah. He's not the clerk of the Supreme Court. He's the clerk of the Eighth Circuit, and it did not happen in the Eighth Circuit. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah. I'll just find out whatever court that that hearing was held in. All right. Uh and Kalo Byte just has a good idea. I can we can maybe get that audio from the court clerk in Wayne County, Ohio. All right. That's something that I can look into. Hmm. And we can maybe ask a potential criminal Sean, because he's up there. DUI guy said, add feathers to Lego court. Well, I have to find feathers first. I don't think I have any feathers, but I, I have a lot of Legos up here. That I can start looking through to find some. Maybe I can find a feather pen or something to stick on the judge's desk. Um, Jay did file. Okay, so what is this? Jay, Jay did file. Thank you, Lisa, for the super chat. Jay did file to receive injunction in Florida and Craig denied and sealed. It appeared briefly on the court docket and disappeared the same day. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, I had not looked at it. Um, I hadn't se- like, I, I don't think he put it up on the drive that I'm looking at. Chris Almeida, thanks for the super chat says, why isn't the Ohio judge putting out a warrant for her arrest interest and don't interest and don't get that. Um, well, it depends on, I don't know. I don't know how that works across state lines. He can't, can he, can an Ohio judge issue a warrant across state lines? Uh, well, maybe he would, a bench warrant would be issued, and if they ever got picked up or the sheriff's department in Florida got hold of that warrant, they would go and pick her up. The they problem is getting them to do that, too. Yeah, like, getting them to have problem. No yeah. interest. I mean, they can know where but, I mean, if she goes anywhere and gets pulled over for an infraction, they're going to run to see if she has warrants, and then they, they'll detain her usually. Um, and then ask whether they want, you know, Wayne County wants her extradited. Hmm. Because it could be that they have a whole, you know, a hold order on on that warrant. They pick her up and have to hold her till Ohio figures figures out what they want to do. All right, hold on. Let me see. Man, <laughs> she rambles so much in her documents. It, I've never, I've never had to redact so many stupid things in my life. Are you redacting that three hundred page thing? Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm redacting, yeah, I'm redacting the 338. A lot of that though is, um, 
as screenshots, but my God, some of it. I'm I'm going through and trying to pull out specific names and phone. Can you believe that a judge took that seriously? No. Honestly, can you believe that a judge actually took that seriously? I can't. I, I can't. That, that is uh, such Me a either. of justice. It's outrageous. Mm. I mean, when right. you read that, I can't believe I'm looking at a document that, you know, it says things like, in his post, Mr. Hale says that I've called him, I'm going to call him a cigarette boy, you know what I mean there, and his girlfriend, a sand, you know how that goes, and your honor, oh <laughs> you know, God. I'm like, wow, what, what a sentence, what a sentence. What a sentence. Oh, she yeah. we also missed another one, Tug, that she said later on where they oh, they yeah. called her a scummy, a scummy C word. Cum. Yeah. Scummy C. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one needs oh, to be on the shirt. Uh, you know, if she knew how to monetize this, she would have already put that on a shirt and sold a ton of them. Oh yeah, for for sure. That's what I would have done. Yep. She needs to learn how to grift. Yeah, for real. I've been, I've been selling mole traps, like shirts and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Teddy O'Hearn, thanks for the Super Chat, says DA told LC Sheriff not to enforce CPO. The DA? Who is the DA? I wonder if he's one of the guys. Who's the DA? Let's find out. Is he one of the guys that was the witness for the tanning salon perv? Who is the district attorney, Levy County, 8th? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Some of these documents. <laughs> Brett Granger <laughs> asked me on voting day why I had my child in a dog crate. <laughs> Sir, it was a $300 playpen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I that. On, so this is this oh, is the man. guy. He looks like the rest of them that we were looking at last night, but his name isn't on here. Isn't that weird? How come his name isn't on here? Let's go to about. Oh, Brian Kramer. Nope, not one of the guys that was on the uh, witness list. Maybe he's a decent dude. Maybe he's a good dude. Maybe this is the one guy in Levy County, but maybe not if he told the sheriff not to enforce the CPO. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Is it this guy? This is the guy who did that? I mean, I don't know. Should I call him and ask? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Line. Let's That's do it not live. a bad idea. We're doing it live. <laughs> Should I call him and ask if he won't enforce the the if he was if he told the sheriff not to enforce an order, an Ohio protective order? Let's see. Yes, definitely. They won't. He won't comment. Yeah. But Journal at least you have that. Well, what I might do is send him a press inquiry on an email because. Oh, yes. There's a paper trail then. I mean, he. I probably won't get him Some on the phone. Some people are saying it's the state attorney, not the DA. So, we, yeah. So, I need to know who it is. Okay. Who's the state attorney? The state attorney? Like the, like the attorney general? The attorney general? No. I mean, nor normally, I mean, the office of the state attorney, that must be what they call them, the district attorneys down there. Yeah, a lot of people are saying state attorney. Yeah. Well, this is yeah, the guy. It's He, yeah, he is, is the, the office of the state attorney, but he's the one for yeah. the Eighth Circuit. This is the state oh, attorney. No, there's somebody saying it's the attorney general's office that told them not to enforce. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. The attorney general. Who is the attorney general of uh, <clears throat> Florida? That that doesn't make sense. Yeah, several that, people are saying it was the AG. No, Ashley not, Moody. It, could, it, it couldn't be her. Yeah, the big thing they need to do is get a, get an order, get a bench warrant issued in Ohio somehow, and then hire a bounty hunter. Trust me when I tell you, it is not the attorney general. It has to be the, the local district attorney, if anybody. If it's any, if anybody did yeah, what you're saying was done, district, it's got to be the local. Attorney. Trust me that the attorney general has no idea what's going on in, in exactly. Bufu, Levy County. Okay, attorney general has no shits given about what's going on in Levy County. They do not know and they do not yep. care. Unless it's brought to their attention and some shit is going on and they need to deal with it. But trust me, it's not the attorney general. That can't be. You, somebody misheard. They have too much to do. Um, I am, though, I think it, we might have reached Archie Ruckus cam. Hold on. We may be able to turn on the dog cam. I would do a I mean, cat cam, but my cat is constantly trying to. Oh, we did. 
Ruckus Cam, Ruckus Cam is coming. Oh, look, he's sleeping in his bed with his toys all around him. Look how cute. Aw, Ruckus Cam. He's so cute. Um, all right. Juliet Morgan says, I'm worried for what the hail safety. Well, of course. I mean, I think we're all yeah. concerned about it. And that was always a possibility. You know, when you get into these feuds, you know, the Hatfields and McCoys is a real story. Cool. Yeah, John Bryson, he, uh, yeah, go ahead. Let's say, it says it will be a U.S. Marshal that would bring Lynette and John back if there is a warrant issued. Um, yeah. Because they said if it's state lines, he says we do it all the time and that they are watching. Mm hmm. Colleen T., thanks for the super chat, says the Levy County law enforcement keeps saying they can't find the injunction from Ohio. That's a stupid excuse. He can just hand it to him. Mad Shammy, thanks for the super chat, says he only takes it serious as a chance to make law. Right. Yep. The judge, that's what he wants to do here. Lisa Jewett, thanks for the uh, super chat, says state attorney, not DA. And I think in I think they just called the DA yeah, I think the state the attorney. Lisa Wilson, thanks for the super chat, says it wasn't the DA. It was the, No, it was definitely not the attorney general. I can tell you that for, with certainty. Dana Harper, thanks for the super chat, says Jeremy said he would f hire a, bo a bounty hunter to return them to Ohio. Well, that's not a get dog. bad idea. Get dog the bounty you should hunter. get dog. Get dog. <laughs> dog will do it. Uh, yeah, he may have to hire security. I mean, if he's, I mean, it, this is this is so silly. But he can't. He can't. He can't be around anybody with a firearm. I know. So crazy. he can't have armed security. That's that's madness. You know what? This is one of those times where civil disobedience comes into play. Oh yeah. You, you, just, you, just... you do not obey. You do not obey illegal orders like that. That exactly. that 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 will require you to give up your own safety and be held without your own self defense under this illegal order by this judge in the first place. This the the entire order against him is not legal. The constant extensions and all the others it's all it's all shit. So if I'm him and I'm not giving him legal advice, but if it's me, I'm going to defend myself regardless of what that judge says. I'm going to arm myself if I need to and get the hell out of town. I'll hire security or whatever and just disregard the judge's orders on this. Disregard. I'm sorry, but I, I wouldn't do it. I, I will not follow an illegal order that would put my family at risk. No, absolutely not. You wouldn't let a bunch of crazed rednecks get you killed? Wow. That's a... No, I don't think I would, Tug. Hmm. I, all this hillbilly shit is totally and completely <laughs> not in my wheelhouse. Hmm. Reminds <sighs> me of home. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do want to run them out. That's what this is about. And you know what? Frankly, it might be time to go. It might be time to go. You're not... What we found last night, I told Tug when we were talking about it last night, what we found last night made me feel very concerned about how this is going to go for them. If there are five judges involved and a bunch of DAs and a bunch of state attorneys in covering up for one another, then there is no chance in hell that he's going to get justice in this place as an outsider. Do you think so, Tug? <sighs> No, even with a different, even with a different judge, it's no, not going to matter. I mean, I don't, you know, that's, that's, you, that's, that's a hard prediction to make, though. That's why you need a million eyes on something, though. I mean, that's you know, that's that's pretty well. Yeah. I mean, if, if as long as they can keep it in the shadows, no, I don't think you can ever get justice. In well, because like even if he's removed, people are not going to stop focusing on this because they're going to see what the new judge does. I mean, I've had judges recused before, and the next judge. Uh, Hopefully the next judge isn't wanting to try to make case law. I think that's the reason this guy's doing this. He wants his name on an opinion, on an appellate, be, be involved in an appellate opinion to make a new law. Yeah, I think that's what he wants too. But I think another judge though, I think they're all very aware by this point. I'm sure the entire Eighth Circuit is now aware of this case. And I'm sure they're all very nervous and don't want to be embarrassed and stuff. And if And I think they're probably more likely to lash out at him than anything yeah, else. Maybe, maybe at the judge. I mean, I, I would say that maybe that, you know, behind closed doors, they're like, okay, he really needs to just go, but they're not going to say it to his face. <laughs> Here's a random question. Uh, does, um, does Otter Creek have a Walmart? Uh, probably not. There's only like 150 people. 
I mean, Let's Walmart's see. everywhere. I'm just curious. <laughs> Otter Creek, Florida, Walmart. Let's see. There is one in Chiefland. How close is that? I don't know. I don't know where yeah, this these. This says no. There's not one. Okay. Let's actually look. Let's look at what is this place called? It's called Otter Creek. Yeah, yeah. like like the animal otter. All right. O t t e r. Let's pull up uh, Google Earth. Let's take a oh, look yeah. at Otter. Let's take People a look were at Otter. Me to Creek. do that last night was to pull up the satellites while we were watching the the fish and wildlife video. They're like, bring up the set, bring up the, the Google Maps of this place. Florida. See, yeah, I think it, I think any place with a Walmart ruins the deliverance theme because you can always run to Walmart yeah. and get away from the rednecks. But this place. All right. Well, can you really, come on, bring can me you in really there. Get away I want to the rednecks there. I want to see it. Can we? <laughs> it's like they're. Whoa. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess since they have their. Uh, their cousins cousins working at right. walmart I all right guess. so this is this is it this is otter creek just this tiny land oh this is the shady oaks campground isn't that where uh where they were staying before they went moved to their uh land shady oaks campground here uh how do i move around on this thing i'm not good at this drag it you know drag, I can drag. Try. there we go drag all right let's back up a little bit what else is here so there's a a school the water reclamation place, the town hall. We know a lot of shit's going on over there at the town hall. <laughs> I got the town of Otter Creek Park and Recreation. So Parks and Rec is over here. We've got Tri-County Towing and Recovery. Is there any restaurant in this town or anything? This what what is here? Sure. There's gotta be, be much. There's gotta be a there's gotta be a restaurant. A oh here, place. here's here over here on the right side is showing us some pictures of It'll stuff that's here. So there's like a Looks like a, a farmer's market at a gas station, an old broken down barn house, a gas station that has no, that's not working. Uh, looks like a corner store that's not open. No restaurant. I'm no. not seeing any. That's what people are saying. They were like, no, nothing. Wow, what, the one, what, the one gas what made closed. them, what made them want to move here? Look at this place. This is a whole lot of nothing. And they were like, woo, a whole lot of nothing. Fresh fruit. I and doubt actually, it. He said also the um, the cell tower. You know, there's a cell tower right there. So as far as what they do, you know, you have a signal. I mean, out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I tell you first hand. Land, I think. Well, I lived out in um, I lived out in this little bitty town. It was um, a population of uh, 370, I think. And <laughs> we had to, to, in order to get any kind of service we had to have satellite service it was the worst thing ever try try it's it's like going back to aol with your uh with your needs for YouTube. let's take a walk let's take a walk in outer oh. creek shall we oh man this is gonna be exciting <laughs> let's take a walk let's look around where are we at where are we you know, at this, it looks like there's like a, know, an old broken down shed over there and on this side we have a meth house <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Like seriously, what do people do here? How do I move forward? Well, that's why they make a lot of meth <laughs> and shoot at people in the walls. How yeah. come I don't? How come I don't know how to work this? I don't know what's why I'm so bad at this, but I I don't click, seem to be. Click able on to... the arrow. Click on the arrow. Go to. Go oh, forward. I see. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All and right. You'll take get it to a walk. An intersection, and you can <laughs> change direction. <laughs> when you see, when you when you see, if something gets in your way, turn. All right. Let's. <laughs> Let's Unless turn. it's a car, nothing's going to get in our way. <laughs> uh, let's. This is somebody's, this is somebody's dirt driveway. road. This is yeah. somebody's dirt road in a couple of So you sheds. won't be able to go down there, most likely. Okay. We'll just keep taking a walk in Otter Creek. We're walking in Otter Creek, folks. Oh, man, That's what we're doing. Oh, oh, look. We found something. Oh, look. We found something. <laughs> <laughs> the gas station that closed this? down. What is this? Oh, hunting supplies and corn and bacon. And corn. Tackle. Corn. And it's corn. And corn. It's corn. Buck on a cob. I love it. <laughs> yeah. right, we got a place that has, look, there's a mullet something. Oh, this Smoked. is the dangerous intersection that Judge makes Jeremy use. Is it? Is this where everyone so gets somebody, into, into meth put... racks or something? There's like meth heads that do a hundred and, oh, there's the broken there's... down gas station. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad. It's sad when you get excited over landmarks. You're like, oh shit, there is something. Well, there is something. Should we go? Which way should we go? Left or right? Le or straight? So, Left or right or straight? So it's what a divided highway with no signal there. 
I'm, it's just like a you know the side road has. This is has scary. I'm afraid we're gonna get hit on Google. Earth. I'm afraid we're gonna get hit in the road. Yeah. So Watch make out, a decision. <laughs> make a decision. Are we going? Are we? All right. Chat says left. No, the chat says turn around. No, the chat says right and go back. What the, <laughs> the hell? <chat's> lost. <laughs> the chat is lost. Go home, chat. You're drunk. No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Splat. The chat says splat. Oh, okay, wait. This is the end of town. So I need to turn around and go back. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's let's turn around. But I'm now I don't want to yeah. walk backwards. I want to turn mouse, around. Turn your mouth. You can click and drag. <laughs> there click we go. and drag. There we Keep go. Going. Hold on. <laughs> Keep going. All right. Now we're headed in the right <laughs> direction. <laughs> This might be the most fun I've ever had on Google Earth in my whole damn life. <laughs> Just wandering around Otter Creek. Ooh, hell to the no. Is that Lynette's property? What is that? What are we looking at? This is like a, a burned out uh, trailer. No. That's not it. That's but that's that's an eyesore. Somebody you that probably time... can get to her driveway though. Stuff like that is actually really common though. And if we knew where her, what her, where she was. That town and council public needs record, to. Somebody can get mad. They need to get on cleaning up these broken down houses. Everywhere. No, a lot of like, are, are they what? are they unincorporated? Because I mean, we're unincorporated oh, sure. out here. Nobody's going to tell us a damn thing out here. Yes. I can walk. I can walk out my back door right now and start shooting my gun. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. Nobody's. Gonna hey, people, me. people. It's people. These look like the good people of Otter Creek. Look, they look like they might be nice people. They're carrying a watermelon. In the road. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's driving. Be careful. <laughs> Quiet in the back. No backseat drivers. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, these people have watermelon all over the place. There's a. Do they know there's a watermelon in the front yard? Judge, Judge the Thomases must have been through there with his mallet. With his yeah. <laughs> They're setting up for his next show. So there's like trailers here, okay, and it looks like a nice little fence and some palm trees. We got some. This is some real serious old ass Florida right here. You're gonna. You, this is this is country, rural Florida. I've oh. never heard of. I've never seen this place. This this. Uh, oh, the post. They turned the old gas station into a post office. Hey, Jen Hale. Thanks for letting me know that. That was uh, really good. That was really good uh, information there. So it's not really a broken down gas station. It's the it's the, it's post, the office. post office. That was the post office? Wow. Yeah, but yeah. they have no signs or anything. How the hell are we supposed to know that? <laughs> well, I mean, Google Earth probably doesn't go through their, their little maps. They don't we are, drive their cars through there once every 10 years. Wait, why do you keep? Why is the chat saying back up behind me? What's behind me? <laughs> we were already there. There's nothing there. There's nothing. Back up behind you. We turn around. There's going to be somebody wearing skin or something. You're <laughs> It puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's exactly oh, what was happening in that tanning is, booth. This place is scary. That's what it is. Puts I the mean, lotion on the skin or it can't tan here again. I know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, look, I have a deep appreciation for the good, hardworking people of this country who are poor and struggling. And uh, this looks like one of those places where it is very, very poor. There, we have seen. I don't think I've seen one house that isn't a mobile house yet. Maybe that one, Otter Creek Woodworks. What's that? What's Otter Creek Woodworks? Are they? Is this this dude making wood in his house here? That looks like a like a house. He's making wood. Is he making wood? <laughs> He's building trees. Um, phrasing. He's really good at his job. Look at all those trees. Listen, we are medium smart here. Medium smart. And that is and that is good enough. Oh, it's good wow. enough. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Crappy wolf. I don't have like a, a big button. What's what but what button can I push here that 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 expresses my my excitement. Oh, yeah, so many the fox, the fox squeal. <laughs> I don't hear. Here's one. See, my superpower is being honest. I'll eat your ass. I will. <laughs> I'll do it. I will eat your ass. Which I feel like is happening in this town. Cried Wolf, <laughs> thank you so much for the huge hundred dollar super chat. Says, why are we driving in the middle of nowhere? Why do we have so many shovels? 
<laughs> well, uh, the thing is, is that I decided to take Tug and MG for a ride. Uh, we yeah. are driving. We're driving around Otter Creek. Uh, this is this you can is go the to little... the schoolhouse. Somebody put the schoolhouse address in um, in the chat, and then another address below it. But, but don't, I, I want to yeah, know what that. What is this? This looks like a like some place to hold somebody for kid when you kidnap them. Look at it's got razor wire. What is this? Oh my god! Is that that's razor is that, wire? What is that, is that the city jail? <laughs> is this the water reclamation place? God, it could be. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, it is—it's the water plant. It is the water <laughs> treatment plant. You gotta be kidding me! All right, listen, Jeremy and George, you drove around this place and you were like, "Yeah, I want to invest here." Yeah, this is good. Yeah. No, you didn't. Why? Oh, oh, Ermagerd. They were like, "No one will ever bother us here." You know. I guess. Or will never be heard from somebody, again. I had to warn somebody somebody. said to, to call Jeremy and then describe what we see to get directions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going past the water treatment plant right yeah. now. How do we we're, get to we're, your place? We're lost in Outer Creek. Oh, look, here's the Christian school. That looks like a very nice little place got some swings it's one of the nicer buildings in town. it is it is one of the nicer buildings in town i had to warn you know, some uh, californians off of tennessee they were talking about buying some really nice land out in the middle of nowhere and i was like yeah no, that's that california <laughs> i was like you don't want to move there that is deliverance country for real and that's probably being claimed by the banks and they will probably kill you out there <laughs> i wouldn't go out there and i'm a native if someone told me that someone would send me a hundred dollars for just wandering around some podunk town on Google Earth, I would do this all day long, every day. Oh yeah, for sure. Is this entertaining, you guys? You it, like it this? actually it's is right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? Okay, so this is a nice little little area. Little little. At least this place is nicely upkept. Look, he's got bushes and the grass is mowed. He's got a nice fence. It's not broken down. This is a decent little place. Now, what we're doing right now is exactly what Lynette is told the judge is so terrifying to her that people drive by, take photos of her house. Well, why isn't she going after Google for cyber stalking? Because here we are looking at everybody's house on the road. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I don't know who lives here and I don't give a shit, but I mean, you're, you're allowed to see what's yeah, on the road. Anything you can see from the road is fair game. I mean, yeah. Or otherwise Google earth would be illegal. Hello. Yep. All right. So this is a nice little house. Look at, we found one. We found a nice little house and it has a political sign out front. They're Ooh. voting for somebody named Alan at this, whenever this was taken. <laughs> and this, someone named Alan. And this is a, I think this is the schoolhouse. Let me get to the super chats because you people are trying to tell me something. A bunch of you are trying to tell me something. I'm not paying any attention because I'm I'm driving. I have both hands on the wheel, damn it. Mad Shammy, <laughs> thanks for the super chat, says, as someone that has done bail recovery for over 28 years, you can't hire us to go after someone legally. And if you, no, I think he was going to hire them for his own protection, you know, mm -hmm. like hire some bail bondsmen. About, like hiring somebody to go after Lynette. Like a, a bounty hunter. You know, pick her up but from Ohio. That's what they were talking about. Oh, I see. And a few states consider that kidnapping. So if she's out on bond and the bonds and the bondsman then can direct us to recover. Oh, I gotcha. I thought he meant he was going to hire a bail bondsman to help him get out of town. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, I thought he was, yeah, he wanted to go hire a bounty hunter to pick them up for violating the Ohio. Oh, I gotcha. Hot Rod Once 43. Once he gets a benchmark. Megan, thank you for everything you do. I love you. I love you too. Thanks for being here. Dennis F. Thanks for the super chat. Says sheriff said state attorney said not in sheriff said the state attorney said not to enforce the CPO. Okay, well, that would be that guy then that we found in the eighth circuit. That guy, yep. Kearney or whatever his name was. Paula Broadworth, thanks for the super chat. Flippin' adventures in chat is Jeremy's Deanna. Hmm. Uh Connie B. Thanks to the super chat says Judge D should take pictures in a tanning booth. It is sure to be forgiven and potentially less career crushing. 
<laughs> yeah, apparently you just get 90 days, uh, all, you know, a 90 day vacation and then you're good to go. Dennis Copper, thanks for the super chat, says, I wonder if Jeremy will start wearing body armor under his hoodie. It's not a bad idea because he's a pretty big target. Judy Flackney, thanks for the super chat, says J.H. In live said Ohio ordered Lynette and John to appear and they will be arrested there. They moved there due to central location to bigger cities. D. Robertson thinks mm. the super chat. Otter Creek is in the middle, two hours away from the major cities. Yeah, it's pretty far away. We can tell. Billy Bob Skiff, thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate you. Uh, Linda Evers, thanks for the super chat, says it was the prosecuting attorney of Levy County that said not to enforce the Ohio PPO. Yeah, that's what I thought. Billy Bob Skiff, thanks again for the super chat. OC can't get a dollar general, never mind a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, they don't appear to have any stores. I wonder how far the drive is to like a major store. It can't be a full two hours. Uh, Tracy Fagan, thanks for the super chat, says, wait, is this the road she's pushing her stroller on? <laughs> I don't know, because <laughs> I don't know where her property is. Where's Dead Dog uh, Road? I want to see it. Oh, Dead Dog Road. I want to see that Look, road. Yeah, that's where we Look, go. These little roads are so, um, so these roads are like, they're so small when I come across like a crossroad that there's no Google Earth going down them. Like we yeah, can only be on. Google Earth doesn't, doesn't dare drive down them. I'm yeah, we can only be roads. on the we can only be on like the main road here. So, okay, so a, a couple of you in the center. It's the center three major towns. Uh, oh, Vice Raid, welcome Vice Raiders. One fifty one North Otter Creek. What is that? What's that? What is one fifty one North Otter Creek? What is that? What? Where does that take me? You guys have to do better than this. Tell me where yeah, I'm going. Tell us what it is. Yeah. Tell us what it is. I can't just punch in an address. I mean, I could, but I don't, I need to know first. I don't, I don't want to go somewhere. I'm not supposed to go. What if it's scarier it's public, than this? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You guys, I'm driving around Outer Creek. I mean, I could drive into a, I don't know, a nest of, of corrupt judges spying on women in, in, <laughs> you in a tanning salon. Wait, see, I can't go down Southwest Third Street. Won't let me. Google doesn't go down there, so we can only kind of peer down there. There appears to be like a, I don't know, what is that? Like a house and then a trailer park beyond it. Oh, that's the campgrounds. We're at the campgrounds. That is the campground. Yep, happy camper, happy camping, which I believe the camp, is that the campground full of meth heads or is that a different Probably. campground? <laughs> Listen, kids. Don't do meth. It's bad for you. Drugs are bad. Okay. Drugs are super bad. I feel like we may be exiting the town now. Like, are, are we are we out of Outer Creek yet? It says we're in Chiefland now. So I think we left Outer Creek and we went to Chiefland. Yeah, I think we got to turn around. We got we got to turn around. We we got to back this bus up, guys. No, Google Earth, go the other way. What? Yeah, Not we're leaving up. town. They keep telling us to put that 151 North Otter Creek in there. Oh, that's all right. Place. Fine, fine. I'll do that. How do I do that? Let's see. I got to go to the uh, 151. What was it? North Otter Creek. Otter there Creek. it is. Oh, right. Oh, oh we were away. a while. We Across were a ways. Town. All right. Now, which, which, where, what is this? What is, what are we looking at here? Is this the turtle rescue? Are we are we gonna get some turtle rescuing happening? Oh, oh man, that no. blur! I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're getting motion sickness, make sure you lean out the window to Ralph. Okay, no <laughs> Ralphing, no Ralphing in the car, Tug. That can't be it. No, I'll what about? I feel like I've by the shed. Here. I'm gonna That's buy some meth. It. It'll. it'll <laughs> I feel like I've been here already. <laughs> yeah, that's not it. <laughs> Where are we? What is 151? Where are I went to the place you wanted me to go and now no one still no one's told me. Oh, it's Jeremy's house? This is not Jeremy's house. <laughs> this can't be his house. Where's Turtle Purgatory? That's right, Robin Basket. That's what Where I need is to know. Turtle Purgatory. <laughs> Where is Turtle Purgatory. All right, they're telling me that this is it. This is Turtle Purgatory. No. Then it's not updated at all cuz I've got the video that doesn't show that. 
Or did you play that video last night? Yeah, I played it last night. Yeah. Oh, all right. Send me the link. Put it in the private chat. Uh, Let's go look at Turtle I'm, Purgatory. I want to see it. I, I'm on my phone. I can't. Oh no. Okay. I I it it you on, uh, on Twitter. I thought I sent it to you on Twitter. Oh yeah, you probably yesterday. did. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. You both did. you and Jeff. Yeah, you did. All right. Let me scroll up into the, our chat. It's, uh, it's like Quad States something. I can't remember what the Here name it is. Of the channel is. Yeah. Here it is. Now let's hope that YouTube is working but for we us. We were very careful last night because the little girl is in it at times. We were. What? It took us a while to make sure that we didn't show her. Well, who put this on YouTube? It's a body cam a... footage from Fish and Wildlife. I mean, it's public record. Well, but if I they just, didn't I was just, blur out her face, how? Okay, well, I, know, I just wasn't. I didn't want to show the little girl. She's innocent and all this, and so. But I mean, it, it's it's on it's on YouTube. It's public record. So I mean. You Boy, YouTube to. is really hating me today. It it does not want to <laughs> work. YouTube is just like, no, fuck yeah. you. It's just mirroring the signal in Otter Creek. <laughs> but they don't show up for the first. They're not there for the first while. The, the warden is there by himself at the beginning. Is he walking saying around anything? Pictures. Is is there no. is there anything interesting being said? Until until he he goes back out to his truck and then they, he does come back and they are, they come back and they're there and they do they do talk and walk the property. Whoa! But the first that's a lot of garbage. That's a lot of garbage. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Somebody look up YouTube shortages. I mean, are there outages? Yeah, somebody said earlier there's outages because you got Facebook, Instagram, and I guess I think Facebook's having some issues. Or can, YouTube. I'm, I'm pulling issues. this up okay though. All right. Well, okay. why don't you share it? Because I'm yeah. having I'm having right, problems. I'm having problems, and uh, it's because you're in that. And as soon as I as soon as paradise. I stop, yeah, it is. As soon as I stop sharing it, it started working. So <laughs> you won't you won't be able to edit like anything out if you if you want to leave anything out. Okay. Hey, Rumble. <laughs> I got some rumble rants going on over here. Uh, Just Shelley, thanks for the rumble rant, says there is Ohio video. The judge requested Jeremy not post it, and he agreed. It's not video. It's audio. Um, and welcome to the uh, Fox Den, Carla Murray, on on uh, rumble. Thanks for being here. I'm going to mute this. I'm just going to turn it on. Okay. Let's see. Let me <laughs> yeah. put that on there. All right. There we go. Man, this is some interesting, interesting oh, stuff. Yeah, it's bad. Wow. Just did you see the, the turtle pools that they have and uh the turtle the, pool. There's, there's the, the gate. There's the gate. That's their gate. The, I'm 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 it's turning him around. I'm sorry. Hey, we got lost. He's like no a, walk forward. It's a gated community. A gated community. In the gated community. Is that a turtle pool? Yeah. Oh my oh, lord. <laughs> this is what a oh my lord. But there's That's... like chickens and ducks ro running wild, and the and the girl is running around barefoot. This is a turtle sanctuary. Yeah. I, I, for, I, to to be fair, hey, to be fair though, out in the south, like half of our kids run around barefoot. They yeah, just need to keep the damn place not clean. Down there. Like I mean, you there's, said, there's, yeah. you got water moccasins and oh yeah, alligators, and you got all kinds of stuff running around yeah. there that we, you don't want to be out barefoot. Yeah, we don't have uh, alligators. We have a lot of water moccasins and stuff. Oh Lord, I don't know, guys. This is like. This is creepy. It is like turtle purgatory. That's a great name for it. That <laughs> might be my oh, that might be my next Lego project. Turtle, turtle purgatory. purgatory. <laughs> the water's gonna have to be green though. I have to oh, find some is. green it's, water yeah. Legos. And a, what's this? A shed. Are they think, are they I think living that's in a where shed? They, that's where she and shed. the girl or stay where they live in that in the shed i think i think that's the shed that they live in they live in that let me go back i want to look inside and then there's a cat turn it turn it he actually like calls out to the cat that runs by so oh. I mean, you, you don't have to mute this okay well i just muted it because we were talking <laughs> i don't know if there, for what was on it man look at that hi kitty kitty <laughs> Wow. 
Well, I mean, I guess it's like camping forever. You know, you're just <laughs> camping. That's what I want to do. I want to live out in no air conditioning with a bunch of turtles and catch something as they and die. Snakes. Like, couldn't snakes just like wander into oh, your yeah. shed? Uh, they like, will. Yes. They will very this much. Is, so. this, what is that? Is that the outdoor bathroom? I have no the beautiful, idea. the beautiful outdoor bathroom. No, it's another living well, environment. I don't know. No, I think that shit, that other one is what they were supposed to be building. Is anybody here? That, that one he knocked on, maybe their shit. Oh, the chickens. Oh, the tent. smell of that. Place. Oh, the I stink. Can, can you imagine can how much smell it stinks? It the I mean, I have chickens, but they are away from my house because yes, they have them smell. Close bad Dog what is chicken that's time. a decent pen though is that their chicken pen they have oh, they have a chicken pen and these are like i think these are all are those the turtle tortoise, i think Pause. i don't know well those don't look that bad i don't know i mean that looks like some smarmy zoos i've seen in florida I mean, did you see that Tiger King guy's place? That's I mean, what that I was, was thinking, wreck. man. This, this is like, like Turtle wreck. King. It's Turtle, Turtle King. King. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Hill versus the Turtle King. Oh, my God. It is. It's so much like that story. <laughs> Carol Queen, Baskin is a what, – what What? was it? Carol Baskin is a – that bitch Carol Baskin. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he yelled, Carol Baskin is a bastard one time. <laughs> That bitch, Carol Baskin. Oh, I love that. This is yeah. exactly like that story, except God, it's if you you know, if you've been a documentary, this would be a lot like it too. Oh my God, this has got to be a documentary. This needs to be made into oh. a movie. This is the documentary we all Ducks. need. I'm expecting that bitch Carol Baskin to come out from one of these sheds with flowers on her head. <laughs> oh, no, man. Here, she might trade in the flowers for a chainsaw. Oh, Carol fucking Baskin. Yes, Legal Vices. Legal Vices, why are you watching this on Larry's channel? He's not even live. He's not even here. Why are you not over here on my channel? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start parking my channel on other people's live streams. I don't know how this works, but like a bunch of people are still watching on Larry's that's channel. He, he may not have turned his stream off. He probably oh, yeah, just probably exited stream. He just, he just exited. Yeah. The studio. He did that's not stop hilarious. his stream. Uh, Listen, if you people are over there sending super chats to Larry's channel and he's not even there, I'm gonna get pissed. <laughs> I'm doing the work. I'm, just, I'm gonna have he's gonna have to send me a check. They should just show kidding. up in your they should show up in yours though, I would think. They would know. just be for him. But they need to Yeah, I don't know. I think you're doing. right. I think I, we've never done this uh dual streaming before. I think we have to I think I have to stop it and then it stops. I don't think he can stop it because no, he can he can streaming. stop his own stream. Oh, he can. Yes. I think he just exited the studio. He did not. No, he left it on his like, stream. He's like, isn't this hilarious? You're I'm, like, oh Larry, you bastard. Yeah, because I've done some dual <laughs> streaming before. Okay. Uh. Oh good lord. Does anybody ever come out? Yeah, yeah. They're not there at the moment, but in a few minutes they are there they do show up so do they live in this van thing i think i think he lives john lives in that camper yeah when he forced to i think yeah i know over th like three thousand people are watching on larry's channel you know larry's not here right guys you can come <laughs> over here yeah larry's not here anymore he had an appointment you can come over here instead or you can stay there i guess because i have no control over it I mean, but you're welcome to come over here. Please do also like and subscribe this one. <laughs> My God. Until he goes to the other side, he visits, he looks at all the little pools and... And this, and they've discovered, it, they've just, yeah, it's my YouTube, Dark Strange Neko. I'm on, I'm on, I'm live on YouTube and Rumble right now. 
So they discovered that the pools are the wrong sizes or something. Oh, they're just, you'll see the water. You'll see it. He's taking he take, pictures. Yeah, he's taking pictures of everything. Yeah. Can he come out there and just walk around without yeah. a warrant? Yeah, because it's, it, it it's, it's a it's a it's a sanctuary it's fish right? and wildlife. There, they go. They are the ones that yeah. have jurisdiction over it, mm. and they can come out and. Is that because she's registered? She's registered yeah. as a five hundred one c three or whatever. Well, they're they're they have to register as a sanctuary there too. So oh, I see. They'll have some you know licensing they have to do in Florida. I and they see. got a call about, you know, bad conditions. And so they're going there to check it. Looks look at the like water. a look turtle. At the water. Ew. Oh Looks look like a that. turtle soup pot. And there's no covering over these, like no shading. So in the summertime, those t those tortoises just roast. They, you know, they roast. This is, just this is turtle protection, like in rescue? Well, I, I feel like they might need to be rescued from this place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, what, what, why wouldn't Thanks. you just take the turtles to, like, a you know, I don't know, release them? Where, where, yeah. it's Florida. Can't turtles just live in Florida? Yeah, they Can't they just live in too. a swamp? I don't understand why you wouldn't just take them to the Everglades and let them go there. Why would you bring them here and put them in a hot tub? Uh, I'm waiting to see a couple breaking out, like one of those old freaking World War II movies. They're plotting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some so stalling weird. 13 shit. This is this is so strange. I mean, I don't care how people live. Like, if you want to live like this, I don't care. Like, live Except however you want. I mean, when you put your kids and you know, there's a when four year put, old that's still in yeah. diapers. Yeah. Well, I mean, she shouldn't be in diapers. There definitely are questions of like, is this a neglect situation? It's certainly not oh. the safest kind of area for the, a toddler. It, but, well, and. and the kid's running around talking. I mean, the kid is starved for effect for any sort of attention. Like she's like all about this game, like this warden. Like she's talking to him, showing him stuff. It's but I also have to say that I stand up for people's rights to live how they want, and that includes yeah. with their kids. That includes with their kids. Like if you don't want to live in a house with four walls and you guys want to right camp there. out and live in a yurt or whatever, you have a right to do that. People yeah. have a right to live how they want to live. Man, having so, reptiles around a little kid like that. I mean, it's just a scene yeah, for this. But she supposedly has a life threatening illness, but well, she's around. There's all a lot that of questions. Out. There's yeah. a lot of questions about this particular case, but in general, oh, I yeah. support the right of people to live how they want without interference <clears throat> from the government. Uh, the government doesn't always know best. Uh, but we can look at this as citizens and go, mm, it's probably uh, we, not a we good have, idea. We have Mennonite Amish communities around, you know, and I mean, <laughs> you know, if you start if you start interfering and saying, hey, the government gets to say those communities disappear too. So it's right. True. Exactly. Exactly. And you know the the but Amish are, do things like this. That's oh, a problem. lot of them, they yes. A lot Actually, of some of them, yes. They, they live. So, they live pretty nice out here. In we live near Amish country, and there's a lot of, um, you know, people who will tell stories about horses being neglected and some broke. You know, there, you you drive by some properties that are seriously in need of repair and stuff, but people leave them alone because that's what America's about. Leave me alone. Yeah. I mean, we have plenty of like small, you know, out of the way, like little burnt down looking houses that, you know, are out in the middle of nothing. I mean, these are places that obviously people live in. <laughs> I've ran, uh, I've ran up on some properties as a teenager. I got shot with some uh, salt rock for thinking a house was abandoned. Oh, one time. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. This is after they cleaned it up. Okay, I just got PTSD watching that phone creep over the edge because it made me think <laughs> of the tanning salon. Uh, the turtle's like, don't take pictures of me while I'm <laughs> I'm not dressed. <laughs> oh, this is uh, strange. It's just interesting. You hear so much about the play. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Peeping on the turtles. Quit peeping on the turtles, you turtle perv. 
<laughs> Here we go again. He popped it up and he was like, he was like, hell no, Megan. <laughs> for those of you in Larry's chat, if you're looking for my channel, I see a couple of you are. I'm dropping it in the chat again. You can come on over and uh, make sure you like and subscribe while you're here. Would love to have you. Um, what is he doing? Hey, why, why is he standing by this one turtle tub? I think so he's maybe taking notes or something. He's he's interested but, in this tub for sure. Are there actually turtles in there? Because yes, I still yes, haven't seen are. a turtle. Yeah, they're under the water. You can't really see them. And he's and unfortunately, it's you know body cam footage, so it's on his chest and looking straight out and not down into the water. Yeah, yeah they need to put those body cams on their heads yeah, or something. Angle, man. Yep. What's that? Man, yeah. you need those Apple uh, glasses or something. <laughs> You you got to be like James O'Keefe. Go to the OMG store and buy yourself some of those glasses and Could everything. You imagine you the look Fed showing up with a bunch of Appleware. <laughs> yes, it'd be hilarious. Yeah. What is that noise? Is that, that what this camera body sounds like? That, that does that every when they're all, when they're on a call like that. It does that every so often. I don't even like police video does that. Ah, oh, this is something else. This is. I mean, what is that brown thing? Is that a house? I think that's I think that's their outhouse. No, no, no. I don't mean the shed. I mean the thing behind that, the brown. The it big, looks like it's sided. One. Yeah, it's sided. That with... one I think is what they were supposed to be building, like the that they claimed that, but they didn't have permits for. Wait, so the bucket is the infamous bucket? Is that what I mean? Yeah. Oh no. Which which bucket? The bucket right there, that shed. <gasps> Shut up. That is not the compost toilet. <laughs> You'd be like, I go out here, I go to the bathroom, I get tetanus. No, no, no. When she said she had that, I thought she meant she had like a real composting toilet. That's a bucket. No, that can't be it. You guys, that can't be it. That can't be it. I've seen a composting toilet. That's not what it looks like. No. It, no, it, people say no. <laughs> there's no way. No, come on. It can't be. It can't be a bucket. No, I, I refuse to believe that. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. Uh, I refuse to believe that. That is not true. Her. Those are damn dirty lies. I don't believe it. Something's yes. damn dirty over there. <laughs> if that can't be. Yeah, they do like, have. You do get to. They they do. No wait, people are telling me yes, that is it. The chat is like, oh yeah, that is it. That is the outhouse. The <laughs> but it's not even. Outhouse. But it's not even behind anything. It couldn't be. Hey, you, when you have an outhouse, you put it behind a little. You know, that's a wall. that's their poop shed. Yeah. Well, so, all right, poop shed. Adding shed. it to the list of Lego projects. Poop shed. <laughs> poop shed. <laughs> Turtle purgatory. <laughs> it's their shit shack. Oops. <laughs> shit shack. I'm gonna make a sign for that. The shit shack. Oh my god. It's her homemade composting toilet, but she. Oh lord, the shit shack. Oh my god, the shit shack. You guys, I can't walking get back over to his it. car. Let I cannot get now. over the oh, wait, shit here's shack. People. People. So coming. now they're here. Yeah. Oh here. boy. Right, okay. Here. Oh, that's why they're walking. I was like, I'm going to skip them walking. Otherwise. <laughs> but no, if they're people, that's okay. Yeah, they show up. Um, all three of them are there. So you probably can fast forward a little bit to get to that. He just goes out to the truck. Yeah, I saw some people. It comes back. There's, there's a person right there. Now, this must be John. Yeah. I hear he walks with the cane. It's hot today, but at least it's a dry hot. Over there, and then I start feeding. Hey, I don't blame you. I'm investigating Ken Holmes. Fish one. Okay. Okay. She has a life threatening metabolic disorder. Okay. All right. Drink. She gets a fever, she can die. Okay. So we try not to catch it. Does this have close captions? This is all the food underneath all this stuff. You'll find more lettuce and vegetables. Do you have uh, like a refrigerator to put it? or? We normally feed it out. Yeah, because I get it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but when I don't use it, I get to a hot spot. They come and get it. They'll be here to get it tonight. We have an extra. Okay. Did they leave the kid in the car, in the hot? But we, 
we Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we pick up that one to feed. They also feed hay and they feed Missouri pellets which is exactly what they need. Yeah. And just to let you know, I'm I'm uh vaccinated, uh but who knows? I, you know, anybody right. can get anything. No, so yeah, if you want to keep it isolated, yeah. And the, um, she had RSV from him. And <laughs> RSV caused <laughs> RSV caused her to have to have a feeding tube put in, and then she started having seizures. So she's never had that before. So now. So so let me. Ask, what agencies have come here? I, I've I've listened to a little of the the YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, so. Three times he called CPS. He then turned me into the consumer. I have it right here. Um, and are you still, I saw that you have a nonprofit. Have you gone through and, and did all that to get a true nonprofit yes. status? Yeah, yes, Hi, honey. Yep, I Hi. Have EMI, what's it called? EMI How are you? So let me get this straight. She says she can't take her out of the okay, car, yeah. and then she does. Yeah, she couldn't shake it. Couldn't shake his hand because of her disease. But the little girl runs yeah. around barefoot everywhere, yeah. and is around all these they have free roaming chickens, ducks. She'll be right there, honey. She'll be right there. I'm gonna get you, love. Just a minute. Oh, you dropped something. She's very shy. Hey, I'll I'll be right back. I'm just gonna let it run, okay? Okay. Right. I'll be right back. He turned me into these people. Hey, Matt, I'm going to call you back. It, it wasn't super important, just uh, uh, about entombing gophers. You'd go, uh, an officer would be sent to that complaint, wouldn't they? If someone complained about entombing gophers. Entombing gophers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, gophers? A, that's all I want because, uh, you know, different complaints. The uh, dispatch closed it out, but I think they got different info from us. And who knows, they might have said entombing just to get us to go, so. But <laughs> two mean gophers? Did you say two no, mean? No, you gophers? enjoy your NASB. I don't know. <laughs> All right, bro. See ya. Sorry about that. So he's done a whole month worth now of videos on me. He's accused us of him sexually molesting her, which could have made her end up in being removed. If they would have removed her. Her metabolic team said it would probably would have killed her because the first thing DHS was CPS well, did well, shoot her up. Well, hey, I, I'll t anybody can sue or complain about anybody. Oh, I know. You could you could right now lodge a complaint to me saying I was unprofessional to you and call my. Doesn't mean it's true, right? Right. So, if it it it's e easier said than done, but but you have ducks like water off ducks back. Mm -hmm. If it's not true, don't worry about it. Right. Now, you have your daughter to worry about, I understand, but if the Child Protective Custody came here three times, yep, and, and it, her. yeah, so don't worry about what anybody else says. You got to deal with the harassment a little, but, yep. um, a lot. yeah, so, <laughs> it's a lot, right? so, but don't, I mean, don't, don't listen to it. If yeah. it's not true, don't listen to it. However, at the same token, you do have some, I, I don't know if, who complained. I don't know. We do. Yeah. The there was a lady here this morning. What was her name? Her name was Alicia Hill. And okay. she said that, she said, I'm outside your property and I saw a video, a Hale's video, yeah. about your property and I, I've got a $1,500 grant for you and I've got food for you and this and that. Well, yes, she said, I want to see your tortoises right now. Where are they? And I'm like, I don't even know who you are. Yeah. Why would I let you on? And yeah, I, I don't blame you. Yeah. She, they don't realize. He uses his Okay, can yeah. I? No, I, I am. No, I understand what's going on. And so. I was, I was, I have been licensed in the state of Florida. Class three field a day, wow, class three all it was years there. ago. That's why you said Lacey and I'm yeah. like. Well, it's only because I, I, I looked at your, um, uh, oh, up your phone it. number. No, your phone number, and uh, it, it said Lacey Wilson. I think. Yeah, that's my old number. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Old. That's my middle name. I used to go by my middle name. And you got a bunch of names. <laughs> and that's a long story. Oh, um. Anyway, I used to have class three feel a day, class three all. I had mountain lions, fox, wolves. We had everything. We were in North Fort, uh, North Fort Myers and Fort Charlotte. That was years ago. Mountain lions. I worked at, I lived in, worked at Octagon. <laughs> oh my God. Years. Hey, that might explain know, the big Lori, cat thing that, you know, yeah. was posted. I know Maybe. how to take care of animals. 
my biggest producer, and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to fly under the bus, and I don't freaking care, is him. Uh, is, he, him he, is he an ex, too? My ex was an ex. Okay. And I have told him to I'm just gonna out, out. Who is her ex-husband, John? Who does he need to be? I've told him what I want. Out is John the ex-husband? I have no idea. I, I don't know. Well, well, maybe if he goes around with me, may have been um, at one maybe point. it'll help. So, I, I, so I, I what, I, what, what I was getting with, like, everything else could be wrong. If I get to send, and this is normally what happens, especially in the neighborhood or. I'll get to, honey. Let me, I'm gonna well, just yeah, get yeah. her out of yeah, the yeah. car already. Okay. My God. Just get her out. She wants to come out. She wants to be free, huh? Yeah. Even he's feeling uncomfortable, right? He's like, get her out already. Yeah, get her out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to roll where the kid's here? Yeah, I don't, I don't recall yeah. the actual timestamps on it, but the kid runs around in different places. So, I mean, I'm just asking. You want me to just keep rolling before I... Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I it think. is. It It's legal document, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's public records. So. It's all right. I mean, the intention is not to dox some kid. I mean, and she's no, no, posted I mean, her it, picture. She's posted so, her picture um, online. I've already seen her, you know. So what she's, happens she's is a lot of times cutie. you get neighborhood complaints or exes. Hold my hands. You're going to step in dirt in glass. You're not running off. Glass is barefoot. You want to get shoes on? Yeah, I can wait until you get that's shoes. That's absolutely messed up right there. I mean, wait, yeah, how about I some shoes? Know. Yeah, not put shoes on the kid or anything, but hey, I'm going to set you down. You may Where step in glass shoes? or whatever. I think they do put shoes. I think they do put some shoes on there. I mean, but you're talking like but, reptiles, chicken shit, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. All well, over and the they place. were just out. They must. She must have had shoes on at some. They were out somewhere. Where? where right. Where are the shoes? Dangerous, man. Oh, this is very. It could be like my kid and kick them off when you put them in the car seat. Yeah, that's so. what mom does. She does. I have to stick them back on her a million times. Right, that's true. They do that. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to take her out and stick her near like rep again, reptiles and chicken shit. And right, stuff. reptiles and yeah, exactly. Uh. It's time for windows on the tanning salon. My name's Mr. Ken. Go plan your, go plan your swing. Go play. Come here. You want to go play? Go play. Oh. Oh, yeah, baby. I got your food on my chair. Shut up. Harley. All right. We're staying. Don't go to the road. No, Mama. No. Oh, my God. Come on. Yeah. She calls Does she go to the road? Does she go to the road? No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But is that something normal that she does? Is go to the road? Apparently, yeah. yeah, she claims she's a runner. Yeah, that's what. Uh, remember oh, the Lord. Jeremy always driving too fast down the road. Yeah. That's not good. That's cr well. That's crazy. I mean, again, I can't imagine letting my four-year-old roam free. Not out there. No, not anywhere. I got a road close by. My kid's yeah, not getting out too. without me right there. Likes running though, huh? Yeah. So normally what happens, I get a complaint, ex, uh, uh, exes are big on complaining about their exes. Mm -hmm. Not that that's what happened here, yeah, but, know but you know, bad, bad breakups yep. and uh, bad neighbors, uh, you know, button heads with neighbors. So we'll get complaints. They'll throw, they'll throw everything at the wall 
But, um, you know, if there's a valid violation, which I did find some today, um, I got to address it. Yep, so no, um, I, I'm glad. But yeah, it's, some, so. it's some things that I think you can easily fix. Now, I see you have sulcatas, and in the video, past videos, you had a Herman, and it looked like some, uh, maybe some Redfoots. Did you yep. have a Redfoot? Yep, I do. There you go. Oh, you forgot to open up the field. You ran out of them. Sulcatas, a Herman, and a Redfoot. I don't know anything about turtles. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a little more worried about the heat with the. Um, it doesn't. They're cooking, ma'am. Because of that tar, the brown tarp. Yeah. You're making turtle soup in here? Is that what we're doing? I kept it shut because I didn't want it to rain all the time. Yeah. So you just have them too? No, there's a Herman. He's in here somewhere. Oh, I, I think I know where he is. He's definitely... We had them in another thing. But an animal ripped them, uh, ripped the hole in the pen and ripped them out. It, it killed one of the Russians. Do so you want me to slide this all this way? It, it ate one of the Russians. Yeah, we're going to empty this out anyway. Um, oh, yeah, it looks like he's... Well, he was in there. Let's see, he's here somewhere. Oh, yeah. I'm putting this, they're going, going to go back in the little pen out there. Yeah. But until we can keep that animal from eating them, I don't want them to eat. And I'm having a problem building that. Yeah. That animal, uh, what, what? Well, it's it's not my business what health health wise happened to me, but uh, I saw a few videos. You look like you were getting around good. Like a year ago. Yeah, I can't anything. I, I worked this whole thing. Yeah. Oh, really? I actually lost 50 pounds working on it. Yeah, you look bigger, too, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, see, I, I busted my ass I trying to get this stuff in order. we got to find that little son of a bitch. How big is he? Is he smaller red, than, oh. Yeah, just like the little ones. We had other red foots. If you've seen videos from prior, those red foots are gone. The leopard is gone. I have one leopard back there. But all my other tortoises, I gave to a friend. Um, he was what? supposed to let me get them back. She Careful, you're going to get sand in your eye. She gave them to a friend? So would she say she had left leopard? They and... Why Why would she give them to a friend if she was rescuing them? I'm confused. I mean, her. Careful, he's little. Is he? Oh, her habitat is like awful. Yeah, like, you should look some of these turtles up and look at what their habitat should look like. I won't step on them. I'll be nice. He's got it in here. No way. I just seen him yesterday. He isn't. Everybody, let us sit. There he is. Right there. Oh, he's peeking out at us saying, what are you, what's all the fuss about? Yeah, no <laughs> little turtle head peeking out. He's to get out here, that's that's fine for this because remember it's got to be he's the biggest one, so it's got to be two his length and two his width. So obviously that's fine. And the size is the only thing that worries about me on this is because what well, if you had. It can't breathe, but I guess I need to put holes in the bottom, more holes. Well, the hay's not bad either, because they like going into it. Yeah, but. they love it. Find yeah. Mm -hmm. I, and I didn't step on them. No. Yes. Yeah. 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 We, had, we had Napoleon for years. He just ain't growing. Just so, ain't growing. so what would be ideal with this is that it's good to, for them to have sunshine too, but if we if like partial, you had a partial shade over it. Yeah. So part of it shade. So if they want to get in the shade, they could, and if they want to be in the sunlight, they could. 
You, you, you they have to have an option. The only reason they weren't open today is because it rains. And yeah. If we're not here, and we knew we weren't going to be here. Yeah, this morning. I had an eye doctor's appointment, and I had to go to the courthouse. I had to apply for that thing, and they didn't give it to me. Yeah. They won't give it to me. What, what won't they give you? A no harassment order of protection uh, against that bastard. Uh. He's allowed to do anything he wants and say anything he wants. He's called me a child molester. It's America, ma'am. That I beat her right in front of the whole town. He so why don't you? Uh, dope. I'm gonna let the if you hire, if, if you hire a lawyer, he it seems like we're, he has some money. We're gonna, yeah. Well, that's what we're doing now. So yeah. I'm gonna let the dogs out. Okay. They don't bite. I don't. I don't. I, I get. Little, a, I get along with most animals. Yeah, and when I knocked on the door, I heard him barking. You gave me wildlife supposed to so, tell me I should um, do somebody. And, this, and the same way, the local, <laughs> yeah, I don't since think we're so. here, let's do the water tortoise. To, um, what do you have in the uh, water turtle? Yeah. I, oh, he's got money. You can take him. I brought two red ears with me from Iowa. Well, he seems so to how believe long, her. Uh, how, when did you come from Iowa? I've been here for years. All right, so you wow, lived in... don't scare me, guys. I know I need a permit to take in any... So those were yours. You had them. For Legal years. Okay. How long have you had them? <laughs> yeah. Wait, your chat keeps going away. Watching here or on Larry's channel is the I'm, same. Nobody is paying attention to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the chat trying to get my attention? It, it's, is something going on? All right, let's get over to the super chats and see what's okay. going on because maybe what's they're trying on? to get my attention. Jen Hale. Uh, says post office is the old gas station. Yes, we we heard about that. That's uh that's interesting. Proud attorney of two N L says North Otter Creek Road. Uh, North, yeah, I think legal advice is like, yeah, I've been trying to get your attention. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. T Y Powers, thanks for the super chat. Says Jeremy has the schoolhouse with the arched driveway. Um, and Paranoja says Megan took Tug and MG Law for a ride. Yes, we did. I made only one of them car sick. Lisa Wilson, thanks to the super chat, says it's the center of three major towns for storage shed. Uh, Edward M. Lockwood, thanks for being a member for 15 months. Vice Raid incoming. I saw that a while back. I did say welcome to the Vice Raiders. Marsha Yarbrough, thanks for the super chat, says to the right, Jeremy Schoolhouse. Oh, I must have missed it while we were driving. We were driving too fast. Tug was yelling. He was yakking out the window. It was a whole thing. Psychedelic Angel. Thanks for the super sticker. Um, Bad Duck. Thanks for the uh, the address. We got that. I think that's where we're at right now. 151, whatever. Uh, Teresa gifted one Megan Fox membership. Thank you. Welcome to the Fox Den. Those of you who just got that. And another one. Thank you, Teresa. So generous of you. Appreciate that. John Boy says that's the schoolhouse that John H. has. I guess we went by the schoolhouse and didn't even notice it. Reno News Now, thanks for the super chat, says the 1A auditing com community needs to set up shop right outside of Lynette's home and record them all day long from public easements. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I don't recommend that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nay, nay, Faxon. Uh, thanks for the super chat, says I hear banjos. This is awesome. <laughs> Just Shelley says there is Ohio video. The judge requested Jeremy not post it, and he agreed. Lisa Jewett thinks the super chat says add flipping adventures to get narration. What's flipping adventures? Anyone? Unhung hero thanks to the super chat. YouTube is methed up today. Yeah, it it really is. There's some kind of problem going on. Thanks for the membership, Oops. Carla Murray. Welcome to the Fox it's Den. Methed up. methed up. Yeah, methed up. It's very very methed, methed up. up. Jew Lisa Jewett, thanks for the super chat, says Jeremy posted F and W body cam. Jay redacted to keep child out of video. Um, let's see. Paranoja, thanks for the super chat. Meg, do you have a valid driver's license in that state? Do they know what they're dealing with when Megan Fox is out on the, on the road <laughs> with her crew for work activity? I don't know. I mean, you know, I think my New York license is reciprocal in Florida. I'm not sure. Tracy Fagan says, uh, rule of thumb in Florida is if there is water, there is alligators. Oh, that that's also true. Oh, yeah. It's next. Shirley Gold, thanks for the super chat, says that smaller shed is where Lynette and the child live. Really? The shed? I thought they lived in the RV. Martha Payne, and but you guys are saying that's where John lives. They, yeah, so they don't live there together. Yeah. No, Martha they don't. Angle, thanks to the super sticker. No. Okay, Kamat Red Queen says uh, the blue building with the curtains is LP and Child Home, and John live in the camper per Child Protection Services. Okay, yeah. 
so are they not together or together? Are they just well? They can't be married because if they get married, he loses. I think his deceased wife's uh, social security. This is so much. He'll lose it. This is so so much stuff I just can't follow. They're together but not married. Okay. Nobody cares. Legendary Racing, thanks for the super chat, Turtle Queen. The Tiger King sequel, no one asked for. Turtle Queen! The Turtle Queen! Oh, I, I kind of want it now. Yes. Oh, Damocles of Syracuse, thanks for the super chat. It says, point of order, that would be Queen. Uh, Martha Pringle, thanks for the super sticker. I appreciate you. Prowess, thanks for the super sticker. I appreciate you as well. Uh, let's see. Damocles of Syracuse, point of order. That would be, I just read that one. Did he send it again? I don't know. I, I thought I got it. Okay. Chris Rowland, member for four months. Game wardens have leeway that other law enforcement don't. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I like warrants. Get well, a warrant when, before you when step on my sanctuary. property. When it's a sanctuary and you're registering with the state, you are probably agreeing to give up some of those property rights that otherwise a normal resident can resident would not have to do that so i think think i'm going to read court documents and play that over there i'm going to do dramatic readings of court documents while i play their shit that sounds of court documents yeah yeah that's funny (laughs) misty reed thanks for the super chat says little girl in her lot in her and her live in the shed with the curtain on front john lives in the big camper big building house she is supposedly building okay uh, thanks for the $5 super sticker, Wilka Miller. And Lisa Jewett says you are literally verbatim echoing what Jeremy has said about turtle purgatory. Yeah, so it, it doesn't look like a great place for turtles, I got to say. I am saying, thanks for the super chat, what is she rescuing them from? That's my question. When there's an entire Everglades that they could just run around and be happy in, I don't understand well, why are, she has to these rescue are tortoises. them. These are tortoises. Though. Where is she getting them from? I, no, I mean, you know, we're are talking about wandering in from the ocean. Like the, There's well, well like the leopard, just land turtles. Yeah, big land, land turtles. Like a like the leopard is what a savannah, Africa kind of. Well, what turtle. what are these? Are people buying these things and then just loosing them on the neighborhood? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, keep League of Vices says keep reading. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kim K, thanks for the super chat. Says the toilet is a bucket hose in a bottle with water. Yes, that's oh no. No, please don't tell me that. I I no. <laughs> Teresa maybe. Finn. Teresa Finn, thanks for the super chat. Says Megan, she uses a bucket and then dumps it on land. What? Uh, Shirley Gold, thanks for the super chat. Megan, it's a real bucket. It has a blue tarp. Oh, dear Jesus. That's the beautiful outdoor bathroom. She said she knew. Colleen, uh, fee toward shit stack. Uh, shit stack Legos, you mean the shit shack? Uh, D Robertson, thanks for the super chat. Says the poo bucket came after this video. Arian the vegetarian says she bought this from Jupiter Estate after the three men who inherited it, Mars, Pluto, and Mercury, ate each other fighting over it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Arian the ver- vegetarian says save that super chat for Tug. <laughs> <laughs> Shed in front of uh, John where she lives. Okay, thank you for that. Laura Wilk, thanks to the super chat uh, or super sticker. Max Bang, thanks to the super chat. Mountain Lions, Turtles, Shit Shack, and Pooh Bucket. Redneck Bingo. Who's got the bingo card? Does anybody have a bingo card for today? Because this is a crazy show. Crazy times. Crazy times. Crazy times indeed. Crazy times indeed. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Carrie D, thanks to the super chat. John is X, but divorced SSDI benefits better. I gotcha, I gotcha. Fluff Nutta, thanks to the super chat, says I am taking deep breaths. Whoosh, as I see her toss her forcibly on her hip as she leaves to get shoes. Um, uh, Grifter Wannabe says, Megan, check your locals. I have put the IRS determination letter. She has a real nonprofit. Okay, yeah, great. She does. I will. I will check it. Shirley Gold says, Megan, that shed with the blue curtains is home. Q Revere, uh, thanks to the Super Chat, says, 45 minutes behind, slight pushback. Five people in power said good things about a man who did a bad thing. That's not a cover-up. Love your work, though. Uh, it got him out of trouble. That literally got him out of a criminal yep. situation that he should have had to actually go to jail for or something or register on a list or something. 
Uh, and also, he got to keep his law license. Uh-oh. We've had a Lego no. spill. No, no. Lego spill. No. Stay. No. This is okay. this is hilarious. So uh, YouTube is actually recommending me in the middle of the live stream that I'm on to go to DUI's channel, <laughs> DUI guy's channel, and watch this. Oh my God! I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna absolutely <laughs> kill him. He comes on for an hour and a half and then leaves it running on his site, <laughs> siphoning off all my viewers. Uh, am I? I'm not gonna get credit for it either. Probably. Uh, that's it. All right. Uh, Legal Vices wants me to check my Twitter DMs. <laughs> Wait, Q Revere thinks the super chat says 45 minutes behind. Slight pushback. Five people in power. Oh, I already read that. Um yeah, I, yeah, I disagree. <laughs> I I personally think I personally think that it is definitely circling the wagons. It's well, circling the wagons. Circle the wagons. Yep. And uh, that is a cover up. It is they wouldn't do it for you. They wouldn't show it. <laughs> five judges wouldn't come to court for you. We've got tortoise queen. Oh, I'm gonna ask AI to make me a <laughs> living in the shed named the tortoise queen I want to see what it does. from legal vices we have the tortoise queen oh my god this is so funny i can't i can't even oh jeff you kill me janice wing wingfield thanks to super chat she keeps the tarp over the tortoise to keep the straw dry to make it last longer Okay. Yeah. Uh, Leo Ford, thanks for the super chat. Hi from New Zealand. Is that what NZ is? Sweet. New Zealand? That's awesome. Zealand. Candace Bingham, thanks for the super chat. Tug, I've been trying to reach you. Jeremy said we should chat. It's about the adopted child. Tug, how does she get a hold of you? Write me either. You can hit me up on Twitter if you're there. At that umbrella, not at that umbrella guy. You'll be hitting up a food critic. You can tell um, <laughs> by, by follower count. He'll be like, what the what? Or email me, granularheaven at gmail.com. It's on my about page, too. I didn't see any emails in my, uh, my uh, stuff, so if it didn't come through, try me again. Okay, let's see. Talking about trying to reach you. Okay, we got that. So now we're at Janice. There are leopard tortoises and have spotted shells. Okay. Robert right Roberta Singer, thanks for the super chat. Now, Roberta came is still in Larry's chat, but her super chat came here. So that's cool. All right. So no, um, the super chat will oh, show up in the you see all chats. That super chat went to Larry. What? Have I been reading Larry's super chats? Pro probably. <laughs> oh my yeah. god all right no nope, not doing it i'm not reading any super chats from larry's channel you guys want your super chats read you got to come over here to where the actual work is being done because larry just left it running oh my he, god i don't think he meant to do it i don't think he meant to do it uh yeah well you guys are gonna have to learn the hard way your super chats are not getting read if they're on larry's channel get over here on my I wonder channel if in your stream yard if you can stop his I up can't. At the top, up at the top, I, there should be your little YouTube icon, and then there should be another one next to it. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. maybe his. Goodbye, Larry's chat. Goodbye. <laughs> Have you been reading his? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Were, were you... Did you were you able to stop it? Terminate it? Yes, they're gone. <laughs> they're going to have to look at we just lost 2000 viewers. They're going to have to come over here. I cannot believe that. That is so, that's so shady. I can't even believe it. I just did all of his work for him. Props to Larry for that. Oh my one. God. That was the <laughs> best grift. That was the best grift I ever that's what saw. I said. He's going to pop up. He's going to be like, this is hilarious. Oh like, ah. my God. That's all right. You know what? Larry sent me a hundred dollars the other day, so yeah, I can't complain. You I can't complain. <laughs> you sent it back to him too. Oh, yeah, and I sure did. He got You're back like, probably. Oh, man, I'm doing great this after one. Oh, oh, son of a gun, <laughs> Larry! Larry just siphoned off about two hundred dollars from my uh, channel. That's all right. Mo I forgive Legos, him. No problems, no. right? Oh. Uh, Key revered to uh, maybe a cover up wouldn't end in public, maybe, but a cover up wouldn't end in a public hearing. It wasn't really a public hearing, it was this a was bar before hearing. The Supreme Court is a bar hearing. It was a bar hearing which nobody was notified about that I just found five, six years later. How is that public, really? So, unless you're looking for it, you're not, um, you know, you don't find it. 
Um, let's see. Janice Wingfield says tortoise used are land animals. Turtles are aquatic. Most of her turtles or tortoises are considered exotics and can't be released into the wild due to state and federal laws. Um, but where is she getting them from is the question. Leo Ford says, I'm on your channel from New Zealand. Yes. Cool. Thank you for being Go here. Uh, everybody else. I, I, I don't know if Larry's chat is going to make their way over here. Um, it looks like Cher Carr says, I thought they were divorced. Wouldn't that apply to the law? If he gets married, he loses the ex-wife's social security. And that makes sense. Can you redirect? Uh, wait, wait. I like this last Captain one. Captain Kern says, can. can you redirect this super chat to no. Larry, please? No. <laughs> I like that. No. Larry's yeah. done today. He's done for today, uh, siphoning the super <laughs> she chat. She sure will, wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I do that. I'll make sure. Debbie Childers, uh, Megan, I'm on your channel now. Yeah, everybody who wants to send a super chat to Larry, just put it here on this channel. I'll make sure he gets yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, check, check I'll in the make mail, sure he gets it. Yeah. Checks in the mail. <laughs> Checks in the mail. I'll make sure he gets it. No problem. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. What a disaster. What a disaster. I let that go on for how many hours now? Has he been gone? <laughs> An hour and a half. I had no idea I could shut that down. That's I had no idea. It just, it just hit me that I was like, oh, you might be able to shut it medium down. Medium smart. I've, I've dual stream before. Is that what you said? Medium smart. This is my fault for being right. medium smart. Uh, you know, the next time Larry invites me on his channel, I'm going to I'm gonna do the exact same thing. <laughs> he, may not have, he may not have it set up for you to do that, though. I didn't know that. I Can you set it you to can, the can do yes. it? Yes, you can. Oh, I didn't know that. You can. Well. When you, yeah. I had no idea that if you're if you're simultaneously streaming that they're just paying the other channel. <laughs> what? Yeah, because yeah, they're in their channel. They're in they they were Son in his channel. So. Son of a gun. Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna get. I gotta. I gotta think of a good way to get him back. I'm gonna. Have That's to hilarious. Do you want me to leave you the? Uh, I mean, you you want me to leave that link and the timestamp where we're at? And see if it'll play for you there. Are you going? Are you leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I gotta, I gotta get the the kids have been working on uh, some math project. I gotta go uh, finish up our homeschool day. Oh, all right. Oh, well, sweet. we're gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you. I, Debbie, you are a moderator. Don't you see your wrench? Debbie, you are a moderator. You have a wrench. See the wrench? <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Um, I made you a moderator last time, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, think so. my... I, I, I took I took part of a vacation day to come over here and hang with you. So oh, was... thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody go go sub to Tug. I'm only uh, like 3,000 off of that 400K. Mm. Oh, my off God. Are you training. kidding? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. If you guys are not subscribed to that umbrella guy, get over there right now and Man, do it. I don't it. know how many I have. I'm, I'm approaching 5,000 last night. I don't know what I'm at. I haven't checked it this morning. So. Wow. So, that's okay. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. It's Palmyra Productions says if if for one minute you didn't think Larry didn't know what he was doing, apparently you don't yes. know Larry as good as we thought. <laughs> that dude is one slick mother ever. Uh, Man, I Larry. <laughs> I got to give yeah. him like extra. I love Larry before, but that's great. That's beautiful stuff. That's great. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I, gotta go. <laughs> I, I gotta go. I gotta go. go. Down. You're gonna pay for my groceries. Thank oh you. My you're God. paying for his doctor. You're yeah, paying for his exactly. doctor appointment. Oh my God. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. This is unbelievable. Uh, you were like, I was gonna buy some more Legos. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to buy the Legos for my turtle purgatory now? <laughs> well, I, good luck. At least you don't have to buy that many turtles. Apparently, she didn't yeah. have that many. Oh, oh, I don't. I can't believe you people were paying Larry for not even being here. I can't <laughs> believe you people were doing that. He wasn't even here. He's been gone for an hour and a half. You were sending <laughs> tips to to him for my work. Shame is right. Oh my Shame. god. Shame. Shame. This Shame. man, he's like the modern day Tom Sawyer. Emotional damage. I'm I'm seriously now we're gonna have a I'm gonna have a YouTube grudge war with Larry now because of, of what he just did to me today. I feel like I got oh, pumped. You got, you got beef I, now. I got you. We're gonna have drama. There's gonna be drama over this, Larry. I'm coming for you. Uh, I had sucked to pay him off. I was gonna go super chat him real quick. 
<laughs> Tell him thanks for all the hard work. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, Tug, you have fun with your uh, homeschooling. Yeah, I gotta of the go day. set up some more mathletics. Actually, Are I you go... streaming tonight? Right. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I'll. I think I'll read some of this redacted. This redacted court. I, I was like, I'm not gonna stream, and then I started reading that, and I, I thought, <laughs> man, I don't know this, this case again. I, I hate, I hate it for the people there, but man, this stuff is fascinating. You know. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They are a train wreck. It is hard to look away. But yeah, I dropped that link in there and the timestamp we were on if you want it. Yep. Yep. Great. Thank Later. you. I appreciate that. Take care. All right. What should we do? Should we go back to the hearing? If we were uh, supposed to be watching hearing number finish? two, but did we finish? frankly, no, we yeah, we stopped the hearing. We stopped it. I we stopped it, but I I wonder, I wonder if um I don't know. He just Do we bitches, really want to watch he bitches this guy at Shocket and Hales for the next, you know, 30, 45 minutes, hour or something. I mean, he was just kind of getting going. He really was. So I don't know. Let's go back over it. Let's see if my YouTube is even working. Because if it's not working, I'll probably just end up, you know, calling it a day and going to lick my wounds and count how many super chats Larry took today that he didn't earn. <laughs> God darn it, Larry. Unbelievable. Again, the master. The nature of this case, the nature of the pleadings, the nature of the issues that arise, the fact that it involves allegations and averments of long term behavior, that it included the presentation of multiple videotape items of evidentiary value, documentary evidence, that there were additional witnesses that we had uh, a pro se petitioner who had to go first with her case in chief, that we had a petition, a supplemental petition, um, which were separate pleadings. Each of them were fairly lengthy. Um, the court at the time of the hearing on November 29th also made comment to counsel, and I don't have any indication that counsel was actually aware of what the court was even talking about. Maybe he was, but that there was a statutory change in October of 2021. But since the statutory change, there's really has been no appellate court decision addressing these facts in light of the statutory change. Um, that the case precedent prior to the statutory change that addressed a very similar fact pattern which I mentioned I don't know how similar that fact pattern really is, though. Strober versus Harris decided January 5, 2022, by the second DCA, 332 Southern 3rd, 1079, said in part, relevant part, that it reversed that court's determination that there was not a basis for a stalking. Look who's in the um, chat. Injunction. A modern day Tom Sawyer. Hey, Tom Sawyer, how are you doing? That a crucial part of the <laughs> yeah, Larry totally Tom Sawyered it today. Good for him. Failed to Damn. Address was the issue of posting. That's what that case was all about. Publicly posted videos, and on the phrase in the statute caused threats I'm going to have to step out and get some lunch <laughs> and Strober, all right level, <laughs> See up all right and so I'll be back DCA later was sending Bye. It back okay. and in footnote number one pointed out by the way there's been a statutory change house bill 921 um, we can find that second DCA was saying this we can find our analysis to the prior version because that was in effect at the time of that case um, and did not comment on which version would apply upon remand. They left that issue open. Um, clearly, this case, this petition and supplemental petition were filed after the operative date, the effective date of the legislation um, that changed things October of 2021, when the court, excuse me, when the state legislature decided that the court needs to abide by in Florida statute 784.048 under subsection 1D1, the definition of cyber stalk, they included language 
it, it states to engage in a course of conduct to communicate or cause to be communicated. And they added these words directly or indirectly. Then it went back to the previous words, which, is, which reads as follows, words, images, or language by or through the use of electronic mail or electronic communication directed at, and then the legislature added these words, or pertaining to a specific person. And so the addition of the six words, directly or indirectly, and or pertaining to, clearly redefine the analysis the court must employ to evaluate these facts in light of that statutory change. And to my understanding, and that's why I brought it to counsel's attention at the time, there's been no appellate court decision addressing that matter. On the new statute. Correct. Okay. So in that context, that's one of the many reasons, along with the other things I just said, that this case is a little different than your run of the mill. I handled probably five or six. Because I'm going to treat it like a Supreme Court case. Hour before I got to Because I want to make new laws. It's clearly going to take longer than that. Clearly it's going to take said, longer because I'm going to make it take longer because I'm, I want to make this, I want to make the, this dude pay. All right, I'm trying to figure out how to make the tanning bed. Court I've got the tanning bed. The fact that I granted, but it needs a lid. Here to this court now that it was based on tanning bed. Less than accurate, needs less than lid. truthful representations to the court of the basis being claimed for the continuance. And I again point that out because Mr. Shockett, you're now advancing argument no. why it should be continued. Again. Um, the court gave an admonition to prior counsel that if you've got a calendar conflict, deal with that conflict by changing whatever that other matter is or may be, because we're going to be here on December 6th at 1 o'clock. There's been an intervening development um, that certainly may require another reevaluation, um, and that is subsequent to receipt of the after hours motion to continue that this court happened to see um, Monday morning when um, coming to work and addressing it, the court then receives what amounts to a second supplemental petition filed on December 4, 2023 at 104 p.m. by the petitioner, which did result in the temporary relief um, that was previously sought and denied at least two, if not three other times. That being said, and counsel is aware, and, and Mr. Hales, I presume, is aware, but so that he is absolutely aware, I presume, because he's had now two lawyers represent him. Oh, the geez. court has to confirm its analysis of a petition accepting what's being alleged as being true and if true does it entitle the person for relief the hearing then is to determine is there competent substantial evidence which includes truthfulness credibility questions etc to be determined so we were part way through a case mm -hmm. where i must have said on multiple occasions oops i forgot to mute to the archie ruckus better. cam i've only heard he was one just side panting of the case, not even the entire side of that case i don't want to deny i have no intention of denying the respondent ability to present contrary evidence or contradict or confront the evidence being presented against him. Um, and so one issue, and, and Mr. Shockett, I, I just got to ask because there's, there's a notice of appearance that's styled as notice of appearance as co-counsel. Then there's your motion filed 12-5-23 at 12.53 p.m., styled as an urgent motion for continuance that states under subsection 2, co-counsel Mr. Feather, so that's consistent with your notice of co-counsel, is not available on, on 12-6. But then it adds this phrase, more importantly, respondent wishes to have undersigned counsel represent him at the continued hearing. There's a couple ways to, receive, to, to read that. One is... He wants you and not Mr. Feather at the continued hearing, meaning today is the continued hearing. All right. You guys want to see here. the Legos bigger? So 
one way to read this is the respondent right. I can gets do that. that which he wants see. and which quite frankly from the court's perspective he deserves his choice of counsel here no at this continued hearing but then it's a motion to continue so i presume that when you say continued hearing you're saying if i continue it to the next hearing and so that's one issue because it would be presumptuous without any basis to be presumptuous that i guess the court's going to grant this continuance because we're asking for one um that would be a fallacious and strange hypothetical assumption to make without a basis but That'd be one way to kind of look at this. But the other is if if Mr. Hales wants you at the continued hearing to the exclusion of Mr. Feather, this court will analyze this situation differently than if really you're just co-counsel to Mr. Feather. Because if you're co-counsel to him, you then have the institutional knowledge he has. You know, uh, it's not like we get halfway through a trial or we get to the end of the trial and then somebody says, well, I've got the financial ability and wherewithal. I'm going to go hire another lawyer and say, I'm going to get, continue this case. Right. I'm going to get another lawyer to start from scratch, rebuild my case and maybe shore it up a little bit. I mean, I don't know where there's any precedent for such um, process. And I don't know that necessarily that's intended, but I don't know what's intended nor am I questioning your involvement in the case, but I, I got to know. This guy what is such an ass. Is. Okay, thanks, Judge. Thank you. May please yeah, thanks, um, thanks, my Judge. status is to continue to represent him as lead counsel uh, in this case. But that, that clarifies it. Um, here yeah. today, you know, finish it, whatever happens going forward, lead, you, and maybe Mr. Federer withdraws, I don't know. Uh, he is at a doctor's appointment, as I understand it, in Gainesville. Um, well, here's another thing, and I, I don't want to be insensitive about this, okay, but under the circumstances of this case, Mr. Feather didn't plea on September, excuse me, on November 29th if, at about 5 p.m. He said, I can be there on yeah. December 6th at 1 o'clock. So if it was an emergency that came up from November 29th to today's date, medical intervention of necessity, etc., clearly the court would have waited a lot different than Oh, judge, I've got an appointment on December 6th at 145 that I didn't tell you about. And it doesn't say when it was scheduled. Maybe after we scheduled this hearing, that would be ridiculously yeah. foolish to do. But I have no I have no information to go on. And I'm not insensitive to life happening while court is happening. You are, though. So if he had a medical. Yeah, you are. Necess of necessity. You're constantly saying that you have problems with people's I schedules. I don't know that it's good cause. I ruled it was not good cause. You're you such an ass. It. You could have asked to provide additional information. And again, his motion and yours, and we'll get to yours in, in a moment here. No, uh, you won't. You're not going to get to anybody's motion. Ms. Preston's position on this. And so we've got to come here. And so I didn't deny, I didn't deny or grant your motion. I didn't address your motion yesterday, even though I saw it yesterday. Because I couldn't, because I've got to hear from the petitioner as well. Totally understand. Um, and then in your motion, so you're saying that if the relief is granted and it's continued. Hey, hey, to hey, I just got a great email. That's right, Judge. I just got a great email from uh, Laura. Laura sent me an email that said the nine to zero Supreme Court decision that says Donald Trump cannot be removed from the ballot in any state also states that the courts cannot deprive any citizen the rights of speech, liberty, or property without due process. Because Donald Trump was not convicted of any crime, he could not be deprived of any rights. Jeremy Hales is being deprived of his rights without due process. He has got to refuse to keep the temporary injunction without cause. He does. He needs to just quit paying any attention to it because it's an illegal order. It is unjust. The court has no recourse if he refuses because he has not been convicted of a crime and the court has not recorded any evidence against him. The Supreme Court decision states that a person becomes a slave when the court imposes restrictions on rights without due process. And there it is. Boy, do I have the smartest listeners in the world. You people are more than medium smart. You are big smart because that is real. That is good, good information. And the Supreme Court, I got to read that ruling. 
that sounds like an amazing ruling and I haven't read it yet. And it, it sounds like it's great. Uh, looks like uh, people are kind of dropping off. Are, are we getting bored with this hearing? Should we stop doing it? Should we stop doing this hearing? Uh, and uh, oh, I did say I was going to make the Lego build bigger. Here, let's try that. Let me edit a Lego build. No, not a Lego build. Let me edit the thing. Let me see. How do I do this? Uh, oh, I've reached my limit. Okay, fine. We'll go here and we'll edit this one. And we will add it. So we'll make this much bigger. We don't need Judge to Thomas's face, do we? We'll just, we'll like put this over Judge to Thomas's face. And then we will add in a media slot. There we go. Put that there. There we go. We'll just make him smaller. We'll make the Lego build bigger so that you guys can see it. Uh, you're probably not seeing anything right now because it's, there we go. Update. All right. Now the Lego build is bigger. Here we go. And we can and judge to Thomas. This is smaller because, you know, he's already big enough in his own mind. Have you considered what you would do if it's the continuance is denied? Are you prepared to proceed today? As best I can, given the limits, Judge. I just got hired yesterday. I had two hearings this morning working within reasonable human hours. Trying to find the right piece. Night, but woefully unprepared in that, in that short of time. And also, now we do have the temporary injunction in place, so there's no prejudice. Which I said, yeah. it changes things a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. So, have you reviewed the proceedings from November 29th? Not all of them, Judge. There's, I don't have all the materials. I've, I've asked for a transcript. We've ordered it rush basis. So I can hear the see the I do have one of those AI transcripts, you know, uh, right. but I don't trust it because I can already see some misspellings. And, and as you know, the devil's always in the details. So I, I, I'm waiting for the official transcript um, to be so, prepared and also the witnesses. That so here's the thing. I'm not I'm not asking you to disclose attorney client communication. In fact, I'm specifically stating I don't intend to do that. Well, that thank God. Said, Why so would you work on a presumption here, which is. When Mr. Hales contacts you or you contact him, whatever, when you guys come into contact with each other about this pending matter, 12, 6 at 1 p.m., you either had to tell him, I can be prepared, despite the fact I only have 25 hours notice, or you had to tell him, I could kind of try to be prepared, but I won't pop any way near be as prepared as I could be or that I should be on your behalf. If I took you, I presume you had a conversation. I was in practice for 36 years representing people. You probably should have had a conversation. I don't want to be too presumptuous. If I get a continuance, I'll be, I'll be much more prepared than I am able to do in 25 hours. And so the relevance of the question, depending on how that conversation, either Mr. Hales willfully, intentionally, purposefully hired a lawyer who he knew absolutely could not be prepared to respond resolve this issue today or he hired a lawyer that he would know would not be oh, I can't believe he's still talking about this that, that would be ground we are still to continue this we are now at 42 the last time I said check the time we were at 19 minutes in 19 minutes he had spent talking about this issue we are now at 47 minutes that he is still talking about this damn stupid issue and he th and he is I mean it's just it's incredible to me it is incredible to me that he's 45. So still, Jeremy is being denied his due process right now. Every time this judge speaks and does not let Jeremy put his side on and give his evidence is more time that he's being deprived of his rights, of his due process rights. I think I just found the right piece for this. So I was looking for something with a hinge, wait, with a hinge so that I can build up like a lid for the for the tanning bed and i think i found it but if i the question is can i find another one because i don't know if i can find it's probably not going to be the right color though and find a lawyer 47 says, minutes of this shit. Time, but man i can do what I, I can do what i'll do and i'll i'll be prepared i'll take your case so i'm not questioning you and saying i'm not even getting into this but i got to question the motives of mr hale in gaining a continuance because a continuance is a victory for someone who doesn't have a temporary injunction oh my god including entry of an injunction ridiculous is, is in their favor clearly right and and to the detriment of the petitioner but i think at some time 
Well, first of all, I, I, there's more that happened in the meeting that I should, I'm not allowed to. Well, do I don't want you to, I don't so, want yeah. you unless you guys are willing to waive. I'm, I'm not. No, they're not going to so waive I'm saying. privilege. Either, and I'm not saying that you were completely negligent in not telling your client, dude, you know, you're hiring me and the hearing's 25 hours from now. How can I possibly be prepared? Or you said, I'm on the spot. I got it. I do this all the time. Whatever. It, it, it only implicates Mr. Hale's decision to retain a lawyer who now is in front of the court saying, I can. Ah, I found one. And it's the right color. As competent as I want to be represent his interests you're saying i'll do the best i can and i know you will but you're not saying i'm going to provide him effective representation now there's no constitutional requirement of effective representation when it's counsel of your choice um and you and you knowingly hire somebody who tells you they can't be fully prepared or it might be that you hire somebody who well, why is he still going on about this to continue it okay my so, god we have the protection in place here of the, of the to we have that. And that did come to my attention yesterday. I think oh. close to mind, like within an hour after I filed the, the motion, I knew that this was relevant uh, in, in, in weighing the, you know, the prejudice to both sides. Um, and I can tell you as an officer of the court that, that this is not a case of just continuing counsels and I'll be the lead counsel in this case. Um, and so I think there's very legitimate grounds given what we have here with this, tea, this helps tip the scales uh given this lack let me of ask you another question mm -hmm. how do you how do you plead under subsection four that the petitioner will not suffer any prejudice or inconvenience as a result of the of a continuance how, how do you how do well you... It's, it's a brief continuance judge i i don't think it's going to be any prejudice and now well that's... what's brief the, that's well that's about one's our court i'll do this the motion doesn't ask for a particular period of time i don't have your well, i would say as soon as you want i mean within reason give me 10 days to get prepared and we'll be here in 10 well, days you know I've, I've been tempted to do this in the past not with you but with counsel that moves for continuance but doesn't say how long and i could have continued it from one o'clock to one thirty. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how yeah. long you need. Yeah. Right. right. You want 20 days? I'll give you 20 He's minutes. He's being right? a smart ass. So, ow, I just stubbed um, my toe. Ow, to ow, say ow, that ow, would be ow, no prejudice ow, or inconvenience. Bad. I mean, we know at a minimum the inconvenience is the petition issue on the 29th. Hurt. Agreed to be here on the 30th, despite the fact that she would reschedule her doctor's appointment. Then agreed, if it accommodates them, and judge, you're saying we can do it on the 6th. I'll be here on the 6th. She's here on the 6th. So there's some inconvenience. Um, and she'll oh, have to come toe. back again. I don't think that you filed this pleading when there was a temporary injunction in place. I don't know when it, what time was it? Your fi your filing is at 12:53 p.m. on the 5th or the 4th? On the 5th. Well, this was filed on the 4th. Judge, wasn't this order entered on the 4th? Or the 5th? I don't even know. Who is whispering? Someone's whispering. Entered on the 4th. Am I bleeding? I don't think I'm bleeding. This TRO. And so your, oh, your my position toe hurts. is that if the court has the temporary in place, there's no prejudice because she's got the protection that she's seeking temporarily. Yeah, and there's you can continue. The, there's a day, 15 days, I think. You can continue uh -huh. that if it gets continued. But yeah, the protections are in place. Look, it's a ladder. With regards to inconvenience. <laughs> Why is it not inconvenient? <laughs> she's won. Judge. I found the she's ladder. Won. She has her. She has her injunction. Well, no, she she's asking for a final at the, the start understand. of the proceedings. I'm ask, I ask all petitioners, are you here asking for a final judgment? Right, which would adopt the same standards, the same restrictions against him. Just a question of how long it's for. Well, it's well, it's not, uh, and and I guess that's going to get us to another issue, which we'll. Oh. Wait, I just saw a super chat that has a good question let's see so wait sassy guinea pig mama says he put an injunction on on jeremy hales because he was forced to get a new lawyer through no fault of his own yeah because he was forced to get a new lawyer because the judge turned on his lawyer and was like saying his lawyer had misrepresented things to the court so of course mark feather was like well i better i better get out of this case because the judge hates me so yeah so he had to get a new lawyer. That lawyer couldn't be prepared because of the time. And how is this Jeremy's fault? But yeah, this is exactly what is happening. He is going to put an injunction on him because he had to get a new lawyer. That's nuts.
That's nuts. Larry's playing dumb, by the way. Larry is pretending like he had no idea that he would be getting super chats when he wasn't there. He's pretending he had zero. He had no idea. <laughs> I'm on to you, Larry. I'm on to you. I know what you did. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> we're gonna have a we're gonna have a grudge match when he comes back. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go full on blood sports uh, when he comes back. <laughs> Yasi in the Simple Kitchen says, hello and much love from Israel. Well, shalom and much love to you as well. Been there, done that. Member for a month. Awesome. Glad you're here in the Fox Den with us. And Debbie Childer says, Megan, can you make me a mod? Yep, I already did that. Did that, read that, been there. Okay. Uh, Paul Myra Productions, I got that. Got that one. Sassy Guinea Pig Mama. She may be getting the tortoises from people who get them as pets, not realizing how long they live and don't want them. Maybe. Uh, Palmyra Productions says, Megan, you just gave a new definition to Boomer. Boomer extraordinaire. It's not fair that my Boomer skills are Boomer skills when I'm Gen X. Arian the Vegetarian says, Larry will kindly compensate. Now he has to. That's okay. He doesn't have to. I think he pulled off a really great griff today and he should, he deserves every penny of it because he pulled it off. Teresa Finn. Thanks for the super chat. I would never have done that to you, Megan. LOL. Uh, K Matt red queen. Thanks for the super chat says you got Mark feathered. <laughs> thanks for the $10 super sticker. I appreciate that. DLZ. Sorry, Megan. My last super chat went to Larry. Here's yours. Larry. It's like Newman. Oh, God. Violet and Geo Kimmel says, please give this to Larry. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Promise. Welcome to the Fox Den. You became a... Uh, welcome to the Fox Den. You're a new member. Jenna Baby says, flood the super chat for Megan's hard work. Buckle up, Larry. <laughs> Larry, you are dead to me. You are dead, sir. Dead. Ginger Grivos, thanks for the super chat. Notice when they all leave your YouTube works. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe I keep having a bunch of people on makes it run slower. I don't know. Thanks for your work. Good stuff. Someone tell the judge to comb his hair. That was Sunshine Dove. Thanks for the super chat. And Holly J, thanks for the super chat. Says, sent you an email with pics of her outdoor bathroom. I don't even want to look at that. Like, I literally don't even want to look. Uh, it makes me feel like this inside. Thomas Sawyer, thank you for the super chat or super sticker. Tracy Fagan, thanks for the super chat, says, I know now why someone called in a B threat so the judge would shut up. <laughs> Sarah Laidlaw, thanks for the super chat, says she states in the 400 pages that she can't let the child sit in his lap because he does not wear underwear. CPS says they cannot live together. Why? Yikes. Okay, that, I don't, I don't, I, again... Or maybe it was this one I should have been hitting. Get the fucking chainsaws ready! All right, Yossi in the simple kitchen. Thanks for the super chat. Says, I don't care what you say. I'm the judge. Yeah, that's how he behaves. Elvira, thanks for the super chat for Archie. XO, how come he cannot be with you? Uh, he does not do stairs. He does not. I'm up, My office is upstairs and he hates the stairs. I've actually had two German shepherds and they both have hated stairs and they would only do stairs if they had to like to get outside or whatever. They do not. The shepherds I've had do not like stairs and he is no exception. He do you see those uh, right by his bed there right across from his bed are the stairs that come up here. He will walk up two of them with his front feet and stand there and stare, but he will not come up the stairs. I don't know. Palmyra Productions, five memberships given. Welcome to the Fox Den, everybody who got one of those. Uh, thank you for your generation, uh, generation, your generosity, Palmyra Productions. I appreciate you, Martha Pangle. Thanks for the super chat. Judge is a Richard Cranium. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's very funny. Double Karma, thanks for the super chat. Get the info to Jeremy Hales ASAP. He has all that info about what I found on those judges. He knew about that already. James Fender. Thanks for the super sticker. I have not heard from the Hales again since I heard from them the last time. So I hope everything is going okay for them. 
Uh, fair for fall, fair for all. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Savage Shorty, thanks for the super chat. What the hell, watcher for years. Good people shaking my head for my state. Yeah, the state seems to be in a problem, and it, it state seems to be having lots of problems. Angel Shine, thanks for the super chat. First time chatter here from Norway. I really like you, Megan. I thought a thought just hit me. How is this judge in private? Think of an argument with him about something petty. Oh, God. Can you imagine being married to this man? Can you imagine being married to this man? And he'd be like, ipso facto, de facto, actually in actuality, uh, the dishwasher was in fact not empty when I went to put my dish in there. And I can tell you that at exactly 6.52 p.m., you said you emptied the dishwasher. I mean, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine this guy as a, as a partner. Oh, good Lord. Fair for all. Thanks for the super chat. Says, what's the difference, Rance, between even bribing and offering a settlement? Well, right. We don't even know what it is that he that supposedly he said to her there is no difference between a bribery and a settlement really it's not a settlement is not bribery let's just put it that way a settlement offer is not bribery so the judge tells him tells mark feather to to contact her and make her an offer so that this can go away that's what he did so then he goes and he does it i guess i don't know i don't know if that's the case i don't know what jeremy if jeremy has talked about this i don't know but if he did that and now she's saying that he tried to pay her off, ma'am, that's what that's a settlement offer. I have no idea what he's talking about. But now Mark Feather is a is a witness in the case and the, the judge is is uh, I, I, after him. I don't know. Sarah Adams says, love watching you play Legos very on brand. <laughs> Jeffrey Montgomery thinks the super chat says the judge needs to keep talking or pressure makes his head pop. He uses Jeremy's time to prevent brain goo. Brain goo for Lynette is okay, I guess. Uh, proud anti of 2NL thanks to the super chat because Lynette lied about Feather bribing her. It probably, I'm sure that a, 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 a sitting attorney did not, um, who's in good standing with the bar, did not bribe anyone. It's, it's ridiculous. Brian Watkins, thanks to the Super Chat, says, Correction, Megan, Attorney Feather had to drop from the case because Lynette accused him of trying to bribe her for the case to go away, so he's now a witness. Right. I, I knew there was the other reason, but it also clearly was clear from that beginning he, the judge was not happy. But the judge told him in hearing number one that Feather needed to contact Lynette and tell her to make a deal. But remember that Feather was like, I can't because the Ohio thing says that I can't contact her. She can't contact me or have direct contact with me because I'm uh, Jeremy's lawyer. So I guess she would have to get a lawyer before they could have a conversation. So now she's accusing him of bribery. It's insane. Tia B says she gets her turtles tours from Amazon and eBay. I don't know if that's true, allegedly. Debbie Childer says judge is divorced. Well, that's no big surprise. No big surprise at all. <sighs> Back to the hearing to in a minute which is if there's a temporary if there's a temporary injunctive relief in place it it's going to have to include additional language than the general buffer zone language okay um and and we can address that here in a second but um i guess you're not able to disclose to this court whether mr hales intentionally willfully retained counsel that could not be prepared there's a, there were other issues we discussed. I really don't feel, okay. I, I'd like to say Ooh. it, but I can't. Oh, this um, is good. Yeah, that's fine. There's, it's more than just that. There's a, there's and I can put lights in there, the but I need, it. I need this. In, I don't think I have another of one. The court manipulation of the court. Listen to this guy. Continued behaviors um, that are intended mm -hmm. to allow what came out in evidence was a financial incentive to continue certain behaviors um, because it came out in evidence on November 29 that Mr. Hales makes a financial profit from the oh actions my God, that he cares, he cares. Are causing her substantial emotional distress. And she's met that burden, which is a higher burden without evidence here. And, I did it. I found the know, piece. She's uh, basically. Right, what I'm saying is, yeah. to, on this point, is that the continuance could 
be to the benefit of Mr. Hales while it's at it's to the detriment of Ms. Prester. I, I, I can, I, I just. Because he's earning a living. But, but he's, he's prohibited from doing the acts that cause harm. Well, so we want, that's, that's the part we need to be clear about. Okay. Let's be clear about it. Oh, yeah. sure. Okay. Um, be clear about it then. The temporary standard injunction that was previously ordered necessarily includes that. Yeah, no, I need to go beyond that. I need to go beyond that. I presume outside of your control. Go ahead. What he's saying is I need to go beyond that. The second supplemental petition filed December. I I did see that supplemental petition. Yeah, is is that Hal's attorney, which is referencing Mr. Feather. Oh, this guy. Has called making multiple offers of cash or proceeds from Mr. Hale's videos or telling his fans to leave me alone. I see. And I, and I, hang on, hang on. And I say that, ma'am, I'm just, I have to accept the words that you've pled as true. We're going to get to an evidentiary hearing okay. about whether there's more or whatever, but that's okay. what's pled. Sorry. And, and that's especially relevant because it was Mr. Feather when I suggested that, hey, this can't, you know, at 444, 447, when I said, this is not likely to finish here today. Um, and he pushed back and I said, denied, it's being continued. There's a good, there's good news and bad news. Bad news, you're going to all have to come back. The not so bad news, I don't know if that's good, is maybe counsel for the respondent and the petitioner can communicate about working towards a resolution. And I said that in the context, and I kind of regret saying it, quite frankly. Oh. But I said it in the context of, I presided over hundreds, maybe thousands of these <laughs> similar cases. And there are people just like every other civil case that can work towards a resolution. Clearly, Mr. Hales and Ms. Preston should not be the two people. Um, and oh, so I shoot, suggested the maybe same. counsel to speak to. And it was Mr. Feather that said to the court, and hang on, I'll get I this quote, that the language in the Ohio injunction that was already in place would not allow for such communication and that in fact from his perspective ohio's law would consider it a violation this um, might be the best i can do i have two, I, I said, two well, different I don't, I don't things understand that. i said show me he handed me a copy of the final judgment from ohio i read it and i said i don't see here where contact between an attorney for the respondent having communication working towards a resolution of a potential litigation in another matter somewhat related, but another matter would be a violation of Mr. P Ms. Preston violating the terms of that Ohio. But that was the position taken by Mr. Feather. And I didn't <laughs> absolve him of that. I didn't resolve that issue. I didn't give him any clear carte blanche. No, dude, it's cool. In fact, what I said to him is I said, if you need clarification on yes. that so that it's not a violation from either perspective here, I'll call the judge in Ohio and we'll carve out. We can always carve out an exception. I do it all the time with my colleagues in the criminal court. They have no contact, no contact. And then I have the same people in a divorce case. Judge, yes. can you modify that, that language to allow them to attend mediation with a mediator and their lawyers present? We'll do it by Zoom. We work out those deals all the time. But interstate? You've done it interstate as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, the, Oh, it was the one that pointed out 741 point. Hang on, don't hold me to it, but 135 or whatever. I've got I've got jurisdiction. I've got full this full faith and credit for their order. Yes. Um, he actually said, and this is another thing contradicting, and I'm saying Mr. Hales, I'm not saying you're contradicting what I'm about to say here, but your lawyer did, which is the lawyer was representing to me, Mr. Hales had to go up there to do something. I now know it's about dealing with some alleged violation, what have you. Feather was here in court saying, Judge, we anticipate. The word wasn't anticipate. Um, I, I can pull up the exact word, but it was about we anticipate, we expect something to that effect. Don't hold me to it. I don't have the transcript in front of me. The filing of a violation here in your court for Ms. Preston allegedly violating. I go, why would you be filing that here? And he, goes, and he brings up the statute and says, because we can. And I didn't contradict that. Okay. If and when you do so, we'll cross that bridge. When what a to time waster yet, this guy you is. It, you expect to do so whatever you haven't done so yet. Um, I think they did it today, Judge. I think they did it today. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's Feather who says to me, this premise of speaking to Miss Preston would be violating, violating a court order 
from a judge and or magistrate in the state of Ohio. And then I get an allegation that I have to accept is true. It may not be ultimately when we get to an evidence you're hearing, but I, accept, I have to accept that it's true that he's contacted her and on multiple occasions offers her cash to, to drop this or to, or to set, some way. Isn't settle that up. a settlement? And that what, what? on top of everything else I've already talked about exhaustively here. If that happens. Is very troubling. Isn't um, that a settlement? And has to be considered I'm confused. when we're considering continuing this thing even again. Why hasn't there he even asked her on about the face it? Of what's pled, and I know you're restricted in. in Why in does he? Oh, I can't. More, that there's a possibility. I just can't. That the it's motion to continue guy. is manipulative at best. That being said, I've already said at we best. Have to come up with conditions in addition to the general ones of the temporary that would satisfy this court. Ah, this allow is going to be Mr. so Hales cute. To have fully effective representation because of attaining a fully prepared lawyer um, and giving Ms. Preston peace of mind between now and then, even if it's at the cost of what I consider slight, but still some measure of inconvenience of having to come back, but everybody would have to come back. And we may not have finished today either. I don't know, Judge. We may have to wind up being here at 445 and witnesses and who knows, right? So I've considered that as well. Yeah. I've considered that as well. Um, so tanning bed with regards to <laughs> the temporary, unfortunately, these two are my, different because I can't find another one that's the same, but it's it's good enough. It doesn't address how cute is this of cyber stalking, as is alleged. This court has only heard really the one side and not even all of it. But it hasn't it hasn't addressed to this court's satisfaction um more like the general language contained in the temporary injunction that's currently in place any more like buffer zone contact uh language but not specifically addressing to this court's satisfaction the posting of youtube videos and or other social media posts and or other um publications or documents videos photos and the like that have been the cause of what is alleged and reports to be so i'm just going to restrain all your speech just on substantial emotional distress in case just um, in so case you add that to paragraph one because it mentioned cyber stalking i'm going to work on the creepy lawyer with the selfie what stick that, what don't worry okay um the language that um i would Propose. All right. The tanning bed is about to be installed in the victim's room. Tanning bed. That the respondent and or anyone done. under his control, employed by him and or in any way under his direction, including but not limited to any and all administrators, administrators of any form of social media has the responsibility to assure that he does not, nor do they in any form whatsoever, utilizing any media platform or conduit of information of the name, image, and or likeness, and or any information, data, photography, videos related to or pertaining to the petitioner and or her minor child. It's really a definite, it's, it's, it's a stretch on the definition of cyber stalking. Right. That's what I was going to say. You're in court. It's almost like adopting the, the statute. But I don't want there to be misunderstanding right. about what our statute says yes. and, and the specific. His lawyer is way specific. too happy yes. to accept yes. this, by I'm the way. I'm trying to narrowly tailor it. He um, should have not absolutely fought. Rights to communication and or um, speech, but as it relates to this person, this individual. Oh shit. I always do that right at the end. I I will break something. And so what I guess my question then is if there's consensus on those restrictions, what will be left for us to, to discuss possibly will be the rescheduling in terms of timing. If there's disagreement about those conditions, 
<laughs> Sarah says, you're a Jenga nightmare, I bet. <laughs> and whether or not this court needs to hear from you as to funny. what alternative might, might need to be in place. Okay. How, how long? 58 minutes. Still, we haven't heard any evidence. None. Sure. Without counsel. Ms. Preston, I, I'm not ignoring your needs here. I'm trying to balance. No what's evidence going on whatsoever. Here. So there's. There's plenty of case decisions um, by appellate courts that allow respondents and you to have counsel of your choice. So that's like two layers, right to counsel, right to counsel of your choice, right to can afford it. representation, um, which, which includes a lawyer being represented um, with enough time and adequate opportunity to prepare. Mr. Shock, it represents that he could do so. We haven't gotten to how much time he's going to need to do so. But the circumstance that's, that's changed, and it, and quite frankly, does significantly change, um, that if we have to come back, is that you'll have the peace of mind and the protection of the temporary injunctive relief that, quite frankly, would be what, what Mr. Shock, it says when he said you'd be winning, in effect. You, it, it would it would track the language of what a final judgment would look like, but ultimately we'd still have to come back to determine if in fact there's a final judgment, and if so, what its terms are. But they would be very similar to this, in all likelihood. The real question is for the final then would be for how long, forever, for a year, for three years, right. whatever. Um, and I understand all this, but what I know, I'm well aware of what they're doing. He is making a he camera. Is trying to hold us in contempt of court in Ohio Correct. by using oh. false I know you said lies. You said, you said that he's to me. making them up Here's and the he's using them in that court, and we do not get to defend ourselves against it. I know, but you, and you so, mentioned that to me on the 29th, and I'm, I'm not insensitive to that. But I have I brought it, proof to show just even one or the two things that he's okay. using in Ohio. Okay. I can prove right now today are false. So here's what's Flat relevant. Out in this courtroom when we go to hearing if there's if there's truth to what you just said which is that he's trying to do these things in ohio he wants me in jail so that made, i can't be here the threat the threat okay so the the threat of falsely incarcerating you i'm going to put that in a broad light most favorable to you of what you're saying may have relevance and materiality when it comes oh, to a little briefcase has to use this in the courtroom amounted to cyber stalking but what you have to battle in ohio about is whether the behavior you're describing amounts to a defense or or not of violating the ohio um right. injunction unless it's brought before this court to adjudicate on the merits whether there's a violation. I can Ooh. adjudicate whether there's a violation Selfie of stick. the Ohio injunction. Perfect. Based on his allegations of your behavior. Right. But if he's in Ohio doing that, it's got to go to that magistrate or that judge. I understand. Um, he's just using the, the time of this th uh, thing to make that case to try and make that happen. And that's what he's doing. And I do have the times, both times that Mr. Feather called me, uh, of when he called me and offered me all the offers. Recorded? Do you have it he recorded? He so wanted it over and done Is that with. recorded? He wanted it over and done with at about 4.45 on Exactly. Oh, geez. There's no Shut there's up. He has to do I just didn't see how stop. we could accomplish Shut that up. and provide oh, this due guy. process for all the litigants. Right. You this and guy. Right. It would, it would have short-circuited that and been an, an abomination I of due process from this court's perspective. Um, and I wasn't going to, not in any case, certainly not in this one, um, conduct conduct court in such a matter. Um, I am considering Camera. granting this continuance based Where's on my the little guy? now a change in circumstance, which is the Where are you? injunction in place. And what I'm are you a little pervert? Where'd you go? to be heard on the, the specifics of the language. Yes, I don't object to I don't object to what you read gets put into the permit as far as we understand and not to post something about each other. That, that the Ohio this is a bio this is reciprocal. You so, read Ohio and Florida. 
but I'm not going to put it in our order, right? Understand. It is and it isn't, okay? Uh -huh. My understanding the other day is that, and again, I think it was Ms. Preston that brought it up. I'm not disagreeing with it, but I think she brought it up, Mr. Feather. I don't know if he was in the loop on it or not, but what, what was said is, and Mr. Hales would know, and he, you don't talk to me about it, you can talk to your lawyer about it, is that in Ohio, there was a discussion about the possibility of doing a mutual injunction. Mr. Hales objected to it. I brought up, when that, when that was mentioned here in court the other day, I said, well, everybody should be aware. I, I presume the lawyer, Mr. Feather was aware. Every, there are no mutual injunctions in Florida. However, here he is. it could be, and this may be such a case, where this is my little pervert guy independently have an injunction against the this other is, uh, person but the court has to mr ezel ezel that case independent and so it's it's legally possible and permissible that both people can establish confidence substantial evidence to establish that which they need in terms of the relief from the injunction yeah it talks about the, i got the ohio order just interesting but it's okay. not going to be nice but the, the, this order includes any internet and or electronic communications, they shall not cause or encourage any person to do any act prohibited by this order. So it, it's the best thing to, to calm now, things I down. I was going to just put system. him on the little. I'm not doing anything, so please okay. stop okay. saying that. I that's think a, the ladder might not. Okay. The ladder might not work out. But well. I don't object to the language that you that you have suggested. I, my suggestion is. Okay. Let me just check with my clerk here. About a clerk, I presume you can provide me an extended injunction of the temporary that's already placed. By the way. I don't, I may have been remiss, I may have just forgot. The record should reflect that at or about when we called court to order 115 or so, that at that time I wanted the record to reflect. Mr. Hales, you've been served with the temporary injunction, correct? That this court uh, just entered to a, you. Right a, here. Sheriff, a sheriff gave me a packet of paper I handed There we go. Okay, that, so, is, that is the temporary injunction, Mr. Shockin has. I got it right here. Okay, so what we're discussing now, Mr. Hales. <laughs> here we go. The court is inclined to grant your counsel your current. There he is with this little camera. On the condition that there's now a temporary injunction, the clerk is going to provide me with a standard extended temporary injunction to the date that we're going to talk about when we're going to come back for it. But I'm going to add the language that you or anyone under your control and or employed by you and or in any way under your direction. Listen to this language. To any and all administrators of any form of social media has the responsibility to assure that you do not all all do these not people have the responsible they have a responsibility he thinks that he can reach his arm over the state lines of florida and reach into oh shit thank god everything was closed i have had a lego disaster and reach into another state and tell residents of another state who moderate on his page what they can and cannot post that's how, th this is what this guy is saying. This is the moment this guy decided to take away the free speech of all of us. Can you imagine if all those little Legos fell out on the floor right now? Thank God they were closed. Well, sort of closed. Closed enough, nothing spilled. Okay. The ladder doesn't really work. So I have him on a step stool. I mean, the ladder's funny. Uh, perhaps we should just put the ladder in there as in like he carries a ladder around with him. Like it's part of his, it's part of, he, he owns it. It's like his ladder he brings with him when he goes places. All right. So I'm going to make a sign that goes here for the tanning salon. And then I got to work on the outer walls and the, like, here's the door. I've got some see-through window shelves here for some tanning lotions and stuff. And I need a phone. Oh, where did I just see a phone? I just saw one. I saw a little phone handset. I got to make that for here for the desk. So we need a receptionist. I got to put a door on here. Uh, so there are things to do. Lots of things to still be done. So, all right. I, I will put a woman in there. I just don't have the people. The people are all downstairs. So I got to get another person. Any media platform or conduit of information, of the name, image, and or likeness, and or any information, data, photography, videos related to or pertaining to the petitioner and or her minor child. It's a long way of saying cyber stalking from this court's perspective. And it, it will be similar in nature to 
peace of mind you're entitled to from the Ohio court, as I understand it in my review of that judgment. It'll Does be temporary, include... it'll extend through the date we come back. And at that point, when the court begins the proceedings, I'm gonna to go to Ms. Preston and say, do you wish to present your case for it to be longer than, which is to get a final judgment. If she wishes to go forward, we'll go forward and we'll hear the case. Okay, just, he has a quick John question. Cook. I just confer with him for a second? Oh, sure, okay, sure. Does that cover John Cook? It should, I wrote him on the first paper. I'm sorry? John Cook? My ex-husband who lives on my property, he was listed on the first order. So Mr. Mr. Cook it does not have the protection of an extended injunction and would, would need to file leading. He lives on my property. We live in the same building. Well, too bad. You didn't put him on. You didn't ask for him. It should have been on the very first one. Now, listen, you guys, I know Jeremy thinks that serving, in, I know Jeremy thinks that being served in court is illegal, but it isn't. Um, I, I don't know who told him that, but it's not illegal for them to serve you anywhere. And if you happen to be in court and they know that's where you're going to be, they can serve you in court. I'm not sure where he got the idea that it's illegal in Florida. I, I asked attorneys in Florida. It's, it's not illegal. They can serve him in court. Um, what's more important here is that the judge just decided to take away the First Amendment rights of anybody who watches his YouTube channel and anybody who moderates his social media pages. That's the thing. And all because he wants a, a continuance because he has a new lawyer. It's not because she gave him any evidence that this is happening or that she's being cyber bullied. There was no evidence presented that she was actually being cyber stalked. None, zero, zip, nada, nothing. She didn't, there was nothing verified. There was no, she didn't have any video of people supposedly filming her at her house. Where was that? Yeah, the judge just decided that the entire world lost our rights. Like all of America lost our rights to, to free speech with no due process. That's the thing you got to worry about here. Don't worry about Jeremy getting served. He's being served with an illegal order. So does it matter where he gets served? No, no, nope. Should have been covered like he put Miss Grizz on his. I put John and the baby on mine. It should have been covered for all of us on the initial one. But it's not because you did it wrong. to be covered under this. And I put John Cook and great Harley Grace Preston. Well, this this temporary is going to protect the child, but not Mr. Cook, who is an adult. And a grown man. All right. I'll have and and Judge, one more clarification. It's not filed on his behalf, ma'am. It was filed by you, but but not on his behalf. Right. I'll have him file one immediately. Your Honor, one last point. It's very minor. I appreciate this. Uh, they live right across the street from each other. So this 500 feet. No, we feet, don't. He has to cross. Ma'am, I, I didn't interrupt you. I'm sorry. You no, you're He's not. He's got to at some point drive on the road, which is opposite her house, to get to his house. Mm -hmm. And I think that's less than 500 feet. So we carve out something. He, when entering his home, he's allowed to, you know, come close to closer than 500 feet. Like maybe put it 100 feet or something like that. Um, Your Honor, there's two different ends of our road. One road okay. goes out by his house. One road goes out by my house. So there's two different exits. We can agree. I will go this way. You should go that way. Hang on. Ms. Preston, if you can raise your hand. I'm sorry. Solemnly swear or affirm the testimony of the uh, cause will be the truth. I found the question. phone. Yes. Are you, in fact, oh, saying to the court that Mr. Hales can go to his house and from his house without passing your house? Yes. Okay. Hang on. Let me talk to Mr. Hales. Mr. Hales, are you disputing that? Do you have to go by her house to get to your house or to leave your house? I do not have to. There is another way to go out on the main highway of Route 19. I own 75 acres. My main ranch is 70 acres. I also own the old Ark building, the schoolhouse. So home is the 70 acre ranch. They intentionally stalked us to Otter Creek, bought property across the street from us. I have to go through North Otter Creek to get to the schoolhouse where I'm running my business with my employee. I could go all the way around out on Route 19, which is high accident area there in Otter Creek. I'd rather not put myself in danger, rather not put my loved one in danger or my employees in danger. I would like to be able to drive down my road. Seems reasonable. 
to where I need to be. What judge what would, would say no to this? In mileage if you had to go out on the main road? It's probably, I would, I'm going to guess maybe a mile going around in the circle on the main highway versus non-main highway. I'm not, I'm, I don't think there's a need. There's not, there's not a, it's not good cause or just oh my God. reason to allow the, even the ingress and egress. What? It, it, it just doesn't make sense. It's creating and it's perpetuating Unbelievable. a problem. Um, Unfreaking believable. This is going on. There's just no sense in running that risk. You're saying the, ri the risk or the, the downside of this court not carving out that exception is you got to drive a little farther. Um, which I presume to get out of your neighborhood, you're going to drive on that road at some point, and I hope you're a safe driver. Um, I hope you're a safe driver. Uh, and so it's a little bit of an inconvenience, but so is hope you're a safe driver. In these cases and Sorry. In multiple cases. I'm not insensitive to it, but it's like justice and and the path to get to justice is is inconvenient. Um, it's the same for me, Your Honor. I have to be inconvenienced. It's, it's inconvenient to go to Chief Lane. Right I have travel to go away. all the way, go to the stoplight, when I could just shoot out in front of you. I'm in an order about Mr. Hales. I want to make sure that he has a way to get to and from his Who just shushed her? I won't drive by him. Russ just shushed her. I won't drive by him either. Where's the road? This is the road. Russ is shushing her. Do you hear that? I wonder if Russ knows the judge. Do you think he knows the judge? Wait, where's the entrance here? We go this way. This is. Her. Where's your entrance? My entrance is 539 feet. Her entrance. Then this you, is all my property. Then you can hear your state. You can enter here. Then you can put a camera here. Motion sensor and enter 24 7. That's what I remember. That's what I tell you to do that. We're going to judge. We, we just realize it's he can still do it within. It's more than five hundred feet away to get into his property. So we'll have withdraw that request. Okay. The, the the properties are not, but the way his entrance is is over five hundred feet, even in the shortcut, even using the shortcut. So okay. he'll be okay. So let me. Um, so they're they're allowing it. So he didn't fight for it. I mean, this is the other thing. Jeremy's lawyer didn't fight for it. Instead of fighting for it, he was just like, "Yeah, all right, it's okay. We'll we'll let it go." That's stupid. I'm sorry, but that's stupid. You don't let it go when it's your right to travel in and out using your own driveway. Take a brief recess. You I can don't go to my let that go. And um, have some put it there. Print out an addendum so it'll be the I'll extended temporary injunction and under Russ the knows the judge section. Oh, here, I got to add you onto my, uh, I have to edit you in here. Hold on. Let's see. I I changed the layout. I'll just, I'll just. Um, Not that, that camera. Way. Oh, yeah, I should have had the dog camera up. No, I have to get wrong camera. Let's see. Oh, sorry, man. I have my camera off anyway, as long as you can hear me. That's true. I can hear you. There you are. We're good. We're good. All right, so uh, let's just stand at ease. Give me five minutes. I'll put you so over they here. Didn't fight for Is that right if I run out? Being able, able to drive, drive down the road. With my, my no, his so lawyer yeah, didn't fight. Okay. If you need, need a little more five. So I mean, I mean, partially, I understand why Jeremy's so upset, but one of the people he should be upset at is his attorney. Yeah. His attorney did not fight that, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Rusty. I'm sorry, or whatever. What's his name? Ray Shockett. I anyway. Uh, Randy. Randy, I'm sorry, Randy. But you should have fought for his right to access his property, and you didn't. You didn't fight. That was bullshit. That's horseshit. Yep. He needed to fight for that. And but what do you expect the judge to do? I mean, the judge is wrong, no doubt about yeah, it. I He's think wrong. the Ohio order drops that five hundred feet down to like ten feet along the road in front of their houses. Yeah. So they should have just mean, mirrored that. He's being this? totally unreasonable, like completely unreasonable. Hey, MG, do me a favor and and talk to the chat for a couple of minutes. I'll be, I'll be back. Yeah. So that's that's something that that uh, he's upset and he watches videos and he's upset about not being able to use his main driveway. But he, you can if you listen 
we can go back and listen in a minute. You can hear Randy and Jeremy talking. Uh, I can hear it in my earbud talking about that it's 534 feet from her property or something. You can hear their, their discussion. They had a hot mic. Um, but Jeremy had input in it uh, and didn't fight. You know, they didn't fight for it. So that's kind of a problem. They should have simply mirrored the the bound, the 500 foot, you know, whatever the boundaries of the Ohio order were, they should have done that. Since the you know, judge was hell bent on entering this order anyway. Uh, but, and I can't, I'm on my phone, so I can't really see chat to see what chat is asking for. Talking about what's up, Valhalla? <laughs> I see you there. And I'm, Went to get some lunch and had to get a phone charger for my office because apparently using the USB cord out of my computer was not sending enough power. So my battery was draining the entire time I was on earlier. So I'm just driving and trying to get back to the office. But so let's see who else is here. He's got three entrances. He should have made a drawing to explain his reasoning to need this. Yeah, he should have. He should have, you know, shown why they needed that better. And not, you know, they kind of put that on the attorney there to to not uh, not push, you know, not push harder for it. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it was it was weak on the part of counsel not to really fight because he didn't fight for it, and he should have been very more. He should have been much more forceful um, in the beginning regarding you know the reason why he was asking for a continuance. That he got hired on short notice, and it's not because of anything Jeremy did. It's because Lynette lied about Feathers uh, bribing her, uh, which made him remove. So you know he had to find an attorney on short notice. And I would have said, Judge, you know, what attorney would you have recommended that could have been uh, prepared to your satisfaction in such short notice? Because there's only a certain number of attorneys in town. Um, and so any attorney that he hired would have been in that same exact situation. And he has a right to an attorney. If he can afford one. He can't get court appointed counsel, but he has a right to an attorney. So. Uh, public defenders get cases last minute all the time. Well, but usually it's for preliminary matters that early. Normally, if they have it, it's going to be something for like trial because trial is not going to be right away. Um, they may get it assigned for an arraignment or first, you know, some sort of first appearance or a bond hearing. Um, it's not nothing like what you'd be dealing with on this domestic matter. Um, And those are usually pretty standard. I mean, you would, of course, you would think that this protective order hearing would have been pretty standard procedure the first time around. Uh, they normally don't go on and on and on like this. So you, know, you kind of know what to expect if you go to an arraignment hearing um, or, or a bond hearing. You kind of, I mean, you guys can watch like Judge Manning. She shows her bond stuff, her bond hearings every week. And it's just just going down the list. It's just straightforward, the same thing. You know what's it's cookie cutter. You know what's going to happen. So I'm guessing Megan may have had a bio break. I didn't quite catch where she had to go, but that's fine. Let's see what else is going on. Case needs to be transferred to a different jurisdiction. Is Peyton? Um, well, you know, there may may be an argument they make. Um, if the Thomases gets removed, uh, and all these other judges, you know, have, they go to bat for each other, then maybe you ask for a change of venue, but I don't know that that will happen. Uh. All right. We got a feather from the chicken coop for the, <laughs> uh, for the judge. So we'll put that right here. Let's see. Where is this going to go? It might fit right in his little cap thing. Put it right. No, it's too big for that. All right, we'll have to put it next to him. Here, it's just sitting in front of. There we go. 
Now he's got a feather. All right, and we have our victim, our unfortunate victim. Oh, who's this? Oh, I took the wrong. I took the wrong one's head off. All right, let's see. She needs to be making the terrified face. Here we go. That's why I brought him, because his face has a terrified look on it. So we have to change her face to the terrified face. See? See? Can you see her face? There she is. Poor thing. And uh, she's going to be over here hiding in the corner, screaming to call for help. How do I... Get her in there. Here, maybe I'll put her over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. See? Now let's see if we can get a close-up of the of how that looks. Let's see. Let's turn her around. Yep. Yep. So we got the perv on the on the <laughs> stool with the camera. There he is. This is the dude that all the judges in the Eighth Circuit came out to, to defend. This guy. That is awesome. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, the hails are on the expert channel. What ex what's the expert? Oh, the expert. Yeah. The expert. What's, I don't know what that is. Uh, he's, that he's, is. but he's on my channel. A lot. Expert. I'm on, I'm on we're oh. all together a lot. Yeah. The expert. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's yeah, awesome yeah. that he got them on. He, he's been, uh, he watched a their, uh, Christmas in the, in the Creek, uh, toy drive where they went to five below. And just got like a, I don't know how many thousands of dollars they spent just clearing the place out with toys to give away toys to every kid in the county. It was awesome. All right. Well, maybe what we'll do is redirect over there because I need to get oh, yeah. going anyway. I need to get going anyway. So why don't we uh, why don't we redirect over there? And you guys is he is he going live right? Is it right now? Like is that happening right right now? Um, he's been, I thought, he's been starting his streams and he started it yesterday afternoon. I don't know if, if experts going live right now or not. Because doesn't he, doesn't he, uh, are you guys telling me that he's on right now or he's going on later? He's just oh. watching, he's watching videos. So it's not. Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay. He's not, never mind on. then. No, okay. Not. All right. Well, that, I, the, that would have surprised me that he got him on before, before I did. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. So yeah, I haven't heard from them in a while. So I'm not Hopefully sure. They're okay. They're probably with the sheriff. It's probably going to take yeah. a while to go through whatever it is they need to go through. But I mean, if that's really happening, that's that's really bad. I didn't get a confirmation from them though, so I don't know. And I didn't see their chat in the chat, so I, I'm not sure. I mean, we still have to. We should probably wait for confirmation on that. Yeah. Uh, there was a report that. Perhaps, oh, do you got? Oh, do you? I guy is live. Oh, oh well, no, I'll let stream snipe his ass. Yes. Oh, that's yes. what's happening here. Oh, yeah. No worry. Yeah, don't worry about that. Here we go. Let's let's you go to, find you out. What, change your layout again. What's Larry doing? Oh yeah. Let's let's see. What's he doing? Oh, oh I can't. Up. It's unrelated. He's doing his protege. I can't interrupt so? his protege <laughs> trial thing. So I think what? it's an edited. It's an edited video anyway. So is he live or is it a premiere? No, it's a premiere. Okay, so that's different. Damn it! He I totally would have stream sniped. I would have stream sniped yeah, him. That's right. He's fair <laughs> that's... game now. You got three pass. <laughs> hey, I, I did it to I did it to Jeff and Aussie one weekend. So Jeff that was so funny. Was, I was jumping oh, between your great. chats. I was jumping between your chats, and I was <laughs> dying was laughing. So that was so funny. It's, it's Let's Go Brandon's fault. He brought he got me to do it, and then the next night I was so tired. He's like, "You want to stream snipe Aussie?" And I was like, "Well, not really." He's like, "Come on, do it." <laughs> <laughs> so, it was a lot of fun. Oh, man. I should go. Uh, I I don't yeah. think we can watch this whole the rest of this uh, hearing. It's we're not we're almost at the end anyway, and he's just going to dismiss them after doing nothing all day long. Yes. So yeah. so here's what we'll do. We're, let's go over the uh, the final Lego. Uh, so far, this is where we've gotten on our build. So, okay, we have the front door, which I st I still have to build up all the walls and stuff around. We've got the reception desk that has a uh, has some. I'm, I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some like tanning lotions and things in on those shelves. That's what that's for. 
and I have to build up a little wall in between there. She's the receptionist desk is the blue desk. It's got a phone and yeah. a computer. I still have to do, and I'm going to put a, um, a vase with flowers on the desk and I have to fix her chair and I got to get a receptionist and put her in there. And then we, Uh -oh. uh oh, what happened? You there, Megan? Oh, no, you froze. Oh, that's. Probably can't hear me either. That's good old Spectrum Internet there. Oh, no. Can y'all hear me at all, or am I frozen with her? Because yep, your computer died. Oh, jeez. Oh, you can hear me. Okay, that's that's interesting. All right. Well, I'll read some. I can't read the. I can't pull up super chats, but I can't pull anything up. But uh, let's see. All right, take it away. Well, since we can't watch anything or hear anything, the rest of the sus and Lynette were texting each other. Yeah, I, I never even paid attention to that, but apparently they were texting each other back and forth. And Crystal Pooh, she probably kicked the computer. It may, maybe. Uh, don't ask her to fix YouTube. <laughs> well, she's uh, having issues with her computer, so I don't feel quite as bad as I as with my computer. And my computer is like twelve years old, so I have an excuse <laughs> to have those problems. You know, I, I can't even. I can't even. This is just so annoying. Uh, Brad's going to come and help me in a little while when he's finished. Did you like bump the power button or something? No, no. But sometimes the stream deck just freezes up. I, this has only oh. started happening since I got the stream deck. And I'm really starting to think that it's the stream deck. But I it could be. Remember. I wonder if there's a firmware update that you may have to do or something. Maybe. I'll have Brad look at it. But the, the buttons, I love the buttons. We can't do without the buttons. Oh, I know. I, I want to get one of them. My wife even mentioned that. She, she, can we get one of those little button boards, those little boards that has the buttons on it and i was like yeah the stream decks are a little pricey so, so they have the like cheaper ones on amazon i don't know how well they work mm. but she was like yeah, those are so funny and i was like yeah because she discovered vtubers like a month ago oh really and she, oh she's she watches it just cracking up some of those guys are pretty damn funny um, yeah i know that that's but, like a big deal I know that's a big and deal. She but I, now she's like, I want to create, I want to create a VTube avatar. It's like those things are expensive because you got to have the tracking, like the camera with the tracking software to track your eyes and your facial expressions. Really? Well, Tug wants to get yeah. one, and I think that he should totally have one. Yeah, I, I would love like to see that. Expensive. Yeah. All yeah. right. So it was where was I? I was at the reception desk. So we've got a computer. Yes. We've I got to work on the chair, and the desk is not finished. And then we've got the tanning bed which i am very thrilled about so i repurposed a tub from another build and i basically just made it into a tanning bed and the what's really cool is that these things come up and down see they move <laughs> they're on hinges they don't go down very far but they're on hinges and then we've got uh so our girls in the corner oh shit now our perv fell off his chair we have to fix the perv Perv fell off the chair. Oh, and he's going to... Oh, the ladder is for his escape out. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put the ladder on the outside of the building so he can escape out that way. <laughs> he's got it all planned out, you see. All right, so we've got our prosecutor inside the other... The stand-up uh, stand one. And his stand-up one, you can't see it from here because the light's not great. But you see, I put a little tanning stand-up thing there. It's got lights on it. It's and he's awesome. got his camera focused at this poor woman who's terrified and screaming for help. And when this is all done, we're going to have, uh, there, will, there will be police presence and everything. We're going to have police there. And um, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And then that's going to get connected to, to, the, to the courthouse 
that I made. So yes. we'll have to finish. We'll keep, now, we'll keep back, working on the it. Back behind at the back of the courthouse, behind the courthouse. <laughs> yeah, behind the courthouse. <laughs> We're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a, uh, I'm going to have to definitely do like, I'll have to keep working on this tomorrow. That's so I'll let, we'll keep doing that when we finish uh, part two of hearing number two, because there were two parts to it. If you can believe it, we're still not even yeah. through part one. Yeah. I just watched what, what Jeremy had posted. So I, there's a lot more to these, the un, uncut, the, the full videos. Cause there's a lot of that rambling by the judge that you don't oh, hear off his video oh i know i know that's what i really like about it so my big takeaway from this one though is that his lawyer did not fight damn near anywhere near yeah. hard enough for he didn't he never brought up the words prior restraint what yeah. can can you imagine fighting that argument and not saying your honor you can't put a prior restraint on other people's speech you're yeah. saying that his moderators need to be restricted on what they say that's insane. No, sir, you cannot do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's just, and especially the big thing is having to drive down that road, too. I mean, he can't, not fighting that, just it's a, because she can, she can do it because hers is only 10 feet. So she can drive down that road. Yeah, she can. Uh, and, and it's weird because, but he can't, but he can't. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. And he's got the permanent injunction order. He's got the permanent protective order. Yeah, no, that's insane. That's totally insane. Or, I mean, yeah, it, it, his, but his lawyer, look, I'm sorry, but his lawyer didn't yeah. fight. He didn't no. fight. He didn't he didn't say you need uh we need, you know, we, we can't you this is an infringement on my client's first amendment rights. He didn't say it. And because he didn't say it, here, let's put the camera back yeah. where it normally goes. Because he didn't say it, how can you can't complain? You didn't get it. He didn't yep. argue it. This is not Jeremy's fault. Jeremy no. has every right to be as pissed off as he is about what happened. But he's got to have some anger at, at his attorney. His this is his attorney's fault. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say, but at least part part of it. I'm not saying the judge would have uh, given him his way, but he didn't even fight. He literally gave up yeah. immediately and said, "Yeah, we're okay with that." How are you okay with him not being able to drive on his own road? You, you, you allowed a judge, a family court crackpot judge to restrict his right to move without yep. any evidence of any crime. I would have been up there going, no judge, no, you cannot restrict his prior, his, this is prior restraint on his yep. free speech. You are yep. saying that in the future, you are restricting his future speech of which you don't know what it's going to be. And so that's his First Amendment right until he says something that is illegal. You well, can't and, and he's, restrict and his. And the speech. judge, uh, you know, he talks about that Strober v. Harris case a lot, and that case is far worse than anything that could even be alleged to have happened in this one. And so it's, uh, and I want, I was going to redo it last night, but the two videos went were just so long that I didn't do it. But I have that. I've read through that opinion yesterday. And I have it, and I want to read through it. I want to go through it on stream because I think after having watched these first couple of hearings and the judge talking about it, to be able to – you can clearly distinguish that case from what's going on here. Yeah, I mean he's um, misinterpreting the law all over the place yeah. though. And he thinks that he's this big – you know, he's he's this very smart law professor. So he's not – you know, he, he thinks that everything he says is absolutely right on. And in fact, I think it's in the third hearing. It's in the third hearing when the judge is like, well, I'm going to um, I'm going to change some of the language so that we can be in line with the new ruling, which yeah, yeah. I and then he goes, which I was uh, was ahead of the curve on. He says something like that. Like I no, was he wasn't. He tried to say that he narrowly tailored this order. Yeah, he, he said tried to narrowly say tailor. You mm -hmm. know, he's not. He tried to say it was narrowly tailored. It was like, sir, that was the widest tailoring I've ever yeah. seen. You yeah. tried to restrict my speech. You yeah. tried to restrict his moderator's speech. You restricted the right of the press. You restricted the right of everybody on in this country through yeah. your ruling could yeah. have been, you could have held him responsible for something they said. Ridiculous. Oh ridiculous no he he's full of crap anyway i gotta get out of here guys i gotta read the super chats and yep. then i'm out um awesome. 
Graham Ellis, thanks for the super chat, says Lynette needs a bigger poo bucket. Oh God. The tur <laughs> turtle purgatory is coming up next in the Lego, uh, the Lego yes. builds. Sarah Marie, uh, Jeremy said she won't get a cent of his money. He did say that. So who knows what it is that his attorney said or did, or maybe he didn't say anything. Who knows? Krista Munn, thanks for the super chat, says makes me miss my tort, lived with me for 52 years. Wow, that's a long time for a turtle wow. to live. Megan, I just figured out why Judge Grudge hates Mark Feather. Feather must be giving the judge's ex-wife the feather tickle treatment. <laughs> I don't know. That's allegedly, allegedly. Graham Ellis, thanks for the super chat, says Lynette. Gives me a soft on. Oh, <laughs> D. Robertson, thanks for the super chat. At this point, I want to hear the Ohio hearings and how LP was in that yes. court. Me too. Me too. We got to get our hands on I that audio. I couldn't find it. I don't, I don't know what county it's in. Somebody had said Wayne, Wayne County, but I searched for him in Wayne County on the, the dockets that I could see. I'll I find couldn't out. find it. So I'll find out. Kim Boyko says, uh, I reported he would hire a bounty hunter if Ohio, if there's a request. Oh, if there's a request. Got I don't it. know that he can just hire a bounty hunter, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. If he skips no out, if there was a bond, then the bondsman could send out bond. Bounty I don't know how any of that works. Yeah. Riz Kissick, thanks for becoming a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. There's that terrifying noise to welcome you in. Time for Sob Sit Traveler on the Land. No, folks, public <laughs> service announcement. It is never time to go full sob sit. Okay. Well, I've got I've got one in the case. Do you really like, wait? You mean well, on the other you in the case the that I am, <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, I have a sovereign citizen on the other side of the case. Has he signed I, anything in blood yet? Did he put his bloody not, thumbprint not on it? Not yet, anything? but he did he did uh, <laughs> sign it all all rights reserved, so Oh uh, no. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, oh, the, the judge knows. The judge figured it out at the hearing last week when he refused to give his name. And he's then he's like, "Oh, I'm I'm a member of the you know his last name's nation." And the judge is like, "Oh, thanks. That's I all I needed like to hear." Perhaps we need to have a high school class that's required for every student in America to teach them why sovereign citizen theory is just a theory and doesn't work in court. I feel like we need this. Um, I. Sovereign, this whole soft sit thing is just, it sucks in so many people oh, yeah. who are less than medium smart and they just don't know that they're being sucked into this. Basically, it's a cult. I mean, it's a cult. Yes. They have these beliefs yes. that you can't challenge them. And if they you challenge meetings. them. They always have a reason why they're why this they're, you're wrong. And they're definitely it's definitely going to work this time. Oh, you know. They have I just a handbook. They have a handbook. They have meetings. The mm -mm. expert has a story he told. He brought his wife to one of the sovereign citizen meetings one time, just oh, to, to show her what it was about, just to have fun. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yes. Oh God! Well, all right. Who are we going to re redirect you to? Who is uh, streaming right now? I know expert is streaming. He is streaming what the hell's the older videos, and it's not court stuff. It's all like they're giveaways and think that the, the charitable stuff they do the cool stuff they do so all right uh, let's see just to be a little different if, uh can it i it should be open okay there, I think it is. all right but, uh, I, am going like, to... I think i was like a hundred away from five thousand after last night and into today it's a, incredible the, the hails people and and then you redirected people to me and i got a huge boost it's a Thank you so much. It's awesome. Oh, well, <laughs> rising ships lift all tides. That's what I believe. And I also th yeah. go and tell the expert that I said hi. Go and raid his chat, everybody. And uh, I will see you again tomorrow. And hopefully, yes. I, I don't, hopefully, I'll get the Fox Den Daily podcast done tonight. Oh, God. I don't, yeah, know, I don't if know if I'm streaming tonight. I have months. court at nine o'clock in the morning and I have to drive uh, like four hours to get there. So. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to stream tonight as much if as you I guys, want to. <laughs> if you guys have not subscribed yet to Fox Den Daily, please do it on all your yes. podcast platforms. Because I will keep doing it if enough of you subscribe and follow it and like it. I will not keep doing it if it if that's not the case. Because it is a time suck on my day. And I, I'm I'm starting to dread it. So if you like it... Make sure you go over and subscribe, leave it a, a, a good review, and let me know uh, if you like it or not. If not, I'll just quit doing it because I don't want to. It, although it's doing really well. It's doing pretty well, but I still am. Yeah. I'm looking for any excuse to quit. So if there is some excuse why I should quit, please let me know. 
Uh, if it sucks, <laughs> let me know. Fox Den Daily, go over there, follow it on on Apple and Amazon and Spotify. It might not be there for very long if I get tired of doing it. So, all right, everybody, see you later. <laughs>